fucking dirty fucking cockroaches. Man. I hear you, motherfuckers. I hear you. All right. Hope this is a little bit better. All right. Hope this is a little bit better. Let's pay some ads. Feels kind of good sitting right here, baby. I like this little spot. I ain't mad at it. Looking for some good quality cannabis? I mean killer quality cannabis. Hit up the folks at Killer Kush. They specialize in bringing you the best quality available from OG to exotic. They got it all, baby. Yes, sir. Hit them up on IG at Killer Kush underscore underscore 420. And matter of fact, I got two locations. Killer Kush has two locations. One in East Los Angeles and one in Whittier, Bitter. One in Whittier, baby. And uh, the first one in Whittier, you can follow them at True Organics Whittier. That's on the, that's for Instagram. And the address is 13739 Left and Will Road. And that's Whittier. And the other spot is you can follow them on uh, Instagram, Matt, East LA Exotics, baby. And that address is 6009 East Olympic Boulevard. As a matter of fact, if you pull up to any one of those two locations, tell them motherfucking Lucky sent you and get yourself 20% off, dog. And if they don't give you 20% off, break something in that bitch, dog. Till you get 20% off or kick the fuck out. I don't know. Might have to watch out that little fucking Faisal with his little motherfucking 357 right there, huh? Play with this shit, dog. Hey, our next uh, sponsor is Roulette Printing. Roulette Printing is your one-stop shop for all your printing projects. From start to finish, Roulette Printing will walk you through the printing process and get you the quality prints you need. Conveniently located in the city of Huntington Park off Slauson and Maywood. Please Google and follow all their platforms at Roulette Printing. Let's go, baby. Looking for the best criminal defense attorney in the city of Los Angeles? Mm-mm. Look no further. Doug Sheridan is our guy, and he can be your guy as well. Mr. Sheridan used to be a federal prosecutor as well as a district attorney for the city of Los Angeles, crazy, huh? He didn't like the unfair politics on that side of the fence and always going to bat for individuals that have been wrongfully accused or just had a bad fucking weekend, right? Those are the worst, you know what I mean? Especially if you get busted on a Friday, you know what I mean? You don't get a rain till Monday, motherfucker. So you got to sit in that motherfucking uh, glass house or whatever the fuck they send you. But check it out. This is our guy, Mr. Doug Sherrod. You can contact, you can reach him at www.kingkonglawyer.com. Lucky? KingKongLawyer.com. Whoop whoop. KingKongLawyer.com. That was easy. Jesus. These guys are all on point in here. Let's go. Orange County, stand the fuck up. Gutter Phenom is a lifestyle brand that's dedicated to supporting and inspiring individuals who need to determine to achieve their dreams. We believe that no matter where you come through, what you've been through with hard work and dedication. Anything is possible. <laughs> you fucking cockroaches. Shit, homie, this is easy work right here, dog. Spencer, homie. Visit gutterphenom.com. Gutterphenom.com. Motherfucker, when you wake up in the morning, you're going to hear gutterphenom.com and use exclusive code Hoodstock20 to receive 20% out. All right. SGV, stand the fuck up. Stand the fuck up out of West Covina. <laughs> did, did I say it wrong? Out of West Covina? I ain't talking to the homie Vinny either over here, right? I'm Let's talking go, about baby. West Covina. Let's go. Out of West Covina. This man is an entrepreneur. This man is a trendsetter. My geez. Give it up for High Tone, baby. Yeah. My dog. What's popping? Shit. Chilling. Chilling. We, uh, so we had a, we got, we, the guys got here early, man, and we've been just like con- construction mode. We had to fix the internet and all that good stuff. And so, Today's a great day, bro. Oh, How about beautiful, you bro. I mean, come on now. It's Sunday evening, dog. We're in, you know what I'm saying, hood stocks. I'm right here with Lucky, baby. Beautiful city, beautiful day. Blessed to be alive. Let's run it. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I mean, so 100%, brother. And, I, and shout out to my boy, Ed Calwan, baby, in the building, too. Already Ed, knows, baby. Ed Calwan uh, connected these dots. And we talked, and I said, well, shit. Yeah, dog, that shit makes sense. Let's, let's run that. So... It, it, you know what? This is the these these are the greatest ways and the easiest ways to uh, to make shit like this happen, right? Yeah. You know, you know somebody that knows somebody. Bob, Bob, Bob. Hey, I think you guys will have a good conversation together. Word of mouth, dog. You know what I'm saying? If you if you connect with the right people, that's what happens. That's what comes out of real love, real support. You know, genuine belief, genuine faith in somebody, and that's how we end up in a building just like this. Absolutely. Right here. Yeah. You know, and, and and especially when it's coming from a solid motherfucker, dog. Facts. You feel me? And uh, but you know what? So I've been uh, you know, you've been around for a cool minute doing your thing, rapping. Yeah. I believe you had the uh, you had some Michi's, gold Michi's. What was gold, it called? Yeah, gold Michi Co. 
Was yeah, that what it's yeah, called? Yeah, yeah. homie. Hell yeah, yeah, man. That was I, big, bro. I think I might have put a couple dollars in your pocket, Jeez. my boy. You know what I mean? To be honest. That's how it is. Support, dog. You yeah. know? Support. And we'll get into that. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, no, get 100%. Into everything. Yeah, 100%. We will get into that. But um, so a lot, a lot throughout the years, I've seen a lot of your music. Everybody knows you as a, basically what, what I know and the people around me know you as a musician, a hip hop artist. Yeah. 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 That, that's what they would know you first before anything else, would you say? That or tattooing. Tattooing. Yeah, but but I would say most of my clients come from my music, bro. So the music, you know, resonates and connects with people, and that's a, that was, that's what brings them to my art, you know, to my businesses, to my you know, to my other ventures I got going on. So I would say music for sure is that uh is that thing that you know trajected me into the right direction with connecting with people. So it's, I guess you can say, and we'll get into this as well, but you know, it, re regardless of. How high, how medium, whatever you want to say your trajectory was in the music game while you were doing it at the height of your shit, it's been fruitful because you have created relationships and a fan base that now say, you know, you can go and do something else and they're going to come through and fuck with you, right? That is the main thing, bro. You, you have to build the core. If you don't build from the core and build from the heart and build from a real, real, real life, genuine spot, you, the, these fans are going to come and go. But if you could resonate and connect with someone, make them feel, hey, I feel just like Toner. I got the same type of dreams. or I, He could do it. I could do it. And those are the people that are going to continue to support because you continue to motivate them. You continue to let them know that you could do it just like I did, bro. I'm nothing different than you, bro. We just got to have the same hustle, same drive, same dreams, you know. And that's where real core fan base come from. I'd rather have a 500-person venue sell out, you know, than for a 10 year span than one year of a $15,000 or 15 person venue because those come and go, those are, those are what do they call it, uh, one hitter quitters, those are, yeah. I don't want that bro. I want longevity in my career. So that means I have to be as honest as I can to myself. So that means you trust what I'm telling you bro. Cause if I'm telling you, you could do it and I'm over here being a fugazi, then it ain't gonna work dog, you know? You know, you know, it's interesting just hearing you sitting right here and, you know, I've had conversations. I've been blessed to have conversations with all kinds of different uh, uh, creatures from this side of planet Earth. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, nothing's when you hear uh, you can go on an interview and you can you can hear uh, maybe one of your favorite rap artists. Right. You, you can hear him do an interview. And I would say like eight times out of 10, bro, they're fucking they have the natural gift of the gab in regards to just like putting words together and describing to you something. And it's not a rap song. This is just conversation we have yeah. right here. And so they, 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 you, you get a sense of, you know, rap artists that are very successful and done their thing. You know, they're intellectuals, you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, it, I don't know if it was street, they got their uh, degree from the streets or wherever the fuck they got it from our, our, our trial and error, you know, life experiences. Yeah. Um, but anyways, it's a breath of fresh air, brother. To, to, to hear you on that mic, bro, and reciprocate what you are, you know, saying in a very, very, very passionate, meaningful Appreciate way. Appreciate that, bro. You know Once I mean? again, opportunity's big, bro. I think a lot of people forget, dog, to, to, you know, give the flowers to people that allow you on their platform and do this. Like, I see a lot of dudes going on podcasts, interviews, radio interviews, and it's like, they feel like you need them. But when you connect with someone and put someone in front of your table and their platform, if they don't give you the flowers or give you respect, then they should. They don't deserve to be at your table. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm bringing here is un letting people understand, like, this isn't taken for granted, dog. Any Anytime I get to use a platform that is built off hard work, Whew, yeah. we got to fucking really, 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 really talk that shit on it, bro. Because you don't, not everyone gets these opportunities, dog. You know what I'm saying? Hey, well, you know what? I want to say this, my G. Um, I... We, you motherfuckers right here, everybody in here, all the boys that have been in and out of the studio and done the damn thing, we have, man, talk about having to do it the hard way, bro. You know, like working and, you know, some people, bro, they can, they can start a YouTube channel, bro, Monday and by Friday, they done gone viral, bro. <laughs> and they done everything that I, we had, we, we, right? Ain't no I and team. Everything that we had to do to get to 150,000 subscribers uh, five, six years later, bro. I mean, it should, they, they get it in a week, dog. Plus, 
It's crazy. So, you know, but I, I, I appreciate the journey, brother. The journey has been great, doggy. I, I think that's what people don't understand, bro. It feels better when you work for that motherfucking shit, dog. Because if you don't and you just get it overnight, you're going to take it for granted. I promise you that, dog. Like, I'm, I, I feel good, dog, that I could say I pressed up 100,000 albums and gave them out for free and stood at gas stations and walked the malls and walked the beaches. And that's the ground. That's the legwork, bro, I put in so nobody could take that from me. That's how you feel about the podcast. That's how homies feel about their acting career. That's how homies feel about tattooing. Like, when you start from the bottom, you respect the game so much more, dog. You know what I'm saying? And you do not do things to put that in jeopardy. When you get it overnight, that's when you get in trouble. That's when you start finding yourself in fuckboy situations because you don't respect it. Whew, my boy, man. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Damn, this is church right here, baby. This is church. You know what we need? We need an actual church bell up in this bitch, dog. When motherfuckers <laughs> start just like, when motherfuckers just start going off the head like that, dog, we just need to chime in with a boom, boom. I don't, hey, I don't know. Sunday, baby. <laughs> Sunday. Night service, dog. Night service in a real way, huh? Night service is a good service, and this is where we are right here. You know what I mean? The church of the unholy sometimes, and the church of the fucking, you know, we're just trying to get this shit right, and this is us, the Goonies, man, and I love, I love you guys, right? I love you guys, man, and thank you for tapping in, like, subscribe, and all that good shit. You know what I mean? We lost some uh, subscribers, and we lost some followers because of change, and that's okay. Hey, dog, you know what I mean? They'll be back, dog, you know what I mean? And uh, no hard feelings, brother, you know what I mean? This is life. Shit happens. Facts. Okay, so uh, you know what? I, so <laughs> I don't do it very often, bro. I don't do this very often. And I did it I did it this time. And what I did is I don't usually, like, if I'm going to interview somebody, I won't go and, like, watch your interview you did fucking last week, bro. Yeah. But, you know, I wanted to refresh with your music, bro. Yeah. You know, refresh with your music. I remember one time my boy uh, 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 Michael Flores, Flores was in your uh, one of your videos. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the the voice video, yeah. 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 With yeah. Rascal, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, homies, yeah. yeah, yeah. Some of my boys have, have Big been Big supporter, bro. Yeah. You know? And, um, but anyways, so I, while refreshing with your uh, music, you on Shade 45 with one of my fucking... One of my mentors. I mean, he doesn't know he's a mentor of mine, bro. You know what I mean? But Sway, bro. Sway Calloway, bro. Legend, dog. That boy's a legend. And you were on that bitch, bro. And I ain't gonna lie. It was like a 30-minute interview, but it was one hell of a fucking interview, bro. Bro, to come from this little city in the SGV, dog, and to fly on a plane and go fucking 25 stories up in fucking the middle of New York on the day Trump gets elected on election day, like... That was something, bro, like I couldn't even make up, homie. Like I couldn't even write that if I was going to make a movie. Like it was it was a dream, you know, a little city boy going to New York, dog, and, and rapping on that show and doing that interview. Like, and it all came from one album and being genuine on an album, bro. That's all it was. He heard the, the album. Yeah. He said, bro, you, you, you're talking different, bro. You, it's church, but it's music, you know, and it was positive and it was vulnerable and he's like i need you on the show and it was like whoa you 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 started off the interview so this is going to be this is me uh critiquing your interview right so you started off the interview strong right like solid because you got tracy g right there and they're used to having black folk in there brothers that rap right now we got uh, a latino from the, the southern california up in there you know what i mean like you know they, they probably could be a little bit of skeptical yeah, bro you know sure. what i mean because it's not a norm of who they allow in that fucking that studio which is a fucking legendary studio bro i mean to me uh that that's probably equivalent to me sitting at with Joe Rogan, you know what I mean? To be at Sway, bro, on a, on a music platform, bro, one of the best, hottest, legendary fucking dude, like, bro, like, that, that I, I would compare it to that, oh, bro. Oh, right in, in this day and age, 1,000%, dog. Yeah. 1,000%, bro, and my shit was fucking yeah. uh, homie. I was stepping into the hyenas, dog, like, it was like, this is gonna make me or fucking break me, homie, like, what do, what do I have in me? Am I going to let this shit beat me or am I going to beat it, bro? And I just went in there with confidence, dog, and just said, this me? And just did my thing, bro. So you, you, when you did your thing, you, you fucking killed it 
on your on your uh, uh on, on on what you spit with that fucking mob beat mob oh, mob, mob DB beat, beat. Yeah. mob D beat but I mean, I mean like talk about throwing you an alley oop bro you know what I mean you know I don't know if that was planned before or whatever um like hey dog what be you gonna shoot the homie because we wanted him to give the best look we don't gotta ask all the type of questions but I think about shit like that yeah. but but you so what I was saying me critiquing your interview brother let me put it back over here on this guy right here fucking on swole she. go ahead I'm just gonna do the whole interview <laughs> like this dog you know what I mean fuck it dog. Can you imagine, bro? Like, like dead serious, bro. Like homie never like, put his who, arms down. Who is getting his bad out right now, dog? <laughs> dude, dude interviewed me for three hours and he didn't fucking move one time. Soldier, dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't fucking what Gosh, the, hey, homie, I've been listening hey, you to look too much like the flyer right now, dog. <laughs> I've been hey, I've been listening to too much Chicano rap, dog. Fuck, you know what I mean? Dog. See what happens when you listen to Chicano rap, homie? You walk around like this Shit, everywhere, dog. dog. The market, you know what I mean? Dropping your kids off at school. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, what does that do with imaginary ease up, holding? Baby, what is it? ease up, huh? Ooh. Take a breath. I've had some homies right here, dog. I was like, oh, you know what I mean? Do we need a, you know? I know. I but forgot yeah, that, what the no, fuck that, I was no, going to say. No, that interview said I, how I started it off. Oh, yeah. So this is me critiquing it. You started off strong, and then you fucking, like, if, if you couldn't get any better than what you did, bro. Especially when you broke down the, the the pyramid, bro. Like that whole pyramid talk about, you know, being on top and whoop the whoop whoop, bro. And that's when you got Tracy G. You start, I think you, you know, I mean, if you looked over, she might've had some fucking headlights on or something, dog. <laughs> because because honestly, dog, it, you just, great interview, brother. Thank you, bro. Great that, interview. That I, and I could say, dog, like, I don't know one one artist from my area dog in the entire sgb that has been on that show and got blessed with that opportunity and i really take that like that's a championship for me dog that's that belt you know that i go man bro like yeah that's something that i got in my resume yeah that not a lot of people could say they got bro i mean king, king little g's never been there i don't think he's ever been on an interview yeah, by Shay. I, I don't think so yeah. bro. i'm not and sure I don't, and yeah. i don't understand why he wouldn't be because you know he's He's made some noise and he's done his fucking thing and he's Definitely. still he's still doing it, you know. Definitely, and it's just, bro. but I think you, if if I'm if I uh, stand a little bit correct, sir, um, you had a plug with uh, DJ uh, King Tech. You talked King, to him, so King Tech had heard my music before. Yeah, he heard the album. Okay, and and Tech had a, uh, I've known not I, Tech had been around me since I was a youngster, dog. Like, and it went so many years by that when I grew up, he didn't even really. Oh, he didn't even remember that was me. You know what I'm saying? Because I had always been the little, little cousin, little homie in the background, just waiting and soaking up game, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Waiting just, for your turn. Just waiting, bro. Just patiently, just perfecting what I want to perfect. And you know what I'm saying? And just getting after it. So when I had that opportunity and I remind, oh, bro, he remembered me as a kid, bro. And that was definitely a, a, a plus side to getting me into that world and that lane, you know? Yeah. That's dope. Because if he don't believe in it, dog, it don't matter if you know him. You can try to pay him. You can do whatever, finesse him. You could take him to the whatever you want to do, bro, to try to get that plug. If he don't believe in the music, because he's a very smart music head, dog. So And he's big for the culture. So he's like, if I'm going to put my name on it, it's got to be right. You know, so that it, it, at the end of the day, whether I knew him or not, it, it still had to be right. You know, no, 100 percent, 100 percent. And um, it, it when when so when when uh, Sway told the story about King Tech hollering at him, saying about you, and kind of like, not necessarily asking him, but but he Sway said, "Hey, bro, if you think this dude, and you telling me that he's this dude, that's it, bro, yeah." And that's how we should be with the homies, dog. Like if you have a solid circle around you, and your boy's telling you, dog, this the next play. Like trust me. I yeah. gotta trust him, bro. I gotta. That's my dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know he ain't gonna put me in no fuck situation. That's yeah. how it should be. One hundred percent. And you know what? I'm sure uh, when you got up there and you did your thing, bro. I'm sure uh, King Tech listening in the. I don't know if he was there or not. He listen, wasn't. Yeah, he listened on the radio and he was like, "Shit, <laughs> that yeah, did that right." Yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, you and then you went in there and killed it, bro. You know, so. You know, it, it probably makes, it, it, I would say it makes people feel good when they connect dots and then they see it happen and they're like, fuck yeah, dog. I mean, we, we have that sitting right here, bro. 100%, you know Ed what Cal won, baby. And, and Ed Cal just, he he put this whole play together, dog, and he linked me and you and a few days later, dog, we're sitting right in front of each other chopping it up. Literally. <laughs> like, literally, it happens that fast, bro, yeah. because it comes from a solid source, respectable source. 
that believes in both of us, dog. And that's when that shit aligns. That's when them stars align, you know? And that's, yeah, no, 1,000%, brother, 1,000%. And uh, that that's the way I like to work, to be 100%, 100% with you, my boy. Like, I'm, you know, I'm spontaneous like that, dog. Sometimes in a fucking bad way, too, bro. Oh, we can, fool. We can be partying and shit, I mean. Homie, I could tell my girl, hey, babe, I have to go to a, a pod. She right now, she's probably going, you you might not make it home tonight, Tone. Like, yeah. that's how spontaneous I am, bro. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like she knows I'm I'm a I'm a light switch away, dog, from just doing my <laughs> motherfucking thing, dog. You know, and oh, as shit. artists and as people like us, bro, like that's just in our blood sometimes, bro. Like you, you just never know what you're gonna get from us, but you are gonna know when we're on stages, like we're professional. You know what I'm saying? And then we can go and do our thing after. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm uh, one thousand dog percent, brother. And I, you know what? I'm just like when the energy is good. And we riding, like you riding this frequency that's like a wave, like an endless wave in the ocean. If you were, you know, if you're a beachgoer, you like to ride surfboards. I know there's a couple <laughs> surfers out there, baby. Um, you know, you just don't want that shit to end. And sometimes the spon a spontaneous man can jump on a frequency wave and Fact. he won't be home until five in the morning. <laughs> home <laughs> the next day. <laughs> <laughs> the next day. Well. You know, yeah. Well, it all depends on who you're asking. If that five in the morning is the next day, I would say it's the next day, right? You know? Yeah, I'm talking five p.m. I consider the next day. Yeah, <laughs> unless you got a lady at home and she tells time differently. Yeah, you feel for me? Sure, bro. And she's like, "You've been five in the morning. You've been gone for two days." For sure, bro. <laughs> they had that extra day on. Yeah, they had that extra day on, brother. But uh, okay, so you, how long have you been uh, thoroughly? You would say in the game, bro. So I dropped my first solo project at in 2010. 2010, so, okay. I mean, yeah, a minute, bro. A minute. For 13, 14 years, 17, 18, 19 albums out on every platform right now, bro. Just work, 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 consistency, consistency, dog. That's everything to me. Everything. If you say you've been doing music, dog, for 15 years and you say I got three albums out, for, what you been doing? <laughs> what you been doing? Shit, if you say, hey, bro, I've been running a podcast for six years and got three episodes, what you been doing? Yeah. Consistency. You've been tatting six years, dog. You, you can only show me three tats. For you ain't tatting then. You don't love this. This ain't your passion. This ain't your passion, bro. If you didn't get spit up and chewed out a million times and still want this game, then it ain't your passion, bro. It's different. Different. <laughs> Man, yeah, some people uh, doesn't don't understand what that feels like, you know, because, you know, say if there's some cats, bro, and you talk about consistency, I, I would say everybody's wired up a little differently, right, you know, and some people have that dog in them, you know, I'd say that's having the dog in you, that, you know, you're going to be consistent, you're going to be relentless, you're going to keep your foot on mama's neck, baby's neck, and everybody else's neck that you need to keep your foot on, I'm just using yeah. that dumb yeah, analogy, yeah, yeah. right, um, but some people aren't wired like that, you know, and some people are just real. And then they get, but the, some of these are the same cats that, you know, get depressed and they get down and they start blaming everybody else of why shit's not going right for them, you know? And instead of, you know, looking in the mirror and saying, hey, bro, you are in control of this. You have everything to do with the outcome of your success, so to speak, right? Yeah, bro. I mean, yeah, there, there's, there's moments where other people can get lucky there's like you said bro they can start a podcast tomorrow and just go viral like there's there's them stories bro and and the thing is is you can't let that outcome detour you from your struggle like like you're gonna have a different struggle bro we're all different i didn't have that that i didn't drop a song and go viral you didn't drop a podcast and go instantly like that it took years once again it goes back to we have to love what we say we love bro if we don't them sheets are going to get pulled, dog, and you're going to end up having to do something else, bro. You know? Yeah, bro. You got to go do something else. You know? Construction is always there. Man. I mean. I know. You know, and also, too, bro, just speaking of this, brother, before we were about to get into your story. I think we attempted to get into it, and we, here but we I go. Mean, but I mean, this is the vibing, vi vibration, bro. bro. Yeah, these are the vibration. Uh, um, but I say this, too. If, check it out. My G's, you motherfuckers right here, right here, staring at this fucking handsome face that you were crying about. 
don't worry, I'm here, baby. I'm gonna rock you to sleep tonight. You know what I mean, I'm gonna pick you up. I'm gonna burp you. <laughs> I mean, if your titties, if your girl needs her titties grabbed, I'm gonna grab them, dog. You know what I mean? I'm here for whatever, however you need me, dog. You need a hot pocket? Hold on. Um, sorry, <laughs> I'm silly as fuck right now, dog. And, and with all that silliness, I forgot what the fuck I was going to say, bro. Hey, shout out to Killer Kush, baby. Got me a little twisted right now. Um, I forgot what I was going to say, brother. But You're we good. were talking about consistency and all this other shit. Um, I'm a little goofy right now. I apologize, but that's not too, uh, that's not out the norm. Bro, right this here. is what a convo's about, dog. I forgot what I was going to say, and it was really something profound and something good, dog. You know, right, it'll come that, back I, that, that I was going to add to your conversation, but I got silly on it. And um, I don't know. It might be this guy right here, bro. Every time I look at him, bro, he's just... No, okay. Um, anyways, yeah, consistency, brother, is a key in reaching your dreams, you know? So, oh, this is what I was going to say. Okay, here we go. Thank you, dog. There you go. Um, so if you're rapping, you're rapping. Let me put it on me right here. You're rapping. You're the rapper, dog. You're the, you're the motherfucking rapper. You got dreams and you got skills, dog. And this is a passion and it makes you feel very good when you fucking... Do a song because therapy, it's therapeutic to you, right? Well, check it out, dog. That's cool, my boy. Pursue your dream, but until it pays the bills, it's a hobby, dog. You know, it's a hobby. So with that said, we need something. We need a foundation, right? We got to have some type of income coming in, you know, so we ain't got baby mama talking about you fucking rapping and broke-ass rapper and all that other shit. Bro, union jobs are great, guys. Get a yep. union job. Get a trade under, underneath the belt, man. I'm telling you, like, always have yourself a plan B and maybe a plan plan C. And the plan C might be the side check with the good job. You feel me, dog? I wouldn't consider that a plan B. No? If that's the, you, no, if, that's, yeah. If you want to be something, dog, and you know that that thing is going to take money and take budget, then then that that work that construction job or whatever you're doing for money, dog, that's going to fund your dream. So if you're going to sit back and go, I'm just going to rap, bro, and not make no money, you ain't going to make no albums. You ain't going to make no videos. No. You need to have that, that rock, bro, that gives you that money because you will not be able to fund what you really want to do, dog. So people are so embarrassed, homie, to like have to get a job or save the bread on the side for this video or this mixing or this master or this album cover like no bro that's what a real hustler is dog is doing things and sacrificing that to do what you really want to do bro and people forget that people just want to be cool they just want to say they're a rapper with no income coming in yeah that's what they want to do and then not and speaking about being too cool bro and then they're just this fucking rapper with this crazy ass fucking ego right they're with, they got this crazy ass ego, and they don't want to be seen working at Home Depot, there homie. You go. Because I'm a badass rapper, homie, and I'm talking about nothing but money and my shit, dog. Shit that I ain't got, but maybe we're putting in the universe to get. I don't know. You can look at it a couple different Both ways. ways. Yeah, yeah. You can look at it a couple different ways. But you know, they're just too prideful to get a fucking basic motherfucking job, homie. I guarantee you get more fans, and this is for them young young uh, artists out there, bro. I guarantee you get more fans. By working at Home Depot and rapping about that shit mm. and telling them that this is what you do, but these are my dreams. You can touch a million more people in that same situation than saying you got money when you don't got money. You got a Lambo when you ain't got a Lambo. You got a bad bitch when you got a fat bitch. Like you're rapping about <laughs> things that that you're not connecting with people, bro. You're not. That's a bar right there. Homie, I ain't got a bad bitch. I got a fat bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, homie, like, motherfuckers be like, shit, so do I. Bro, you know what I mean? Bro, bro. And every time they play, every time that, that lyric come on the song, they look at the lady and they just wink at her. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thicker than a snicker, baby. Authent authenti uh, authenticity, dog, will win over everything, dog. I promise you, bro. I promise you. And, and that goes back to uh, that goes back to when I have uh, rappers reach out to me once in a while and they just want to come and show their music. Like, no, homie, come and tell your story of who you really are, dog. Who you really are, brother. It doesn't matter. That's hey, it. I had this. I had a youngster, eighteen years old, dog, and he said that. Uh, I said, "What do you do, dog?" I mean, he didn't say. He didn't say, "Oh, I sell drugs on the side. I sell dope to fund my shit." Not that you would really say that on on a podcast because you'd be criminating yourself. Um, but. He said, I work with my dad construction. 
There you go. But who knows? Maybe he's smarter than me, dog. And it's really something else. There you go. <laughs> he might have got you, bro. Yeah, he really got me. Sure. He, he might have got me, bro. But I liked it, though, because I thought he was for reals about it. And um, I said, that is amazing, brother. You have a foundation. You have something you can do besides fucking rap, bro. You know? And, uh, yeah, that's that's most definitely. Uh, and I think you have done that. And I believe that we will talk about that, uh, getting into your story, which yeah. we will do now, brother. Uh, born and raised in West Covina? Born in West Covina, queen of the valley. Um, and then lived my whole life in Covina. So people don't know that. There's, that's two different cities, bro. Two different school districts, two different police departments, two different everything, dog. Like when you're born in or when you're raised in Covina, there is no neighborhood in Covina. There isn't a, anything. It, it, Covina's wide open, right? But it's surrounded by, by the shits, bro. You know what I'm saying? The entire SGV got hoods, dog, surrounding Covina. Yeah. So growing up in Covina, had to simply just navigate through everything, dog, because it's around you. Yeah. It's just, do you want to go in that direction? You right. know what I'm saying? So Covina's where, where, I'm, where I was raised, dog, and, and that's where I went to school, and that's where I lived my whole life, and that's really what I rep. You know what I'm saying? Like Covina, 626, that's me, you know? Yes, and, sir. And, and that's, that's where everything started for me, bro. That's from, from the diapers to my businesses right now. I love West Covina. I love Covina. I love the SGV, dog. You know, I was I was Amen. raised I was raised a little bit in the SGV as well, uh, as well as Highland Park. Um, I live in the SGV right now, bro. My kids go to school there. I mean, SGV, bro. It's you know it's got its pockets like you're talking about for sure. Know? But I didn't realize that Covina never had a neighborhood. I thought there was a. Is there the West Covina got a neighborhood, right? West Covina got a neighborhood. So, you, you know, Covina, you, I mean, literally in all 360 directions, you, you're getting, you know, Puente, Baldwin Park, Azusa, you know, Bassett. I mean, Laverne got them. Uh, San Dimas got a hood. Like, you're lit every which way of direction, there's a hood. Yeah. Covina doesn't. So, so a lot of the times, dog, when you go to these places in Covina, you're going to see a lot of these fools from different hoods, you know? In in it, within Covina, so that's where it'll get tricky. That's where it gets tricky, bro. Um, but I mean, to to go back to you know my story, I was started, bro. I I I you know grew up in a household with a mom and a dad. Um, you know, till about eight or nine, bro. My childhood was 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 fairly was fairly cool, bro. Lived in a little house in Covina. Um, dad's a very traditional Mexican. Um, and I, I think once my mom and dad got that divorce, bro, is when I really became free dog, because my dad was, you know, heavily into liquor. Um, and, and that really changed a lot of things for the household, bro, is, is that addiction. And, um, when I moved out with my mom, that's when I feel like I really became a man, bro, because I got to finally do things that I really couldn't, dog. My dad was trying to have me live out his dreams. He wanted me to be a ball player, which was dope. But my dad also whooped my ass for everything. Homie, I'm talking about if I drop the ground ball at seven years old, he's coming back drinking a bottle, and he's whooping my ass with a belt, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, Damn. he drove me out the game, dog. You know, everyone got their little— Beat you out the game. Now, everyone yeah. got their stories, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like my story isn't gonna be a story of I'm from this hood and I, I did this much time over here. This isn't my story. Not every story needs to say to have that. No, my story is a simple story, bro. Well, we're we're we're, we're, we're we got in, we got high tone here today. That's it, correct? bro. And and yeah. and there's a million people out there that have a story like me, dog. Parents divorce. I'm gonna tell you some shit I don't even really talk about too much. Mom left my dad for a black man. Whoa, right traditional Mexican dad from Jalisco, racist as fuck. Mm. Blacks walk across the street mm -hmm. trying to teach me what to call them. You know, that's how that's <laughs> how old school this this pops was in the 80s, you feel me? Yeah. So when my mom left my left him for a black. Yeah. That's where it got tricky, dog, because he he put me into this situation where my mom pulled up one day and he literally looked me in the eyes and said, "Hey, mijo, I'm going to have you make one, you're going to pick one one 
thing right now, bro. You're either going to stay with me and I'll teach you how to become a man. Or you're going to walk out that gate and get in your mom's car and you're a pussy for the rest of your life. And don't tell me or anybody that I'm your father. That's what he gave me. <sighs> that was the ultimatum at nine years old. So me over here, hmm. I'm getting hit with a belt for missing a ground ball. He's drunk, homie. He, I, I can't climb a tree, can't ride a skateboard. He thinks I'm going to the Dodgers at nine years old, dog. Like he's just <laughs> lost it. You feel me? What yeah. I do, dog, I got in the car with my moms. Yes, sir. And that's where life began for me. Hmm. That's where it began. You were kind of, uh, you were free. 1,000%. And, and, it and like that's weird to say nine years old, bro. It was like nine years old, you know, shit. I guess we can incorporate the prison in your story because you just caught, at nine years old, you caught your parole date, homie. There it is. You know? Free, and I lived, free, free. I lived three blocks from my pops, dog, and didn't see him for years. Damn. Three blocks. That's interesting. My mommy would even tell me, she would be like, hey, you have a dad, you're going to go see him. And it was just like, he, he let that, what she left him for, she, he let that get to his kids, his head, you know? He chose his ego over his kids. Chose the bottle over his kids, you know? Out of curiosity, what was he drinking? Man, bro, I... I <laughs> What About alcohol? Eight? What alcohol brand is doing this to a motherfucker, dog? Man, bro, <laughs> you wouldn't believe. Don't tell dog. Me it's like some taka vodka or something like that. <laughs> I, I used to. I'm, I'm sorry for making a joke out of it, brother, because you went through. You went over that his alcoholic uh, personality. Uh, you went through abuse, and I and I've and I've, I've I've been through abuse too growing up, bro. All my years growing up, dog. Physical abuse, dog, and it's. It fucking, it sucks, dog. It just, it, uh, it will just, uh, it will cow you. Like, you know, you, if you ever see, uh, if you ever see a fucking, uh, an owner with their dog and their dog fucking. Just, oh, the minute they look at them, they're just. Yeah. 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 And so when I was coming up, I was, I was a little bit of like that, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, because, but you know, so I, I, I feel it when growing up and even though I make a joke out of. I make a joke out of my yeah, shit, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to laugh that's, at it, baby. Yeah, bro, you know? that's what made us. <laughs> that's what made us, bro. And there's no, you know, ain't nobody feeling sorry for uh, It's just, dog, we, we got dealt with them cards, and then we got to figure out how to maneuver through it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, did ever, did that, you know, any time that, you know, you got a, you got a, a, a black dad for a stepfather, like, every time he'd be like, fuck it, he'd start drinking, he'd be like, man, that little motherfucking Mexican pull up, I'm gonna blow the beans out that motherfucker. Well, I, I seen it all, <laughs> bro, I seen it all, man. But that he, was, was he a, a little bit racist, too? Dog, that, he was a fool, dog, he was a fool, so he was ready for the action, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he they, they called him Mike Tyson, dog, he looks just like the motherfucker, dog, oh, so really like, shit? Yeah, bro, my dad didn't want to pull up on him at that he time. Be missing, he was going to be missing an ear if he pulled up, dog. You know what I mean? Shit. But man, bro, but that that's where I became free, man. That's where I be, be able to, to, to be a kid. You know what I'm saying? And that's where the music started, bro, because I had a cousin, and my cousin was from a hood in L.A., a neighborhood in L.A., so... My mom and 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 my mom and and Anne are twin sisters. Oh, that's so cool. So my cousins were like my brothers. Okay. I didn't have a brother. I had a younger sister. So when my cousin would come over from LA, he I would see what he was living, bro. I would see how he was dressing. I would see that and I started wanting to emulate my older cousin. Yeah. That's what we do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're a youngster, bro. You see your home, your cousin doing it big or driving this whip or big head like bro like i, I want to be just like him hell yeah dog. you know so what's a trip though is you have homies that want you to get into the hood and then you have homies or family that say hey if i catch you in the hood i'm gonna fuck you up <laughs> those are the real ones right and, there. and and that was what my cousin was bro like yeah. the older he got the more he told me, Tone, if I ever catch you in the hood, I'm going to fuck you up. And I didn't want to get fucked up by my cousin. So he said, bro, keep playing sports. Keep rapping. Keep writing music. Promise you're going to be doing better than I am in my life, bro. You know, and that was how rap started, dog. I started writing rhymes, and he would sell them to his homies in the neighborhood and shoot me 50 bucks. Okay, so you you, you so you put in, you, you writing rhymes, recording raps. I'm, I'm, no, I'm just writing rhymes on a paper, spitting them for him, and then he would take the paper and give me 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks and be like, I'm going to come back and more homies need bars. Damn, homie and, and, homie and OG Ghost Rider, dog. That's where the, the mentality was like, dog, like, 
I could make money off this, putting words together. Yeah, and that's what sent me overboard, dog. I mean, how did you how did you realize that you had the? I mean, you're not even I, rapping. You're putting on lyrics. I mean, it, it, like I it just know. came it was, naturally. It was like Are poems, bro. It was just writing the things I was feeling, and then like, kind of like looking at my cousin's life and putting myself in his shoes like what would he rap about like and that's how it started dog that's how my entire career started and at that time he was doing it big in the streets dog so he was already fucking with short snoop he'd pull me out of school dog at 13 and take me to the snoop dog videos and oh, i'd be, okay. be hey. the man bro like <laughs> man i'm leaving school to go kick it with snoop and i mean cocaine and badass and rp badass like dog i'm a little ass kid yeah. This is my life I want to live, bro. This is what I want to be. I want to be a rapper. Yeah. I want to be a rapper. Brother, just just kind of adding to something what you just said right now. So my thing is when people say, how can you uh, help the youth today that are going down the wrong road? Well, since day one, and I've been into some, I've been in prison, some prisons, low-level prisons, violation, pro-violation at the time where they had outreach programs where kids off the streets would come into the visiting room and these dudes, I went and watched a couple of times, these dudes are doing that fucking hardcore shit. You want to get raped? You know what I mean? You want to get yeah. fucked in the ass by that big black motherfucker yeah. over there? And the dude's got his dick hanging out, you know what I mean? And they're like, uh-uh, you know what I mean? Um, scared straight, bro. Scared straight, that's exactly what it was, bro. Hold on, let me get my pose back, bro. Hey. Oh, there you go. The hey, let's all do the pose in the room, dog. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, but um, I've always said if you want to impact a young motherfucker's life, show him different. Pick him up and show him a different lifestyle. That's what your cousin did for you, yeah. dog. Shout out to that motherfucker right there, dog. You know what I mean, he showed you a whole nether lifestyle. And, and that probably, you know, you had bigger after seeing that, bro. Like, who yeah. would have wanted, who, even if you didn't rap at the time, homie, bro. you're going to see that and you're going to want to be a part of that somehow, some way. Yeah. That's and I was able to be a part of it through the music. I didn't have to. I didn't have to get in the hood. I didn't have to get in the neighborhood. I, I just, he said, "Bro, what I'm doing here will help you out. Let, let's just focus on what you love doing, bro." And yeah, I would go to the functions with him, dog. He would take, bro. He Friday, dog. My, hey, I'm taking your son to uh, Havasu, and we would go three, four big old suburbans deep to Havasu, Copper Canyon. I'm 13, 14, bro. Like living the life like a rapper. Yeah. He showed me, bro, and I just had to run with it in my own direction, in my own way. And that's how the music started, bro, and that's how I fell in love with it, man. It takes one person that you can idolize, look at their life and go, I want to be that, but I want to be it in my way. That's the difference. You don't want to ever copy that life. You want to say, I want that, but I'm going to do it different. Absolutely. I'm going to do it my way. Absolutely, brother. I'm a, you're going to do it, and you've done it your way, too. Cause you could have easily, uh, I mean, what, let's let's do this. What was who were your influences besides uh, you? I mean, obviously you can say uh, Too Short and Snoop and them because you're around them. But I mean, who were your main influences coming up? I mean, believe it or not, Dog Mob Deep, uh, Wu Tang, a lot of a lot of the the East, East Coast, Coast shit, yeah. bro, was like real. It, it, it hit me different, bro. Like. Yeah. You know, I mean, of course, dog, we're from the West, so everything, the East Siders was big, you know, like, yeah. you know, just those type of things you lived around. It, it was just it, the culture out here in the West. But I trickled off and got into, like, woo, dog, I got Wu-Tang tattered on me because that was something that just resonated with me, bro, like, just grimy-ass dog rap, you know? Well, it, it, and it makes it makes a little bit of sense, too, because you're going to look at it like this, like, you're not affiliated from a hood in the city, even though it's all around you. You're raised around it. You got family that are part of it, brother. But, uh, I mean, if you're from the hood and the east side is coming, east side is coming. And then hey. you're from the east side, on me, you know, hey. you're fucking hoop you throwing up. So it kind of like, it goes with the, with the, like, the, the, the narrative of your lifestyle at the time, everything. So a lot of West Coast, you know, gang bang, gang bang, gang bang, gang bang. Yeah. But if you ain't gang banging and shit and you growing up and you just like love the culture, you're part of the culture and shit, I mean, Let's talk about Wu Tang. Let's talk about Mob Deep, homie. I mean, East Coast is different. It's not like the gang banging it is right here, bro. And the the way it was represented, especially in that era, you know. And so when you listen to a Wu Tang and a Mob Deep, it would make you think. You're yep. listening to yep. lyrics, bro. Yep. You're, you're you're listening to lyrics that that can be interpreted different ways, bro. 
metaphors. Yep. I mean, it's a whole, whole different, different art, whole different skill set, bro, a whole different style. Yeah. So if you can be a youngster and just kind of take bits and, 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 and really learn the art, that's when you're going to be able to create it differently over here in, in, in you know, in Southern California. Dog. Yeah. Add that little uh, Southern Cali stilo, you know, I said, I, I, I seen a, I seen a, a video. I think it was a, a shock aware thing. It came through my feed and uh, they said, they, I think they asked you if uh, Covina or West Covina is LA. They said, is, is the SGV LA? And I said, no. Yeah. Because, but it's LA County. It's, I, okay, it's there LA you go. County. But when I think of, the, when I think of the culture, yeah, I'm not gonna say I dog like people that really live in LA. They don't consider Pomona to West Covina, LA. It's just not even like that's the it's LA County, dog. We understand that, but SGV it's a pocket. Yeah, I can't say I'm from LA, bro. Like that's that's weird. Like that would be weird if my bio read high tone L Los Angeles California rapper. Bro, I don't know the streets in LA like that, homie. I don't. I didn't go to school in LA. You know, when I got in trouble, I didn't get arrested by LAPD. I got arrested by Covina PD, West Covina PD, the sheriffs over here, Sandy. Like, whole different world, bro. You know what? You know what? This is kind of weird, bro. This is super weird, and somebody's somebody can possibly clip this right now. <laughs> Somebody can possibly clip this, but I'm going to give a shout out to fucking. I mean, if you're going to ever get busted, bro, for any type of crime, you want to get busted uh, by LAPD, you know? So shout out to LAPD, bro. And I say that to say this, bro. LAPD has such a big workload, bro, you know, on, on in their lap in regards to just crime rate, everything, right? That they're not going to come fucking do extras on you unless you know what i mean maybe if you're taunting them or some shit like that hey the, those dudes you know they, they just like us you know what i mean you fucking bang on my door i'm gonna come banging on your motherfucking door um but you know it's a little more lenient mm -hmm. it's lenient but then you get you can get busted in some of these smaller uh, pockets pockets yeah. su su suburbs of, of of the city right you know, you're, and, you're, you're and, they're and, taking your yeah, ass in, bro. Yeah, and they're gonna do the extras on you, dog. Yeah. I mean, that's just what it seems like, bro. I I could be wrong. I just I'm talk, I'm speaking from my experience, you know. Got you. Yeah, I'm but that's why I said that, bro. I just I love LA, dog. I'm a Dodger, UCLA. You know what I'm saying? Born a Raider fan. Like you, it's like Lakers. Like it's LA all day, bro. Yeah. But I couldn't personally say that I feel like the SGV is LA. I just I couldn't say it. It, and it, it, there's no right or wrong answer. That's just how I feel, bro. It's a suburb outside of the city in the San Gabriel Valley. Like, that's just what it is for me. It's like this, dog. It's like this. Uh, you can be with a bunch of outsiders, bro, and you can be talking about, hey, I'm from L.A., I'm from L.A. and shit, and it would be sound cool. Until there's some motherfuckers from L.A. in the building. You know there what you I mean? go. Then you're going to feel a little. And it's, just, and it's just like, say, homies, Mexicans, Latinos uh, using the N-word. Nigga this, nigga that, bop, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. And they feel cool as fuck until maybe a black black dudes come in and they don't know them. And maybe it's not going to feel so. Yeah, yeah. There, <laughs> I don't know, dog. No, there, there, no there's, there's different scenarios for every situation, bro. That's just the way. But like you said, dog, you you could be in Cancun, bro, on on, on the, you know, the, the, the infinity pool drinking a fucking margarita with an extra shot of fucking tequila in it and then it's someone outsider asks you like where are you from like well, where do you grow up like where are you guys I like, and you'll be like la and there's a fool on vacation too and he's from la yeah and then i say i'm from west covina covina it's no homie it's not the same dog it's not the same but with that said though too i'll say this bro when you're somewhere else, it's so much easier to say LA, LA period. Bro. Because at the end of the day, I mean, period, it's, nobody it's, knows. It, I mean, yeah. it's still LA County. Yeah, bro. 1, It's still LA County. And, well, you, you, and, yeah. you, and, and, and regardless if regardless if you committed the crime in West Covina or East LA, you're going, you're to, going, to, <laughs> Twin you're going towers, to the bitch. towers, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you're, going, you're going to have a bogey that's from SGV. Hopefully it's not on a Friday, like you said, dog. Oh, man, dog. That's that's the worst, man. I've, I've done it before like that, you know what I mean? And, and everybody's in the holding tank at the glass house in downtown LA, bro. And they're like, fuck, you know what I mean? We got busted on Friday, you know? We ain't going to see our, 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 our... Bro, I have I've been... 
in and out so many times. This isn't about me, bro. But I, I've caught holidays, bro, uh, <laughs> where Monday's a holiday and it's like, fuck. That's <laughs> you know, that extra then it 24 get, hours, yeah, dog. Then, yeah, and then it get pushes back even more. But anyways, brother, uh, let's get back to you. Um, so, you, you know what I mean? Your, your mom's leaves, pops. For, for, for a black dude. And that's got to be interesting now that you're living in a household with a brother because now he's going to incorporate, you know what I mean, uh, his home. culture into the household. The food's different. Well, yeah, the, the family the, parties are different. Let's talk about that, I bro. Mean, well, how was the food, bro? How, was, how did the food switch up? I mean, shout out to Bruce Jones, my stepfather dog. That man can cook an Asian dish, <laughs> and then he can go and cook you some gumbo, and then he can... Make you some enchiladas too, dog. This food was nasty on that stove, homie. Okay. Nasty, dog. Nasty. But everything was real greasy. Everything had hot sauce on it. <laughs> I mean, dog, his pizza had Crystal Louisiana on it, dog. Like, everything had that, bro. Like, different things. You feel me? Like, he don't like tapatio. He don't like, you know, anything. Like, he, want, he wants Louisiana hot sauce. That's his thing. Louis, you gotta, you gotta. Admit, I know, that shit is gas, homie. Bomb, bro. Gas. I'll tell you guys this gas. right here. I'll tell you guys this right here, homie. For a long time, I think it, they have a variety of things now. But for a long time, what you would be able to get in the old store list in the penitentiary, you'd be always be able to get Louisiana hot sauce, <laughs> and it was super cheap too, because not it was like sixty cents a bottle at the time. Whatever, bro. Amazing, amazing deal, bro. Yeah, it makes everything good. And, and but it's just got a, it hits, it hits different, dog. Like it's got like a fucking like a like a tang, vinegary yeah. tang, like like a bite to it, bro. Yeah, like you know what I mean. I like it. So I'll life, it. life will, you know what I'm saying. Life was different, dog. I'm coming from a a, a, a racist traditional Mexican father. Now living in a little baby apartment with my mom, my sister, and old dude, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And it took a lot of time, bro. Sister from Pops, too, right? Sister from Pops, yeah, younger. It well, took, and it took a long time for what? Just, just for, it, it just obviously, bro, you're eight or nine, dog. Things are, it is weird now, bro. Like, you don't know what, dog. You don't really know what a relationship and marriage is at that age, dog. You don't know a, what a divorce is, homie. Like, you just really know what you were taught, bro, color lines, dog. Like in my whole life, it was, these guys are bad, this color's bad, and then now I'm going to live with him, bro. But it opened my eyes up to go. It made me a better man, bro, because it everything that was instilled in me as a kid was completely opposite of what I was taught. I was taught to base everything off of a color, just like some hoods are based off everything off a of color. You're born into saying that color's bad and that color's good. Yeah, 100%. Mexicans were good, blacks were bad. Now I'm living with him, bro. And and I got to make my own decision and my own judgment to go, bro, for me personally, there's 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 no color lines, homie. There's for me, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I respect the man, dog, and how he treated his new stepkids. That's what I that's what I based it on, bro. Let's go, baby. I love that right there, bro. I love that. And you know what? I'll say this, bro. With me, bro, there's no color lines either, dog. You know what I mean? Why? Because there's piece of shit motherfuckers in every goddamn race, bro. You know? Hey, man, dog. And, and you know what? You may not know a lot of good black dudes. It's because you're not around a lot of good black dudes. And there's yeah. a fucking ton of them in Every, every world, race, bro. Every race. Every race, every bro. Race, bro. There's a ton of good people that you will meet and you'll be like, damn, this motherfucker, like, I knew, Solid. I, I, I knew her in another life. <laughs> you know, <laughs> motherfuckers. Hey, we were, uh, we're married now, but I think we were brother and sister in our past yeah. life. <laughs> I don't know if that's another form of incest. Oh, the next life. Bro, that's a past bro, life. Yeah, bro. You weren't, that, you, you were a different person. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of a weird comment. That's an interesting conversation. Can you imagine we're all shroomed out and we just go uh, off Oh, that would be a three-hour combo, dog. <laughs> Easy, dog. Easy. Um, but I want to say this. I, I have met a lot of good brothers, uh, and mostly in the system, that I've gotcha. created relationships with from just working in the cocina or just whatever, bro. Just like, you know, um, and, and they're great people. And they were good homies. Now I have, through my girl, her side of the family, uh, one of the girl married into a black family. There you go. You know? That's how it Shout starts. out to my girl, Hash Mash. Shout out to Chasen. Love them, man. But peep game. So when I go to their family functions, 
off the 10, 110 freeway in that <laughs> side of town. You feel me? You know, South Central, baby. Jeez. You know what I mean? When I go to them family functions right there, what you want, baby? I get you here. Let me get you a plate. Like, homie, like the love, dog. The love, dog. The love when you get into a strong black family and you're underneath their roof and we watching a fight and they got the whole spread, the layout, and it's never lacking, bro. Never. It's never lacking, bro. And the love right there is that I've experienced, dog, with this particular family, bro, and I'm sure there's a whole lot more of them, too, um, is just like every time I talk, I'll be like, Chase, I'm like, damn, bro, you lucky motherfucker, dog. Your family, you got the... Man, like yeah, it's just full of love, bro. bro. Yeah. It's, it's full different. of love. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but it's just a different culture too, dog. Is, so you had to you had to adapt to that pretty fairly quick. I mean, it seems like your early years up to nine years old was kind of like a tornado of life, huh? Oh yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just really, like you said, no freedom, dog. It was just baseball. It was, it was. That's it, dog. My whole life. You know. And now I come in here. I got a little freedom. My cousins are coming around. My mom feels a little happier, you know, just it's bro. Life is a trip, dog, because you can't you can't predict the cards you're going to be dealt with, dog. It's on all on how you react to it, bro, and how you adapt to it. That's what life's about, man. And I, and I think once you understand that, dog, then life will be a lot better for you, bro. You know, it's how you react and how you adapt. Don't fight That's it. it. Don't fight That's it. Huh? it. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Life in general is about how you, you know, you react to it. You know, just like <laughs> life at Hoodstocks right now. <laughs> you know, it all depends on how you guys react to this new setup right here, baby. You know, and uh, and I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I keep it a buck. Motherfuckers were mad about canine. My boy Droops, my boy Canine, and little Pepita, bro. They're mad about them gone. And I lost a bunch of subscribers, bro. And, and But that's okay, though, dog. And that's respect to them. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, they'll be back. And when you come back, I love you still, dog. But um, it's, no all about how you, it's all about how you react. to Some people react to things differently. But it, change, bro. you know? That's change, it. bro. It's it's tough, bro. Damn. Can you, imagine, can you imagine these dudes that unsubscribed over this? And can you imagine how they react to regular shit, real shit in their life? <laughs> yeah, all. Oh. Their life is upside down. I'm sorry Damn. to say, guys. Come on now. <laughs> That's them feelings. Dog. Emotional. Get yeah, so emotional. emotional. Bro. But we 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 get especially a podcast that's been around um, for long. But a lot of it's been with just me, you know. But in the past year, I've had other people that I that I throw uh, alley oops to, you know. You want more of that, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get them some more of that, dog. Is that bottle over there or right here? Yeah, give him the rest of that right there, dog. And if we need to do it, we'll get, we'll get more, dog. We chilling right here. We good? Man, this is a we vibe, good on time? bro. Bro, I mean, I've seen a lot of stories, bro. I've seen a lot of, you know what I'm saying, just the podcast, bro. And I just think like, thank you, boss. Appreciate you. Um, let's, let's, hey, hey, Mono, let's get him another bottle, dog. If, if, do we not have any more of that? No, I, I'm straight. You're pop, straight with I'm that? straight, pop. Yeah, okay. we're good. If not, yeah, we're, we got some other we're stuff money, right baby. We're okay. money. All yeah, right, no, cool. no, we don't Mondo, waste no money. Don't worry, baby. Don't worry. Um, I got my boys right here. They got the bag, bro. That's what you need around you. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, bro. I mean, I think it's just, I think it's dope, bro. Just everyone has a story, and everyone connect with someone different, dog. So I think like when the stories change, bro, and you you know you bring in somebody that doesn't have that same you know type of story, I think it 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 widens the audience, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that that's what you're doing. The changes have to happen, dog. It's like this, bro. Changes have to happen. I used this the other day, dog. If the Lakers, check it out. I would say, you know, I'm, I'm, bro, podcasting is, is a competitive motherfucking sport, sitting down, running these things right here, right? You know? Hey, bro, I, I'm here to win, bro. And at the, if for a minute, I was at the bottom, everybody else within the city. Then we rose up. We caught some fucking bulks of people. Shit went viral on Hoodstocks, you know? And we accumulated, you know, a lot of subscribers yep. or more. We, we passed the other guys. And then we, we got past 100,000 subscribers. And then now I felt like, okay, so we're, we're out the neighborhood now. But now we're, we're at the bottom of this huge fucking universe of stars, big dogs, Joe Rogans. I mean, yeah. you can go on and on. There's so many great podcasts out there, you know, and there's great podcasts coming up as well. You know no I mean? Lames is, is a big, good podcast. Come on, baby. baby. Let's go. My boy got no lames. Oh, shit. Let me put it over here. 
No Lames. Yeah. Shout out to fucking uh, G Money. And Rocky. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to G Money, Rocky, No Lames. You guys go over there and hit that subscribe button. Don't play with it. You know, we always show love right here, doggy. Let's go, baby. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but anyway, so I was like, "Fuck, we're in the we're now we're in we enter different we maybe now we're out the pond the or we're, tier. The and now tiers now go. we're in the ocean now, but yeah. we're at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. We're like the bottom feeders or whatever you call that yeah. shit. You know what I mean? We're the we're the fucking food in the bottom for the sharks to yeah. come through. But anyways, uh, you know, there's levels and and you know, I don't know how I got off on that, but uh, <laughs> you hey. stick to the plan, baby. Oh, so I was saying like this. This is what I was saying. I get so long-winded, and I apologize about that, dog. But like you said, we're catching a cool vibe right here. We're chilling. I feel fucking great. And um, I'm ex I'm kind of excited about this new setup. But we play to win, dog. You grew up playing sports, bro. Homie, you don't, you don't fucking suit up, dog, and go out there and want to fucking lose. Now, we had a fucking five months, bro, of fucking numbers that fucking went all the way to the basement, bro. You know? And so, hey, homie, Spencer, dog. You know what I mean? Hey, it's on me. Right. And when business is down and we partying, homie, like business is up, I got to check myself on a whole bunch of different levels, dog. Yeah. And it's got nothing to do with the guys around me, bro. I got to just run a different play. And sometimes when I run a different play, you're not going to see the same starting five that have been in there, dog. Man, Spencer, preach, my boy. Baby, I mean, this is the Lakers right here, dog. Preach. This is the Lakers. And I'm running a different play, dog. And in this play, it doesn't consist of all the guys. You know what I mean? I just simplified it down. Different look. Big dog. We give them the fucking, we give them the center of attention. You know what I mean? Man. We hit them off from all angles. If that's a female sitting right there in that fuel view, then you're going to be looking real hard to check out to see what color underwear she's got on that miniskirt she's wearing. I'm just saying. You Spotlight, one day, baby. One day you might like that view right there. You know what I mean? Bam. Side profile. What has he got on the side of his head? Damn, he banged <laughs> out. He tied it up. I see a, damn, he got an owl back there. He got on top of the food chain, baby. Food chain. Is that what it is? Food chain. Food chain. Top. That's your brand, that's too, the right? Brand. Top of the food that's chain. The brand. Top and then the that came from 2010, first album I dropped, bro. I was in the tattoo shop. And we gotta get to the tattoo, bro. That's that's a big story. That's okay. a big part of this. Okay, shit. but hold up though. So you you're going to let's let's not go too much forward. I don't know I don't know the gap is from where you're going right now, but let's let's let me let me pivot from right here. Go ahead. So you were talking about Okay, you're writing the raps, the homie's selling them, cuz cuz old selling yeah. them, and now he bringing you. I mean, how does he got the plug with Too Short and Snoop Dogg? What is he doing, bro? I mean, I mean is he the man or what? He just, he just making a lot of money in the streets, bro. And Say when less. you're making a lot of money in the streets, you're connected with a whole different type of, you know what I'm saying, different type of uh, a group of people, man. Tax brackets, baby, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's all it is. Like, you know, you make a certain amount of money, you're rubbing elbows with a certain type of person. Yeah. And that's just how that uh, that came from, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's just street money, bro. Like that's how he was kicking it. You, you got to you got to love that, bro. You got to check it out. Shout out to the street dudes. The street dudes will live forever and how long they live, I don't know, but I I, I would say that for the successful ones that however long to last, it was a great time, you know what I mean? And it's, it's, they do more shit in a lifetime within a few uh, years that we can would doing never expect. Lifetime, yeah. We can never do in a lifetime. Like, yeah. real shit. Like, hey, it comes with consequences, bro. But at the end of the day, the shit these dudes experience, and there will always be street dudes. And the street dudes will always plug these dudes that are doing that at a high level on the streets. They're always going to plug their little homies that ain't doing like that. So you kind of always need them dudes, bro. You know, yeah. <laughs> to do what they're doing. It's not that I'm saying I'm trying to uh, uh, promote fucking, you know, making money in an illegal way, uh, whatever. But, hey, bro, it's going to happen. It's going to happen forever. But you, any crowd you see, bro, it can be just like there's street dudes everywhere, bro. And uh, sometimes you may not even think you've seen a street dude, dog. You crazy, know what I mean? Crazy, bro. Yeah. Crazy. So and, that's, that's, how it, that's how he was, you know, just... Rubbing elbows with them people, bro, and I, I, I got to see it all, bro. I got to visualize it, touch it, be around it at such a young age. But he told me, you're not going to be me. You're going to be you. And that's which goes back to the beginning, dog. Like, be you. Be you. Be you. A lot of people make a living dog off of a fake persona. Yeah. They think to get in the rap game, I got to have been a certain amount of time in prison. I got to claim a hood. I got to say I done got shot four or five times. I got to say this. Bro, that shit will come to light and the sheets will get pulled and your whole career is done.
A hundred percent. So if you just are you from day one, there's no lie you got to obtain for years. The lies can only go so far. That's what the advice is to out there, bro. That's that's what we're promoting here today on this show, bro. Be Dude. yourself, bro. And I love that, too, because it's for a lot of rappers, bro, that start rapping, it's so much easy to talk about. I got a nine. I got a four or five. I, you know, and I put the dude in the dirt. You know what I mean? I'm the worst. whoop de whoop whoop this, that, and the yeah. other. Get I mean, it, baby. It's, it's, easy, it's easy to rap about that because maybe that's what you've heard in rap songs. And so dudes automatically, they may not be about that life or never pull that motherfucking shit back, bro, and let that motherfucker pop, bro. Um, they feel like they need to rap about that, but that 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 just tells you about their intellectual capacity, brother. That is very just like it, it hasn't been developed, bro. Like they re- need to yeah. take a step back. They need to rethink it. They need people in their corner to put in their head and say, "Hey, bro, you fucking badass skater, dog. Talk yeah. about that skate life, homie, or whatever." Yeah. Like you can talk about anything mm-hmm, and bro. make it interesting. You could talk about your homie. You ain't got to be a gang member, dog. You could talk about just like you know the the struggles or whatever however you had in life. Maybe mama being on welfare and shit you could talk about what's in the fridge from month to month i mean you could talk about chili dogs you could talk about the fucking corn dogs i mean you can make anything sound interesting bro make sure the hot pockets in there dog. yeah i mean i'm just saying bro like everything does not have to be gang affiliated for it to be great music i got five on it like come on homies and dudes just talking about a little fucking lanyard homie for you know, five bucks, baby. For five bucks, bro. Biggest song, like, dog. Like, Change the life. Uh, Change them men's life, bro. You know? It, 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 yeah, so it doesn't have to be all about gangbanging. So for those that are out there, listen to the homie right here. And please, be yourself. And you've been consistent with that, too, so, haven't you? So I'm writing rhymes for the for the, the homies, you know, for my cousin's neighborhood, getting a couple bucks. I enter high school. Um start doing these little videos with Snoop and he's taking me around the, you know, functions. And then he went in business with a, with a real estate mogul, bro. Like a, like a, like a white boy dog that had clean money dog that was doing it big. You feel me? And he needed to wash some bread and they created a music label that eventually got a major deal through Warner brothers. So now I'm right out of (laughs) high school dog. And now I'm signed to a, a huge, Machine, bro, Warner Brothers, it, major deal. Hey, real quick though, is the music industry the best way to wash dirty money, dog? I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I would assume, dog, because the budgets are high as fuck, dog. Like they are the biggest money saying? laundering business in the world, shit, bro. Talk about laundering money, right? Yeah. You know, shit. So we 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 they created a label, signed to Warner Brothers, and 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 at this point now. You know, I'm I'm now I'm not a solo artist, dog. My cousin, we became a group mm. within this label. Now, we had signed a a, a really dope ass singer, dog. He was dope as fuck. Um, and uh, we put him on the platform. They wanted to do his album, drop his album first off the label. So mine and my cousin's album was supposed to be second in line. Well, our album got shelved, which means. Anybody out there, if your album gets shelved, the album ain't coming out, dog. It's sitting on a fucking shelf. Why did, All it, that get, hard why did it get shelved? Because the business that we directed in first didn't go as planned, so they're now not going to put no money into the plan B. It's already a loss, right? So now I'm sitting here, bro. Fuck. How am I going to make music, dog? Music costs money. I mean, when, when you're part of a label, let me ask you, and I'm asking, this is a question I have for you. When you're part of a label and you're basically tied down to this label under contract, um, I mean, when and they shelf your album, brother, that's just like, how could they do that? How is that legal? You know, like, it, you, I, you need to make money, dog. Yeah, bro, but if they're not going to project, if they're not reaching projections, dog, then they call it a loss, bro. And then they just wipe their hands with it and you send you on the way. So all that work you did out that label is done. So now you're sitting here going, fuck, homie. Like, I, bro, I was young straight out of high school getting car notes paid, a per diem every fucking day. This is, I'm a real rapper, dog, out of high school. Shelf the album. Now you ain't shit, dog. You ain't me. You went from getting bills paid for you to making zero dollars, bro. Sorry, dog. Go ahead. Zero dollars. Yeah. 
So now I had to sit back and go, fuck, homie. Like, what am I going to do to make money? To make my albums, to make my music, to get in the studio, to get it mixed, master, shoot a video, right? This, I got blessed, homie. My family's in the tattoo business. And the shop manager got into some pedo dog and, and had, a, had, had some, you know, some, some street shit and broke his jaw, which means he couldn't answer phones no more. He couldn't set up appointments. He oh, couldn't talk to clients. So I got a call from my cousin. Hey, we need help at the shop. And at that time, bro, you're getting paid a couple hundred bucks a day to just help at the shop. Ink Slingers, dog, big shop in, in, in Alhambra. Bro, yeah, right? bro. Best, so, probably one of the best one of, shops one of, in the One city, of the bro. most legendary shops out here, bro. Black you know? and gray, homie. Them motherfuckers kill it, Legends bro. come out of that shop, bro. And so you got, you got straight plugged in with them dudes. To just shop manage. Okay. And they go, bro, if you're going to manage, why don't, we, why don't we apprentice you? It's going to take two, three years. In those three years, I stopped doing music. And the day I did my first tat, I went straight to the studio and, and created my first solo project dog i sacrificed my love to learn a trade that i knew in the big picture would fund my dream that's the that's the key that's how it happened absolutely give up something i love dog and would die and bleed for my music to learn another trade that will eventually fund the passion and that's how it works i mean that's how i funded this right here bro is Fucking my nine to five job, yeah. You know, and so it's, what you're saying right here is is important for people that are listening. You know, you always have to have something to fund the dream. Um, but man, to be a part of that legendary uh, shop, Ink Slingers, man, man, shit, Brian, bro. shout out to Brian Gonzalez, the owner, bro. Shout out to Tommy Montoya, my mentor. I mean, Chente Rios. Bobby Cerna, dog, I, I got taught by the best in the world, bro. Worked with Fernie, worked with Vito, worked with everybody, dog. Like, you name it, bro. If, they, if they're working in L.A., they have passed through Ink Slingers, dog. And I've got to see everybody, bro, work. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, that's where this bread and butter comes from, dog. That's why I could say I'm an independent artist, bro. That right there, dog, from tattooing. So shout out to everybody, bro, that's been tatted by me, man. That's it's just been a blessing, bro. It's been a blessing, man. Tattooing has changed my life, bro. My entire life. And I won't ever take that for granted, man. Gucci? Yeah, sounds like a Now we're good. <laughs> But yeah, bro, that's 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 it. That's it, bro. Tattooing, bro. You know, made my I made a hundred bucks, dog, off my first tattered ink slingers. Fifty percent went to the house, and that other fifty I paid to record, dog. And I dropped I, I recorded my first song solo in two thousand ten. Hey, so real quick before we get into your first solo, and obviously you said how you were able to fund that. Ink slingers, that when you you sling right there, it's fifty percent. At the time, At I don't the time. think things have changed. I mean, now, everybody bro. works out their own yeah, contract, but, right? But yeah, well, yeah, one thousand. But typically, <laughs> in that fucking in that time in that era, that's what it was. Forty, it was sixty forty. But then you give your homie, your shop manager, ten percent, so you're uh, leaving with fifty. Got you. So got if you, you. made five hundred, you're, you're going home with two fifty. Got you. Got you. You know what I'm saying? That's how it worked. But as a shop manager. You got 10% of all the big dogs, so sometimes you would leave home being a shop ma with more money as a shop manager than, the artist. than you would an artist. Oh, shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That shop just bred money, dog. It just <laughs> Well, they're, they're expensive, bro. Homie. I went in there I went in there one time, dog, with a big head and walked out. What the fucking, I look like Beetlejuice, homie. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, Slingers, bro. Check it out, dog. And you can't be mad at these motherfuckers, dog, because you go to Ink Slingers to get some work done. I mean, shit, homie, you're going to have a fucking conversational piece on you, bro, for fucking Forever, life, bro. bro. Forever. For life. Not anybody can just 
get tatted. I mean, anybody can get tatted right there if you if you can afford the shit. But I'm just saying, it's really not. Bro, back <laughs> then it was the mecca of black and gray, homie. The mecca. 2010, yeah. homie. Pff, fools were flying in to getting tatted when no one was doing that back then. You know, now fools fly in, dog. Everywhere. Easy. Everywhere, dog. That's yeah. just the thing. Now you live in Arizona. I'm gonna go to Cali and get tatted. I mean, yeah, oh, you, you got live, money, like, bro. Dog, it is what it is. Yeah. Back then, bro, different. The game was different, you know? Yeah. So I was I was generated and made from solid people even in that business, dog. Like, everything comes from who you were taught by. Yeah. That's what it is, bro. Like, you soak that gem up, soak that game up. More. Give me something on that. And yeah. you run with it, dog. Like, homie, like, fool. If your homie puts you on game, dog, and gives you the recipe and you go home and fucking burn it, that's your fault. You didn't, he gave you the tools. He gave you the plug. He gave you everything. You disrespected him by not performing right. So if, you, if you're getting the game given to you, you got to soak that up, write it down, note it down and go, hey, bro, I'm a reflection of my homie who gave me that recipe. If I fuck this up, I make him look bad. It was a blessing for you to give me the tools, for you to give me the, the recipe. That's why I take that so serious, dog, like when Triple... OG came on the show the other day, dog. Like, so, you know point. what I'm saying? Like, bro, that's a big thing, homie. Jumped on his program. And if I'm promoting him and I don't change my life and the way I look, now fools are going to think his recipe didn't work. Yeah. Don't tag a homie if you're not going to make him look good, dog. That's what I always think about, bro. I'm a reflection of who I'm tagging, who I'm with, who I'm getting the game from, dog. And, I take that so super serious, bro. I think a lot of people out there should feel the same way, you know. Well, you you you've been around. You you've been you've been you've been blessed, brother. Very fortunate, unlike a lot of other cats that haven't been able to be around people that are playmakers, right? People that can introduce you to the right people, and then you can build your relationship with them, so on and so forth. And, but, and but what I'm trying to get at, though, is you've been around people like Ink Slingers, even My your cousin, cuzzo, bro. Yeah. yeah, straight up, your cuzzo, you know, that has, like you said, been able to give you the recipe, you know, create, you know, bridge you to different people. And, and you've utilized that. And so that hits different, bro, when you're around greatness, great people, you know. Hey, homie, that shit's contagious, dog. It is, bro. It's just contagious as but shit. But nowadays, bro, some fools miss those blessings because they want to be the man too early. Ooh. They want to jump over their homie when they didn't even put in the work for that, bro. Like, they want to be the man when they're not the man yet. I wonder if I wonder if any of my boys that I've ever had here in the studio, dog, if any of my boys I've ever had in the studio, if they felt like that. They felt like that. Like, ah, oh, fuck that. I can do everything that Lucky's doing. You know, I should be there, all right? You know, I don't know. I, you know, who knows? Who I know, whoever guarantee, knows, dog. Whoever knows what they're thinking. But I say this, bro. Anybody that I brought into this studio, dog, I believe there was a lot of game to be picked up, bro. Yeah. And I'm not saying if it wasn't coming from how we moving, how we figuring shit out, hearing me, you know, think out loud with you guys, throwing out ideas, this, that, and the other, because I don't stop with ideas. Yeah. I'm a fucking, I'm a machine, and not all ideas are good ideas, but, hey, I always try to, like, brainstorm my boy. Like, what could we do, dog? Blah, 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 blah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, how about you do this, dog? How about you pursue this? Now it's up to them, dog. Yeah. If, if they put one foot in the front of the other and go, and go that, and I would, say, I would say some of them haven't done that, bro. You know, and, and that's then their and, fault, and then bro. not only getting game from from what we're doing right here, but from guests, bro. You get you gave them game. So anybody in sitting in this studio right now that's listening to you, bro, are are watching right here in the YouTube universe. Hold on, hey, hey, hold on. Let me get the homie over there. <laughs> oh shit! Um, but but you could never think you're too good and big. To learn something off of somebody, dog. Like, home, like we talk. I just jumped in the podcast game with with my homies from No Lames, right? Yeah. Now look, I got a big following. I've been in the game for a minute. I've done a gang of shit in my life. I could have walked in there and thought I was the man, or I could sit in a chair, bro, and go, I know nothing about this game, dog. So what I'm gonna do 
is respect how long they've been in it and learn off of them. I don't need people walk in rooms, dog, and they, they, dog, they instantly have an ego. Yeah. You gotta drop that ego sometimes, dog, because that ego is gonna block the blessings. It's gonna block what you could have soaked up from the homie, dog. Yeah, eagles are tough, and we all got them. You know, big or small. <laughs> uh, you know, maintained or not. Like, and I mean, I mean, like in regards to you being able to, like, you know, maintain your ego, like bring it in. Sometimes you got to bring your ego in, you know. And yeah, you know, and I get that too. And so, I mean, just kind of skipping forward a little bit into like doing the the No Lames podcast. Have you been able to? I mean, since I've done this podcast, it's really helped me. Uh, analyze myself because when you watch a fucking when you're in the early stages of podcasting you watch uh an interview back to figure out what you need to correct yeah and in the beginning brother i was like fuck <laughs> yeah bro. all these years i thought i was cool when i was whooped through all yeah. these other and now you look at yourself and you're like fuck dog you look fucking retarded you're as shit dog. Ass for, yeah. yeah are you sometimes you're like dog 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 yeah dog, or um 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 um, 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 um 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 yeah like 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 yeah 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 yeah, yeah. you start you, you really do bro like if you're not watching yourself bro like if i go perform and my homie films it i gotta study myself it's like when when these NFL guys go back to their, their their you know they're watching game tape dog why is half their practice watching what they did last week because they're gonna fix what they could have done better and if you don't have that mentality homie that you want to continue to get better then quit now dog because I promise you fools are gonna pass you right up that are hungrier and that are gonna sit in this chair and go bro I'm gonna fix my mistakes dog so I can get to the next level dog. We don't know it all, homie. I learned something from you today. I learned a hundred things from you today. I learned a hundred things from you sitting here, bro. Yeah. Just by you just chopping it up with me. I'm yeah. going to take that back home with me and, 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 and put it into my life, dog. Well, you know, sometimes, and also, too, when podcasting, bro, podcasting, we're like, we playing ball right here, bro. You know what I mean? And right now, you just passed the ball to me, you know? And I'm going to say what I got to say. And I'm going to yeah. pass it right back to you. Stop but, right, dog. but right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the ball to that fucking Esmar, Esmarada, Raro, Perez. Lucky's trying to make it big, but he ain't making it. I mean, is that the same female? Is is that the same female that calls up every motherfucking podcast talking that shit? Come on now. Man. Damn. What's Man. wrong with you? Is, are you? is it the time of that month? <laughs> is the futon hanging out the motherfucking front side, baby? Damn, dog. Nah. This shit is, hey, it's a treacher. Hey, bro, I know, check dog. it out, dog. I'm telling you like this, I dog. Know. I'm telling you like this, bro. Uh, when you have a Latino audience, bro, homie, oh, they will love you today, nah, and tomorrow they will fucking put your face on a fucking T-shirt, homie. For sure. Shit, dog. Hey, Motherfuckers hey, are treacherous. Crazy, homie. It's crazy, bro. Crazy. Crazy, bro. I mean, we saw it with Pacquiao Marquez, dog. Everyone loved Pacquiao, dog. The minute he got knocked down, bro, he's a lame. He's done. Career's <laughs> over. What happened to the 40 wins he had or whatever the fuck was under his belt? Like, bro, it just quit, bro. It's that quick. But you, you know what I'm saying? We That's what we don't. We could read it. But, hey, guess what? It ain't going to change what you do tomorrow. No, 100%. And if it does, it's going to only make you want to go that much harder, bro. Well, you know what? I just sometimes you get to know somebody because they call in every single podcast. Oh, yes. And, you know, just like them watching me, they feel like they know me. And then when I see you call in all the time, then I feel like the the the, the, the love is, you know, somewhat unconditional. You're supporting every fucking podcast. You're calling in, showing love. You're taking my motherfucking jokes on the chin like a champ. You know what I mean? And then you leave a comment like that, you know? And it's just like, that, that, but it, who knows? Maybe she's having a bad day bro you know maybe she maybe today you know she doesn't she want needed to, to take it out on somebody she actually fucks with because normally that's what you do you got a wife at home yeah you have a bad day guess who gets, gets the shit into the stick bro your girl your, your girl has a bad day you're at home watching fucking the lakers or the dodgers yeah she wants to come in and Ruin your parade. Especially, bro, when she goes and does the dishes and she starts slamming dishes, homie. Ooh. It's like, come on, huh? <laughs> you know, I just bought them plates. Gosh. Damn. You know, I but just bought them plates. But the people closest to you get hurt the most, dog, because that's just who you lash out on, bro. 
that's the that's just the way life is, bro. And you gotta sometimes sit back and not react to that. Yeah. And, but but, you know? but but what we do right here in Hoodstock. So oh fuck is yeah, we, we, we call it out sometimes, dog. You have to. We though. call it, and it's just right here on my side. I got a I got a screen right here, and uh, come on, Lucky, stop freestyling. Your brainstorming is brain farts. Don't know where they. Shut out the wavy bars. Shut up, see you, Brain baby. farts. Huh? <laughs> brain farts. Hey, dog, my you ain't lying, bro. I am full of brain farts, dog, and. Uh, this is what it is sometimes, but sometimes it makes for good entertainment, dog. You know what I mean? You're here right now, right? That's it. Hey, let's go, baby. But we got high tone. Now, I know why you guys are here. Don't play with it, dog. Um, but at the end of the day, dog, it's really, really, like, all good, dog. I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I'm not tripping, bro. Like, I'm not tripping. Like, people got to understand, dog. Like, I have, I, I, I got a union job, baby. I'm an IBW Local 11 electrician, journeyman electrician, brother. Like, homie, like, like, dog, like. I still fund this podcast with my job, bro. We make residuals, a little something, something. Some months are better than other. Past five months have been shit. But anyways, homie, I don't have to do this. Yeah. <laughs> like, my my life doesn't depend on this podcast, bro. You feel me? And that is the great thing. Back to what we were saying. Upcoming rappers. Passion. Hey, bro, have a fucking, not the backup plan. You said it's not plan the plan. A. Plan A is the job. Plan B is things Your you dreams, like to do. Homie. You know what I mean? The dreams, right? Plan B is, yeah, exactly. We always get that. Conf I've gotten that mixed up, bro. I, you know what? I have called my job Plan B when it's actually Plan A, dog. Yeah. Fucking idiot, dog. You know, no, nah, bro. You got to get reminded sometimes, dog. My girl tells me all the time, like, don't take tattooing for granted because that's what keeps everything alive, bro. It really does, man. Really does. I get to connect with someone new every single day, bro. I get to tell them what I'm working on, what I'm going through. I get to hear them out. It's therapy, dog. This is therapy, homie. Oh, 100%. This brother. is therapy, bro. Tattooing's therapy, dog. We get to really talk with somebody every time we jump into what we love. Uh, you know, it's I've sat with a lot of tattoo artists in the penitentiary, and I'm very fortunate for out here as well, you know. And, um, you know... Some some tattoo artists like you know like to conversate, small talk. And some dudes get to work, bro. Yeah, you know they get to work. I mean, what kind of tattoo artists are you? Oh, bro. I mean, just because of my music and they know how I what I you know just what I talk about. It's full blown therapy, homie. I hear everything, dog. Yeah, like, but so you're talking and I'm full on bro, bro, because they know that some of them are just coming to to talk. Like, yes, they're getting a piece of art. But they need, they need a therapist that isn't gonna. If you're gonna go and pay a therapist three hundred dollars, yeah, for a session for maybe sixty minutes, how about I go and pay this dude whatever he's gonna charge me? I get therapy and I leave with something forever. Like this is beautiful. This this is why tattooing is so big. They've used it as therapy plus getting art. Hey, you know what? What we say is is is. Southern California. I'm not gonna even say California, bro. I'm gonna say particularly Southern California, bro. You guys know the surrounding cities, areas, counties. Would would we, would we be the capital of the art of tattooing? Are we the best? One thousand percent, bro. I mean, Southern Cali, black and gray. You know, just realism art yeah. is. When you think of that, you think of it, it, it was born it, out here, bro. You know, and, 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 and no disrespect. There's so now, right now, bro, there's so many amazing artists, dog, everywhere, homie, in the UK, in everywhere, dog, like overseas, different countries. But we like, did that. But, but it, it is from the chorus from here. Everybody knows that, dog. Everybody knows that. Let's go. Everybody knows that's that. That's easy math, baby. That's easy, baby. That's easy math, yeah. Makes sense. That's easy. That's why you see, you know, overseas, they're getting palm trees tatted on them. They're getting lolos tatted on them. They're getting payasas tatted on them. They're get Because it, it's from here. Yeah. it's a You know what I'm saying? Like, they love it. And we love it. Because you're taking the culture to a whole other country. Beautiful. What, what, what blacks are. Let me go. Hold on. What blacks are in rap is what we are in the tattoo world. Thousand percent. Let's go, baby. 
So we got to win. We got a W That's right it. here, right? Yeah. We got to win. We got a lot of wins. Because we driving, bro. Fucking tattoo artists, bro, are the new fucking dope dealers, homie. Oh. Because that shit ain't cheap, dog. Homie. Oh, fuck us, dog. Fools are, fools are really, dog, they're making more than doctors, homie. Like, think about that right now, bro. Street dudes that have done prison time yeah. are coming out perfecting a craft and making more than a, someone that, you know, had to go to, you know, med school, whatever the, I don't, I didn't do the school thing, but years of debt to be a doctor. They're yeah. making this in a year, bro. They're, 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 they bypassed what, you know, a surgeon would make, dog. Period. Yeah. Millionaires, dog. Tattoo artists are millionaires. Straight up. Straight up. Don't play with it. Million, million <laughs> dollar homes, dog. Big cars, big chains, big watches, beautiful wife. Like, they're the, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, here's the thing. Rappers rap about the money that they don't have. Tattoo artists are living what a real rapper's saying they're living. Shit, baby. I love this shit right here. And 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 also too, also too, if you ever see a motherfucker that's a sling the ink, the good ink, ink slingers, motherfuckers letting that caliber, right? Um, they always got a bad bitch, homie. And that bad bitch, homie, is always got the fucking bells and the whistles, homie. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? She got the bop up, you know what I mean? And all of a sudden she got the bop up. And all of a sudden she got the plunger mouth, you know what I mean? She's ready to fucking, you know what I mean? You know? Do it all. Yeah, bro, they living like superstars, bro. Yeah, bro. And they tatted on these superstars. W would you say, would it be safe to say, and I'm not part of this, I'm not a part of the tattoo world movement in regards to, you know, being, making money from it. I'm not an artist, right? Yeah. Um, but I've been around it all my life because they're all my people and we're part of the same culture. Um, uh, would you, oh, would you say that Mr. Cartoon is a big part of of starting that culture within the city in regards to high caliber work? Man. I mean, if anybody said different, bro, I mean, they're they're just not. They they were living under a rock forever, dog. Like <laughs> that man put tattooing in in a whole nother place, dog. You know, you're you're talking about hanging out with with Travis Barker, 50 Cent, Eminem, putting I mean, bro, like it doesn't get bigger than that. This is what he did was showed people, bro, that this is real out here in Southern Cali, bro. Like we're 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 he's on tour tattooing fools in the backstage, dog. This was this was never ever done, bro. Before social media. This was never ever yeah. done before, he was dog. The plug. Like, he was like the fucking perico home. fucking uh, uh, plug, bro. Bro, he, he, yeah, he, he paved the way for tattooing to get to that level, dog. To, to real mainstream level, period. Whether tattoo artists now are like, it got too mainstream, it's this, that. No, bro, like, we needed it to get there because that's how we pay our bills. That's how we make our money. If it stayed in this little community, you're blocking more money than you can make, dog, like for your family, you know? We want regular lawyers. We want lawyers to get tatted, homie. We want, just like we want construction workers to get tatted. We, we, we tat everybody, homie, hood homies, white collar homies, whatever it is, dog. They're spending bread to get art on them forever, dog. That's the only thing you take to the grave with, dog, is the outfit they put you in and the tattoos that are on your skin. Why you think it's so big? <laughs> Reach, so don't come in here with the fucking <laughs> Louis bag and drive up with a Porsche dog and ask me for a deal, dog, because, homie, you didn't go into Louis dog and, and bargain on a bag. You can't go into Louis or Gucci or Fendi, Prada, Chanel and go be like, hey, give me a deal on that bag, homie. Like, bro, no, bro, respect the art. Get tatted. Leave with something forever. Call it a day. Yeah, 100%. And, and, and the level of... The level of fucking uh, the level of fucking work these dudes are doing mm. nowadays is mm -hmm. is just amazing, unbelievable. But it's bro. unbelievable, bro. Un and it's just getting fuck. It's getting crazier. But now they're putting fools to sleep, dog. Yeah, I seen that. But I want to say this real quick before we talk about a little bit about that because I think that's kind of interesting. I mean, <laughs> it's worse than numbing cream, right? Uh, let's say this. Um, this is what I wanted to say. Oh, so Cartoon. Cartoon, I see some of his work still, and he still has that signature old school style. Yeah. You know? And I think people were still paying for that because 
it's a it now it's a it's not just the tattoo it's a tattoo from cartoon bro yeah you know where people will get that kind of like a little bit of a traditional street style yeah not freehand too, yeah, yeah yeah not too much like realism in it mm -hmm. but but some of it and i'm not knocking him bro but i'm just saying like he and, and and correct me if i'm wrong bro if if he has upped his game to what some of these other guys are doing i think he still has his kind of traditional style would you say that yeah he yeah. stuck to his what, he stuck to his guns what worked to him but and be and that something that nobody's gonna recreate dog when you go and get a cartoon piece you know what you're leaving with bro you're leaving with a nostalgic piece that when you walk around you know cartoon did that it's yeah. he never changed the style he didn't have to yeah you know now most artists got to go with the times, bro. Things got darker. They got, you know, contrast is different. Re everything is different, bro. And to elevate in the game, you do have to somewhat go with the times, bro. It's like musicians, dog. Like, fool, if the East Siders were still doing, or the, you know, the same shit that they were doing with Snoop back in the day, like, if they want to, you know, elevate, they're going to have to change a little bit, bro. Like, with the times, you get me? Like, that's just the way everything is. Music, tatting. Fashion, painting, everything. But some artists are fortunate to not have to go through that, bro. They could just stay in that same lane, dog, that no one knows how to do. Especially when you're a pioneer like Cartoon, you know. He, when, he's smart for not changing his style, bro. You know what I mean? He respect really is, too. Yeah. He, he, I mean, it would be looked at really weird if he did. Yeah. No, really 100%. Weird, bro. It would be. It would be. So speaking about, let's go back a little bit. My G's, man. These dudes are fucking solid as shit. Don't play with it. Shout out to my boy Nito. Eastside Weemons in the casa, baby. Yeah, he's a big dog right there. That's a 6'3 motherfucker dog that, you know what? I don't even want problems with, dog. 6'4, homie. Hey, hey, don't take yeah. the inch away, dog. No, that's right. No, that's right. Because I looked at the picture that me, you, and Triple OG took. Triple OG said he was 6'3, homie. And when I looked at the picture, fool, you were towering over that dude, bro. Uh. You're just a fucking animal, Nito. You're a fucking animal, dog. No, I'm good. I got one right here, brother. Thank you. I got one good right here. And shout out to the Harbor area, baby. Harbor area in the casa, dog. You don't play with that shit, dog. We fuck with all sides right here, homie. You Hell know, yeah. Teamwork make the dream work, dog. You know what I mean? Find yourself a position and play the best you can, dog. That's all I've ever asked from anybody in this studio, dog. Say it again, baby. You know what I mean? Preach. St straight up, dog. Play your part, baby. Play your part and do the best you can, bro. That's it. And keep on leveling up and keep on moving forward and so on and so forth. If you're a co-host, homie, if you're a co-host, dog, homie, if we got a Chingo Bling coming in here, dog, do some homework on Chingo Bling, homie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Know what know know what he's done, so you can have something to bring to the table, opposed to something you're just hearing for the first time, and you're gonna try to wing uh, something off. And I'm not. I'm just saying in general, all the time. You know what yeah. I mean? We should always be studying, always trying to be the best we can, and and not having to be told how to do it, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the worst, dog. When you could, you know, what I'm saying like you got a home you're putting on, and every day you gotta tell them what you expect. Like, dog, I done. I told you what we like around here. You go, you see it with your own eyes, bro. Like just, just handle business. Make make our lives easier, dog. That's it. I mean, yeah. That, I mean, that's that's all a part. If you're on the Lakers, dog, and the Lakers recruited you because you shoot three pointers, homie, make some fucking three pointers. There dog. it is. I mean, Thank you, Mono, let me get some of that over here too, baby boy. And I love that you went and did that, man. Yeah. See what I'm saying, though, bro? Like we told you, told him. Hey, we're cool. We don't, it's just, you know that, they know what you need, dog. They yeah. know what a, what the what the guests need and just based off feeling, bro. And that's that's what real motherfuckers around you do, bro. You don't got to consistently remind or ask, dog. They just know you, bro. That's your dog. Like, that's it. Let me tell you about Mano Castillo right here. Mano Castillo has a company called uh, Castillo Concrete. This dude right here. This dude, this dude is a, is a, uh, He's a, he's an owner. He's a boss, bro. He's an owner and he's a boss. That's our studio manager, Mano Castillo. Big ups, big ups. You know what I mean, he he is the boss on job sites, bro. So this right here, homie, bro, this is easy work Ooh. to him, bro. Oh, look, you need me to be your studio manager and take care of all this shit right here? Shit, easy. Homie, this sometimes I'll be like, dog, that's cool. Homie, we cool. That's good, dog. He's like, nah, I see a little dust right here, dog. I'm fucking scooping that shit up, homie. dog. The boy's a fucking beast, dog. Love that, dog. Yeah. Love that. 
And, and you learn that. that construction. If you work construction, construction is a team played fucking sport. If you like it or not, if you're building the city, dog, you got to fucking pull your motherfucking weight, dog. If not, you're going to get sent back to the hall. You're going to get laid off. You're going to get fired or everybody on the fucking squad is going to be like that fool ain't worth shit. And every time you ain't around, they talking shit about and you're you. You're still going to have to pay your dues, dog. <laughs> yeah. Pay, pay your, your dues. fees, dog. Yeah, hundred percent, dog. And, and sh- but anyways, I just wanted to give my love to my boy uh, Armando you, Castillo, Castillo Concrete, dog. You know what I mean? Studio manager of Hoodstocks, dog. Boy, Man. killing it, killing it. You need a team around you, baby. You yeah. need a fucking team, dog. And if I've been you, blessed. You can do it, dog, yourself, bro. But I promise you. It ain't gonna last long, homie. And I've been blessed, and I've had I've had great players on the uh, you know from Casey, good employee, canine, Droops. You know what I mean? You know we just run in a different play right now. Whatever, dog. You know what I mean? But I've I've been blessed. Everybody has done their best. Yeah. You feel me? You know. And and you know what? You know that's what it is, dog. You've done your best, and you know. That's it. Yeah, that's it. And that's it. appreciate it and love and the door's always open. No you hard guys, no hard feelings. No man. hard feelings yeah. ever, dog. You know what I mean? But hey, so let's get a little back, bro. You fucking put your first single and I cut you off and I said we won't oh, get back good. to that. You you made some money. You made some money at fucking Ink Slingers, right? Pff, probably the easiest place to make money at, dog. <laughs> Fuck, you were lucky to get up in that bitch, dog. You right. know what I mean? That was a blessing by itself. And you made some money and you went off and uh, popped your first single, I, dog. I, I went straight to the studio, booked it, dog. My boy Guy Snyder, R.I.P. Legend, dog, recorded, man, Tupac. Um, I, bro, the list goes on, right? Major, just a childhood friend, bro, from my cousin that linked me up with him. He just recently passed, but I, I said, bro, I got 50 bucks. Will you record me? And that's where it simply took off, bro. Recorded my first album, Top of the Food Chain, and that's where the that's where this comes from. And it's still alive 14 years later, bro. Wow, congratulations, brother. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that's it right there, bro. 2010 to now. 17, 18 albums, bro. On Spotify, on Apple Music, on wherever. You, you've been working very hard. Have you... Uh so after you got out of, you must have got out of that uh, situation with Universal, right? Yeah, that, that that that's where I learned how to tat. Then boom, I started making the music, and then did start. You, did you have to break that contract? I'm sorry for uh, they when when it's a shelf, bro. And when they're when they took a loss, bro, they they break it for you, bro. Yeah, they're not that's trying basically to, breaking it for they're you. They're not right? trying to keep you, bro. If 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 you're running the label through the ground with money, you know what I'm saying. But sometimes you hear about dudes getting shelf, bro, and they're stuck. They can't do nothing, dog. And it sounds like the label isn't releasing them. We one because they signed a five album deal, their first album tanked. They still owe them four more, but they're not giving them a budget to put the music together. So uh, you're fucked. Yeah. You, 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 you're, 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 you're handcuffed now. People get fucked that way too, bro. The music business is fucked up. But nowadays, you don't got to worry about that, bro. You, 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 can, you can, me and you can make a song right now, bro, and put it out tomorrow and, and on Spotify and Apple Music and iTunes, dog, and start generating money, dog, if it starts getting streams. Like, it's easy now. It ain't like like back in the day, bro. You know what? Let's take a quick break, and I want to get into uh, your music endeavors. I want to get into the people that you've been able to rub shoulders yeah. uh, with music, brother. I want to talk about your tattooing. I want to talk about your business adventures you've had, brother. I feel like we're just barely scratching the surface, but I need to uh, pay some bills right now, brother. Let's go. Okay, so let's get it back over here to me. Let me do uh, that like that. And I appreciate you guys, man, tapping in right now. We got 500 uh, people tapped in right now. Love, 513 to be exact. And uh, like, subscribe, all that good shit. And you guys just be patient, man. We'll be switching up the, the scenery a, a little here and there. And who knows, I might be back at the desk with the with the guest, dog. And we're really in a transition of period of figuring certain things out. You know what I mean? But I want to give a big shout out to my private jeweler, D. Leo, the jeweler. All right? This is the dude that does, does all the custom pieces of hood stocks. Straight up. You got a brand? Check it out, dog. You got a logo? He'll cast that shit. He'll pop it. If you want to be like me and you can't afford the gold, go silver, dog. 925, bro. The homie will take care of you. He works with all budgets, bro. This dude, I've known this dude since he was five years old, dog. This dude is a fucking G, and uh, he's my little bro, bro. And um, I run this ad for him just on the strength because, you know, we take care of each other. You take care of family, right? You know, and so you follow him on Instagram at d.com. 
Leo the Jeweler. All right, prepare for blast off and embark on an international. Where's that shit at? Hold on real quick. Here we go right here, baby. That's it right there. Yeah. Uh, prepare for blast off and embark on an international journey of self-discovery and exploration like never before. Introduce an exclusive Rick and Morty International Gummies, your passport to inner realms of consciousness. Now, check it out, guys. Inter realms of consciousness. What the fuck is in this shit? It ain't THC, I'll tell you that, dog. It might be something that starts with a mush and ends with a mmm, you know, and it might be something like that, dog. And if that's something you're interested in, well, check it out, dog. This is where you get at these guys at, uh, at Rick and Morty Gummies Official on Instagram. At Rick and Morty Gummies Official on Instagram, and they have a telegram uh, through their Instagram, so you can just, you know, make that connection in a dark fucking alley, dog. You know what I mean? Pulling up, I need three of them, dog. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. And also, too, uh, businesses, you need stickers to promote your brand. Ooh, almost dropped my shot, baby. Can't do that. Party foul. Uh, business, uh, business, you need uh, stickers to promote your brand. Well, there's our sticker plug, and it is Graphic Joe. Graphic Joe does all my stickers right now, straight up, dog. You know what I mean? And uh, he does a great job. He mails them to you. You got to go pick them up. No nothing like that. And uh, he covers the fucking, uh, what do you call that shit? The mailing fucking shit, shipping shit. And the dude's legit, and he's on it. You order it right now, you get it in a few days. Like, he's on it like that. You know what I mean? And if you want to contact him, graphicjoe1376 at gmail.com or follow him on Instagram at graphicjoe underscore. Okay. Hoodstocks is also sponsored by Lux Tattoos, baby. Speaking of tattoos, guys, a tattoo. Shout out to my boy Lux. Best black and gray work in the city. Place your appointment now on Instagram at Lux underscore tattoos. And we'll be right back in a minute because I got to take a leak, guys. Like, subscribe, all that good shit. We'll be back. Just 
cash and reckless in my eyes The pookie virtual lies got the devil in my mind The highs, the lows, a suicide note The drip of the nasal, feel the tip of the razor I'm tired of the living, I'm tired of the sin I wanna be dead dog better than these meds Got my girl gagged, keep back this stupid gonna throw you through the glass Broken windows, limo tint is nipple She crazy, we crazy, another meth baby I need to sober up, I'm tripping, she waking I think I need some sleep, I'm losing my mind Catch me while I leap I've been a bad man, yeah, the devil's praying to me And I won't go hey. get his Let's way. go, baby Let's go, baby I see you motherfuckers in there talking shit, homie. If you ain't talking shit, you ain't shit, homie. I'll tell you that right now, Yee! dog. If you ain't got, if you ain't got nothing ugly to say, well, don't say it at all, then. I'm the opposite, bro. <laughs> hey, that's what hood stocks is, baby. Let's go. It is, dog. It 100 percent is, dog. I need motherfuckers to talk shit, dog. Hugs, not drugs. They got, they got canceled. Shout out, man. I don't know why they got canceled, bro. Real shit. I'm a little upset about that, man. I'm a little upset that uh, uh, Hulu canceled, uh, what was it called again? Um, this Fool. Oh, bro. I know. That series was fucking. What the fuck, bro? That, that shit was, was hard, bro. That shit was so fucking good, I dog. binged on that one day. It was done. I did the same thing, dog. I was like, damn, bro, I should have waited. Like, just watched one every day, like. Hate when I fucking end a show too fast, bro. Especially if it's good. I, you know what? It's crazy. Is well, that's a testament of how good it was. When you binge watch watch something, like obviously you could, bro. We can go do other things with our time at the time, but you know what? This is so good that we're gonna fucking wipe out the yeah, whole entire motherfucking bro. day, baby. And this is what we can do. And I did the exact same thing, yeah. bro. I went and got Hulu. I subscribed or paid the monthly, whatever yeah. you call that shit, bro, on Hulu, just for this fool. And now that they're off, bro, you know what I'm going to do? Gonna I gotta, cancel? I got to cancel my shit. <laughs> I don't know what else is good on Hulu, bro, besides this fool. Jeez, that was the only bro. thing good on that bitch, dog. Homie, because I already got Prime. I already got Amazon, yeah, homie. Yeah. Well, I don't need Hulu. I only need Hulu for this fool. But now that it's gone, you know what I mean? Well, See you later, Hulu. See you later, and I'm going to clip this, too, and I hope you see it, bitch. <laughs> that sucked. It was a good show, bro. Yeah. It was funny. That dude, uh, mm, what's his name? Uh, the main dude. That, that he wrote this shit. Wrote the show. Uh, yeah, I don't know his name, bro. I, I, I know him because we follow each other on Instagram and shit. I was trying to get him on fucking uh, Hoodstocks, bro. But, uh. I don't know if he was ready for Hoodstocks, dog. You know He'll what I mean? be ready soon. Yeah, now that the show's over with, he's yeah. going to be like, all right, I'll come on Hoodstocks. And I'm like, I don't want you no more, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I needed you when this, when you guys were. <laughs> uh, anyways, but I but uh, I know they watch. I know he watches a lot of Hoodstocks, dog. That's dope, bro. Yeah, I know he does, bro, because um, anyways, uh, let's get into, let's get, let's get into your journey, brother. You know, so the rapping, I think the rapping is the main thing. You put out your first single and shit, and um, you have a different style. Yeah. You know, you're not rapping. You're not doing Chicano rap. Thank you, Jesus, for that right there. You're not doing Chicano rap. You got a, you got really like a hip-hop style, bro. Like you're flowing. You're popping. You're doing yeah. your fucking thing. You know what I mean? You got bars, homie. Uh, I, I, I think, and I hear it. And I thought it was dope, bro. I thought Thank it was you. dope. I thought you were just a fly ass dude that had just a different stilo, you know what I mean? Same part of, you know, part of the city, you know, whatever, yeah. dog, you know? And and you were doing your thing and I and I know a lot of my homies supported it. Um so I mean, how was the journey, brother? You know what I mean? You put out that first single, where do we go? I mean, were we able to tour the world? I mean, Fuck were no, we, what, what, what 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 did we do? What happened? Fool, yeah, but, I mean, Ground roots, dog. Press up CDs and give them out, dog. Well, I saw foods charging five bucks in Venice Beach and in the West Covina Mall. Hey, bro, check this out. Here's some headphones. and It's only five bucks a CD. I go, hey, how could I beat that? I'm tattooing. I'm making money. Guess yeah. what I'm going to do? Give I'm going to give you the CD. Yeah. If I saw you at a gas station, hey, pop this in real quick, dog. If, if you don't fuck with the first 30 seconds... Throw it out the window, dog. Ain't nothing going to happen, dog. That's because you don't fuck with it. But I'm that confident that you will fuck with this music. Check this out. Boom. Everywhere, dog. Just tens of thousands of CDs in the trunk, dog. TFC shirts. Like, from the ground up. 
just like it was at the tattoo. I, I swept them floors. I cleaned the piss off them toilets, dog. I cleaned the bloody tats. I set up the appointments. Started from the fucking bottom, bro. So I go, if I'm going to start from the bottom and tat, I got to do it in, the, in, in tattooing in the streets. Like, and, and music. Like, everything has to have a fucking foundation like a house. If you don't have a foundation, dog, that shit's going to blow right over, dog. So we start from the ground up, ground roots, connect with the real people. Because those real people are going to be with you forever. Yeah. And it was album after album after album after album, bro. Check it out, though. Album after album after album. What, 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 what kind of, to keep someone going album after album after album, you had to be seeing some residuals. You had to be seeing some pro progress within your, 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 your fan base, Everything, bro, right? Yeah, no money. There was no money be made. Not a dollar. Because it all went back into the project? Not a dollar, bro. Back then, fool, there was there was no streaming sites. Yeah. You didn't get paid off Spotify. I mean, is it better is it better now than it was then back 1, then? 1,000%. Okay. Because you had to be a, signed to a major label and have the machine behind you to make a dollar. Wow. Now, like I said, me and you could say, hey, bro, let's go to the studio right here next door and cut a record and put it on Spotify tomorrow and it blows up and me and you start making money. That'll be a badass track though. I'll tell right? you that. Hey. <laughs> you never know, baby. Hey. It takes so, it, it take me a lot to get out and do some rap music again, but I probably do with this food. Fight, dog. Get another bottle of tequila on. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, baby. But dog, it's, <laughs> it's way easier now, dog. Yeah. I promise you. Because there's no limitations no more, dog. You're in control of your entire dream, homie. You can put it out and start, even if you made eight bucks that month, dog, guess what? You're in the positive. You're making some money, dog. You see a, you see it. Back then, dog, it was investment, homie. You ain't making shit, dog. There, there, there was no club walkthroughs like that, bro. It was just you did it to build a fan base, dog. That was it. And maybe you sold some T-shirts, dog, to make a couple bucks to keep that alive. That's what it that's the difference now. It's a different hustle. Different Back then hustle. was a different hustle. 1, it was like percent. Like you, homie, straight up, dog. Like the dudes that made it back then, real hustlers. The dudes that are making it now, hey, you got everything at the fingertip of your motherfucking on your keyboard. On your keyboard, dog. On your yeah. on your phone, on you your Instagram, right here, on your TikTok. Yeah. That's and and it's and we and as OG, we can't hate on that, dog. We no. have to move with the times okay. and we have to respect the new day and age and the new way of, of doing things. Because if you don't and you're too stuck in the old ways, you're not, you're, you're done, bro. You're out. Get the mop, dog. It's, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Clean it up, dog. Hang the shoes up, bro. Hang the cleats up. Like you have to respect the way the new music is being put out and you have to effectively use your fan base to attach to that. So that's basically the the whole game right there, bro. You, you, I just I just consistently put out music, dog, and I got I I, I was able to work with Nipsey Hussle, R.I.P. Dog. I mean, dog. Once again, we, we on, hit baby. dog. Come on, hold bro. On, we, hold on, hold on, hold on. We, Talk we, about we, that. we just we just talked about me being from my city and being the only fool on on on. On sway in the morning, dog. On election day, bro, with millions seen. On now, let me talk about this. Let me let me let me really let me really talk about this, dog. Who could really say they work with Nipsey Hussle, dog? Especially from the SGV, especially from my city, dog. Like we was at the same tattoo conventions, homie. While I was working the booth, and he was he was handing out bullets, ain't got no name, volume one. Shit. And fools were walking around going like, who? Are, dog, he was eight deep, homie. Like. Crip the fuck out, dog, walking around, bro, like, guess what he was doing? Putting stacks of CDs, dog, on the fucking, on every single tattoo artist booth, dog. That dude's a true hustler, dog. Hustler, homie. Hustler. And then I just so happened to be in the same Urban Ink magazine, and it was me, him, and Machine Gun Cali, and I linked with the, uh, uh, Jorge Peniche, who did all the photos for, for Nipsey and his in business with the Marathon Continues. And, he, and we just linked each, and me and Nip did a song, bro. Like, it, it, around the same time on the come up. Like, nobody knows about that. No one talks about that, dog. This is another accolade for me, dog. And I could gas on it because As no should. one's done it, dog. No. no. This is me working with a legend, homie. Fools are getting 
tats of his. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I could say I genuinely was in the lab with him, dog. Like we were sitting next to each other talking about the song, the hustle, the music. And it wasn't, dog, there, there was really no, you know, the, the bridge that I was trying to do was like, bro, I'm, 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 I'm not a Chicano rapper, dog. I'm a rapper. I'm an artist. Fuck my skin color. So the bridge I was, ga- the, the, the gap I was bridging, sitting next to Nipsey was huge, bro, for the culture. That showed we don't have to just do the, the low rider shows and just do this. Like, we're bigger, dog. We're bigger. Like, open your mind up. Let's 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 take this to the next level, dog. And I was that wave, dog, of of letting our people know it's bigger than that. And no disrespect to that world, dog, because I love that world. I make music also for that world, but that's not where it stops. No, that's it's, where that's where it begins. That's where it begins. That's our that's the start of us. Hundred <laughs> percent. And but we're we're gonna go over there too, dog. Trust me, they're gonna know these Mexicans from from. From out in Southern Cali can get there too, dog. We could do it. And you see it right now, dog. The, the, the culture's blowing, homie. You, the, It's blowing, dog. It's different now. But I was a part of that wave, dog. And I promise you, I, I it, 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 it really was, dog. Songs with Paul Wall. I touched Texas. Nipsey. I touched LA. Tory Lanez. I touched Canada. Real shit. I mean, come on now, you, bro. You, you got a song with Tory Lanez too? My biggest record. It's over, over seven, eight million. I apologize about that, bro. But, and you don't need to apologize. Hold on real quick. Go Talk your shit. I'm going to so, that up. So we, once again, we got Texas with Paul Wall. We got Nipsey with LA. We got Tory Lanez with Ca- in Canada, dog. Now we're touching a Southern Cali, Cali Mexican artist is touching different markets. Hold on real quick. Hold on real quick. Ah, uh, gee, baby, I'm, that I'm, shit. I'm, you just too fly, homie, for these it's, motherfuckers, it's, baby. We've been touching the markets, bro. It's been a lead up of what's happening right now in the music, dog. We just people forget where things start. You get me? Right now, our people are on, bro. They're on, dog. I'm telling you, bro. It's a different day and <sighs> age. For you think we think we headed in the right direction. I, I, I mean. It's it's maybe not it, the, the directions are uh, we, it's all opinionated, but yeah, I know our people are getting seen, dog, and they're getting respected by all the cultures in hip hop, dog. I promise you, promise you. You know what I was, and I'll say this again. I was listening to the, uh, a Paul Rodriguez interview with the homie, uh, comedian homie, homie's name. Uh, hmm. Real quick, legend in the game. Anyways, he's got a new podcast, and I'll think of it in a minute. And uh, who? Willie? Yeah, Willie Barcena. Shout out to Willie Barcena. That's my G right there, baby. Let's go. Let's go, Willie. We well, love Willie, dog. Um, he's on this podcast, and we had a fucking we did we had a rock star night, dog. Hey, and, and even after the podcast, homie <laughs> Willie was just like, I had security right here at the time. He's like, he was like, security girl to cut out. He's like, hey, dog, how much they pay you, dog? I'll double it, homie. Kick back and chill, have a good time, dog. That's the love, and I love shit. being around that gangster shit. Because to me, that's gangster shit, dog. Um, and even if he ain't even a gangster, but you know, he's a fucking stand up dude, dog. And that's a gangster to me yeah. too. You know, yeah. you ain't gotta be from a hood to be gangster and shit, dog. Just like the homie High Tone right here, he gangster too. But um, anyways, uh, fuck, I lost. No, my we're t- bridging gaps, dog. We're, yeah, we're we're, we're, the, we're in the place right now, bro. Even even in in the comedy world, dog. You're talking about. They're killing it right now. Big, the you could talking about concretes. You're talking about Valentinos. You're talking about like, I mean, you. We have a market, dog. That's huge, huge right now, huge. And and the thing is, is the number one consumer is is, is our skin co- is our is brown. No, hundred percent. And that is brown. And, and and I feel I feel I feel like this, bro. I feel like I feel like the lack of disrespect that they're giving us, bro. The lack of respect they're giving us in regards to being the number one consumer. When you go to L.A., homie, and you're a fucking Snoop Dogg or whoop de whoop whoop dog, and you look in the crowd, homie, who the fuck is out there? Nothing but fucking tortas, cholas, homies, raza, dog. And I hate to say it in that order like that, but you know I like to talk a little bit of shit. Dog. <laughs> tortas. <laughs> hey, but I'm just saying, though, bro, we the number one consumer. We, we, homie, we paying your bills, bitch. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, put one of the homies on, dog. They, Stop they, playing with that shit. And don't tax them when you put them on, dog. Dog. You it, know? It's 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 really happening, bro. It is a very it's it's a very beautiful thing to see where it's going, dog. Especially because we have um our own platforms now. We 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 we're in control, dog. We don't need the machines no more, dog. Like we can do this independently. We got this. So uh, what I was, what I lost my train of thought, which happens at times when I'm having a good time, I'm drinking, I'm smoking and all that good shit. Um, but what I was saying is with that uh, Willie Barcena and Paul Rodriguez interview is <laughs> fucking Paul Rodriguez is just like an OG in the game, you know? And he was just saying that Hollywood, it's hard for Hollywood to put a Mexican in the limelight when these are the people that are cleaning their houses and uh, tending to their fucking shit like that, That's right? You know, he said some shit like that, dog. But I, you know, I, I feel like it's real. And he said every every decade or so they have a new Mexican. He goes, first it was me, then it was George Lopez, and then it was this, that, and the other. He goes, they don't let too many Mexicans at one time come in and 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 get their shine on, bro. Because you know, there's gatekeepers, bro. Yeah. I remember back in the day, bro. I, back in the day, dog, in the in the '90s, <clears throat> bro, when you were trying to rap. 2000s when you're you were home and you're trying to rap bro is is all you dreamed of is is being able to get your shit uh, getting your shit to cycle realm getting acceptance cypress from them. hill cypress yeah. hill was the main one bro yeah. be real from cypress yeah. hill was the main yeah. one i've I been on his podcast and i blasted everybody on his panel when i was on there dog he, he will never have me back again dog <laughs> um shout out to be real i love you hold on hold on shout out to be real i love you baby Happy Valentine's Day, baby girl. Um, but anyways, um, no, he's a homie. He's cool, dog. He's mad at me right now. But I was talking to his boy the other day. Uh, uh, homie, what's this next to him that we had him on the podcast? What was his name? C-minus. Not C-minus. I mean, C-minus is mad because I, I told him he was acting like a little fucking hyena on the podcast, dog. And they were all like, ooh. <laughs> hey, it's a podcast, dog. <laughs> hey, right, dog? You know what I mean? But anyways, um, it, you know, I, yeah. I, I told him, "Hey, bro, tell the homie I send my love, dog. We all good." I'm right actually here, Bobby D just put me on that 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 tour that uh that Cypress Hill Three Six Mafia Bone Thug tour. He got you on that shit. Yeah, bro. So, First so, show is May Fourth, dog at the at the Ontario Toyota Center, bro. Let's go, dog. Could we get could we get some backstage patches, bro? Homie, that's easy for us. Yeah, the guys, right here. For, that's easy. Oh, I love you for that, brother. That's that easy. would I'm be a, I'm gonna figure that, that out. would be a dumb dream, bro. And it would be a dumb dream that I wouldn't embarrass you or nothing like that, Doug. I come through, bro, and it would just be mad love, bro. That's you it. I mean? bro. Yeah. It would be mad love, and it's always mad love when the homies give me backstage passes to like the comedy store and all that shit, dog. Yeah, it, you know, you just like I'm like a fly on the wall, dog. You know what I mean? Amongst these greats and shit like that. And Beautiful, it, you bro. know. It's just like you dream of shit, shit like that of being able to be in these circles of people and backstage you know it's 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 a really fucking amazing yeah experience. that word backstage just brings so much value like bro when you're saying you're backstage that's beautiful bro i mean it will get you some fucking some nice pussy once oh, in a while bro, yeah? it gets you everything everything yeah yeah everything, everything baby we talk about everything everything, baby. everything. We're talking about everything. We're talking about everything. Fuck, we talking about the pedics on me we talking whatever, about whatever dog <laughs> whatever it is whatever direction you want <laughs> planet you want to go to you can get it backstage baby Absolutely, dog. And I hate when it's like that because I'm thinking. I'm, oh, because I'm you're in trouble, all dog. My shit. Yeah, you know I'm that you wake up. Everything, baby. You wake up that next morning. You look at your your Chase account. And you're like, <laughs> did I really do that? I just hate the next day when I'm blowing my nose and nothing but blood's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> just crusty dog you pick a crusty out it starts leaking bro hey baby i'm fucking human and you guys know dog i preach fucking we gotta just change our ways but sometimes the devil become knocking at my door and i'm like Man. what are we doing tonight <laughs> bro i got a song tonight, called bitch? temptation bro and it talks all about that bro yeah because this business brings all type of temptations bro which you got to figure out, especially. It's a dark if, place, homie. It's a dark place, bro. Dark place. People out there, you know, on the chat, listen, like, you know what I'm saying? Like people that, you know, respectively work a nine to five, like that hasn't stepped in this industry or business. Sometimes it's a blessing you have, bro, because this will take you and pull you in different directions, dog, that you never thought or ever wanted to be in, dog. And it could fuck a lot of things up for you, bro, if you don't have a straight head. You really, bro. You know what, dog? Really. I, so this is me, dog. We talked about just like sometimes 
you know, like you, you said you were a little bit of the same dog, like when you catch a vibe and a frequency oh, and you guys are just having a good time, bro. And then there's, there's alcohol involved, bro. And, and you know, sometimes just, you know, crazy stuff happens and shit dog. But I started my year off like that dog, man. I was having some great guests, dog, legendary nights, like Cam Flores, dog, fucking Edwin San Juan. George Perez, uh, bro. I started off with nothing but comedians, bro. Yeah, <laughs> those dudes are a bad influence They're on my life. They're fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> they are a bad influence on my life, so I realized I can't hang around with comedians no They're more. They're fucking wild. I can only bro. watch you on YouTube, dog. <laughs> my girl <Man>. says. <laughs> <laughs> they're that's wild, the, that's bro. The life, Them those are bro. rock stars, that's bro. That's the life, dog. That's that. That's the life, bro. And that's where some of my biggest projects came from was falling too dark into that place, bro. Place, dog. The drugs, the money, the fucking no sleep, bro. The stress, dog. The fat, like, bro. Like, you juggle all that and for a year at one time, dog. You're gonna fall. I promise you. You're gonna fall. You're gonna fall. You are gonna fall, bro. And that's how me and Ed, you know Ed Cal got connected, bro. Like. I put out a project, dog, and some music that that really he he. I, I got voice messages and texts of this this music changed my life, dog. Like it really changed my life, like. And and this is why I created, bro. This is why I created for for messages like that, bro. Ed, Ed Cal One is a he's a. I would say he's sitting in that. Shout out to Ed Cal One. He's a hood stocks artist. All, all this shit, you guys, most of. T-shirts, everything. It's all his artwork, dog. It's all his artwork. And and uh, he's just, uh, he's been very solid with the platform since day one. Consistent. I mean, the dude is a fucking beast. But Ed Cal, one, is a, uh, I feel like he's a complicated dude, like all of us. But we all we all have our complexities within ourselves. You know, some are, some are different, you know. Like my cousin Nick right here, he's got his complexities too. I mean, we all do. Nito, everybody yeah, here. Yeah, bro, we all do. Mondo, he's got crazy complexities, <laughs> dog. I worry about that, dude. My girl's like, he's always sad. What's wrong with him? And I'm like, I don't know. That fool needs some pussy or something. You know? <laughs> he need a, he, need he a, works too much, he need dog. A, yeah, he need a fat ass pussy laid on his face to just fucking brighten up his day. You know, fat sweaty pussy, mm. dog. You know what I mean? Unshaven pussy. Yeah, smells like pee, pee, dog. Yeah, it smells like pee. And it's just like some. Someone just dumped a fucking big old fucking bowl of fucking spaghetti on your face, dog. <laughs> like sloppy pussy, dog. You know what I mean? And then you just... We might be able to take care of that for him, dog. <laughs> yeah, I'm like John Stockton with the assist, dog. Oh, <laughs> baby, we got you, baby. Fucking, uh... Hey, but anyways, um... I forgot what I was getting at again. Um, but, uh... What were we talking about, dog? Spaghetti. <laughs> Mondo says spaghetti. Oh, uh, we were talking about Ed Cal, bro. Oh, Ed Cal. So Ed Cal, he's a, he's a he he really really like he's just a different creature in the sense of like he doesn't want pictures, bro. He doesn't want limelight, dog. He's just like a real behind the scenes type of dude, like a ninja almost, dog. You know, that's going going to give you these things, you know. But at the same time. Um, you may not even know in it, you know, that you're giving him in return. Mm -hmm. and it may not be in a, in a, 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 a money form, you know, a, a cash app or something like that. And what you give him in return can be so much more the way they take it. And yeah. people are so money hungry nowadays, dog. They're so money hungry. They're like, oh, man, I give you that. I need fucking this money. Like the dude is a dog. I try to give him money and he'd be just like, dick, why'd yeah. you do that, fool? You know what I mean? But anyways, um, he's a good dude, dog, and I love this guy. I mean, right he, here, he's... I've been to a, a dog. I have sold out shows, bro. He's come and bless me with shoes, bless me with with with, yeah, with jackets, G. dog. Like the messages that come on the phone, just like bro. When any ma other man could praise you for what you're doing in his life, that's a humble, vulnerable, beautiful man, dog. Because most fools are like, give it to me, give it to me. Yeah, most fools are give yeah. it to me though. Let yeah. me see it. No, let me see it. Let me see the stance. Yeah. Oh, my bad, dog. There you go. Most yeah, mo like mo this. Yeah. That's side. not a man like that, dog. Yeah, no. That's no. a man that could let his guard down and be like, hey, fool, this this how I feel about what you're doing, bro. You, thank you so much. Like, that's what gets you far, dog. Having that soul, having that heart, having that love. 
He's a deep dude, bro, and his thought is always deep. It's never shallow, dog. He, he, Ed Cow One, he's an artist, and he is a true artist, an artist that doesn't really want a lot of shine on his art. Like he's behind the scenes, and and he connects with people on a higher level than just fucking a cash app or anything yeah. else. It's just like you know, it's it's a it's bro. Ed yeah. Cow One is the shit, dog. Man. Again, bro. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, brother. Thank you for connecting these dots, Ed Cal. Thank you for pulling up. I today. mean, for people that don't know, dog, the homie Ed Cal hit me up on like Friday and said, Hey bro, I'm gonna link you with my boy Lucky from Hoodstocks. I think, bro, the world needs to hear this story, feel this motivation, inspiration, this love, this energy. He put us on a group text and we're sitting with you two days later, dog, right here on Hoodstocks Live, bro. Like, that's how fast the right connections could could bring you, bro. Like, where it could take you. And once again, bro, it takes a solid motherfucker to know two other solid motherfuckers to do a solid thing. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and I see Thres, he said, Lucky keeps on forgetting what he's going to say. And you know what, dog? I, I, uh, I apologize about that. But so what I'm doing right here is I'm working the camera system while I'm talking. And you know what I need to do is I need to hand this camera system off to one of the guys right here, dog. And it's, uh, it's probably going to be Nick right here that's going to work the camera system, you know. But as So I until then until that happens, can can the fools that that are watching under the, can we explain the man is holding a full-blown conversation, thinking of things to say, replying to things, changing the cameras putting the sound effects on things, reading the comments. This is six things, dog, that I just told you one man is doing. Can we show a little respect to Lucky, bro? You know, give it up. Make, give, give some applause for yourself, baby. <laughs> give some applause for yourself. Some of you may not be applauding, but that's okay. <laughs> bro, it's easier said than done. I still love you, bitch. You easier know I mean? said than done. Easier said than done, I still love you, baby. dog. Hey, you know what, dog? Uh, you know what? I, I love... This right here, brother, I love the pressure, bro. It's not pressure. It's fun, dog. It's fun, dog. I get to sit here. Man, if I can get this camera right here, guys, and bring it down here, there's two different fucking leveling boards, bro. There's a whole fucking shit going on right here on this desk right below me, bro. You know? Camera switching, shit, everything, dog. And you know what, dog? This is fucking fun, dog. I'm a fucking kid in a fucking candy store, dog. Jeez. Like, this shit is easy, dog. And all this shit that's Plugged in this fucking wire mess is right there, dog. That's my mess, homie. I plugged all this shit in right here, dog. You know what I mean? I know where every single cord is going, bitch. You know what I, I mean? Love that, Nobody bro. else did it, dog. I did it. This is my design. This is my setup. And trial and error coming up in the game, starting with a webcam, dog. You know what I mean? Like, homie, I researched the shit out of this because there was nobody to give me no alley oops. Nobody to say, hey, look, I'm gonna come in and hook it up for you, dog. I know, homie. Shout out to my my G YouTube, homie. YouTube will show you how to motherfucking do this. Shit because they they taught me and then i did trial and error i've worked out the kinks dog and hey voila here we go you know what i mean Boom. it's it's been uh it's been fun you know what i mean and i love it and so just going back to you brother in regards to, i, I want to know about the journey that you did with the hip-hop bro and then you had the michelada cup and then you you did tattooing i mean we haven't even got i, into I mean that. i mean like, so so we just talked i bro. mean how good was the rap game bro are, are you still doing it? Oh, bro, I got five albums I'm dropping this year. Oh, I shit. I just dropped two records this 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 year. Like, for I got my. Why are you dropping so fast and so hard, bro? Because it's consistent. Once again, it's you have to be nowadays. It's rapid content, bro. Shouldn't rapid you let content. it? Shouldn't you let shit breathe for a minute? Nope. Fuck no. Fuck that. You ain't made like that. Fuck that. I hmm. mean, I mean, no. I'm not ran by a machine, a million dollar business behind me, dog. I'm, what I need you to do is feel me all month long, bro. That's it. I need to give you something to ride to every month this year. All month long. Just like you need to drop a fucking podcast every, every week. week. We, we can't let one ride. Like, fuck no, bro. We're, in, we're, we're out here, bro. We're running. Feet on the ground, ten toes down. Like, we need to produce Hey, you ain't going to go nowhere if you're not producing five albums coming out this year. I mean, I still love this, bro. Like, if I quit music and I've done it, dog, I told myself, I let COVID run my life one day, one, one year, bro. I said, 
I'm going to use that as an excuse to stop doing what I do, bro, because there's a lot of pressure and stress. And guess what that did? Put me in a depression. Because if I'm not doing what I love, then I'm I'm slowly dying, bro. I'm the same way, though. I'm slowly dying, homie. Like, so anybody out there, bro, like, don't stop what you love. Fuck the money. Fuck the women. Fuck the cars, the jewelry, the big... It ain't about that, dog. It's what keeps you alive, what keeps you happy, what 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 brings peace to your soul, dog. Like, if music is that, keep writing and rapping the music. Even if only your wife hears it, dog. Even if only your mom hears it, your brothers hear it, your family hears it at barbecues, dog, cooking a salad. Like, that's what gives you the love and keeps you alive, dog. Don't stop. Fuck the world, dog. It's about what makes you happy. That's it. And if you have that mentality, bro, you're not going to lose. You're not going to die, bro. You're going to stay alive forever. Let me ask you this question, though. What year, what, what year was your pinnacle? I mean, your highest point that you reached in, the, in your rap career, bro, and where are you at now? Probably say, what, 2016 when I went on Sway, bro. When, I, when, when my album reached number one on iTunes, bro, I hit the charts like, Damn. With no features, dog, just me. That's that was my pinnacle, bro. That was where shit crossed over. Every label sitting with everybody, bro. Capital sitting with no ID, sitting. With, I mean, you research what I'm saying, bro. Like no ID. You're talking about Jay Z, Kanye. You're talking about big boy shit. Sitting in lunches with them. That's what crossed me over. That's what. And then all of a sudden you're here. And then, boom. You hit the ground. Are you at the ground right now? Fuck no. I'm in the, I'm, I'm right. I'm back. I'm getting back up to where, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I've hit the ground. What is that? What is that? Let, let's talk about hitting the ground. How, how, when did, when you hit, hit the ground and why did you hit the ground? How did it make you feel? Because when you start opening businesses and when you start, you know, you're making money doing tats and when you're doing this, dog, like that dream could get away from you, dog. Like you could have people in your ear saying, you don't even need to do it no more, dog. You're set. You're making big bread, dog. You're doing your thing. Like you already hit success with that. Like you don't need. And then you you listen and you lose it. And then you start realizing, damn, like, why am I not happy? I am, why am I depressed, dog? Why am I thinking like this? It's because you you gave up the one thing that kept you alive, dog, and that's that one thing we talked about was your passion for something. When you give that up, I promise you, bro, you start dying real slow. Ooh. And I got that back, bro. I got it back. I got it back. And there's people out there, bro, thinking and listening right now, bro, that 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 understand what I'm saying, bro. You you gave up something for your for your lady. You gave up something for your man. You gave up something because it wasn't making money. You gave up something because it wasn't cool. And that slowly killed you, dog, because really that was what kept you alive. That was what made you you. There's people out there listening right now that understand what I'm saying, bro. And they got to get back to what they love or they're going to fucking lose themselves, dog. Fuck the money, dog. Do what you love, dog. That's it. Everything went downhill, dog, when I quit music. My relationship, my drive for everything, bro, because I, I, it just, nothing was making me happy, bro. The club, the strip club, the fucking chain, the car, the di bro. None of that matters, dog. It matters right here, bro. You creating your podcast and me being at home listening to a beat writing. That's what makes me. Man, right there, that shit was, that was deep for anybody that has a passion for anything. And it can be, uh, it can be a trade, construction, it can be plumbing. It can be at working at the ports like my G right here, you know. Um, it's, a, it's a sense of... Uh, it's a sense of, uh, there's a word I'm looking for. Purpose? Purpose, thank you. It's a sense of purpose, bro. And we all find our purpose in different areas, you know, that makes us happy. That We, we have to continue doing it. If it's, if it's not a job that has a paycheck in the end of it, then it might be something else. It might be uh, uh, woodwork in the garage, you know what I mean? 
You know, it could be uh, going to uh, doing antiquing. You know, what I mean, going uh, uh, to different places and buying old furniture, restoring them, restoring it, dog. Bro, I got we. I, I mean, I I got a story right here, bro, for you. I got my cousin right here, right? He he pulled up with me, right? Yeah, a big ass motherfucker. My, yeah, big. getting bigger than the. Fucking yeah, he can't walk through, you know. No, he's wide, though. He's big he's and a wide. Yeah, he can't walk through that door, bro, without no. going sideways, baby. Hey, hey, how much you weigh, my boy? 360. 360, 360. big boy. Well, look at this. What's the hang time looking like, though, <laughs> for the females? She. I mean, you you could be three sixty, but if you only got like a four inch penis, bro, then it's just like no, man, I think though. then you're like about two seventy five. <laughs> nah, back to the, look bad, at this, bro. bro. This man works at the gas company. Yes, his wife is a nurse. Them combined is a dream team when it comes to financial dog. Like they don't got no worries, homie. Homie just put two hundred k in his backyard, right? Damn. Now check this out. He picked up a, a, a skill, a craft, dog, that he started wanting to make custom shoes. He just got a, a thing in his head, bro, like, I'm not happy just going to work. I'm not happy just going to work, coming home. To, so guess what he did? He went on YouTube. What'd you just say? Shout out to YouTube? Yeah, shout out to YouTube. He went on YouTube, bro, and started learning how to make custom shoes, dog, right? So he sent me some pictures of some shoes. I said, bro, I'm going to back you up on that, bro. We're going to promote the shit out this dog, and you're going to now this is going to be your side business, homie, your passion. Like, it's never too late to create. Let me, let me, let me, wait up. Let, yeah. me, let me get run that back. It's never too late to create. If you feel something in your mind and heart, bro, and you feel like you're, you're missing some. Then do it, homie. This homie could sit on the couch all day, dog, after a 12-hour day, dog, at the gas company, and they combined a $300,000 fucking yearly fucking, you income. know, yeah. income, dog, and they ain't got no, but guess what? It ain't enough, homie, because nine to fives, dog, give you, your passion gives you something different, dog, and that's that's what it is, dog. It's about homies like this that never settle for less, homie, that, that want more. That want to be creative, want to be alive, dog. That's what this is about, bro. This podcast is about that. Did everybody remember what he said? On the count of three, one, two, three. It's never Not. too late to create. There it is. My guys are sleeping in the studio right now. <laughs> yeah, I, lo I love that, brother. You know what I love? I love sunglasses, bro. I love sunglasses. And... Uh, I am a, I I buy sunglasses. There you go. I buy sunglasses because I don't know. I got a thing for sunglasses. You know, I like sunglasses. I buy uh, expensive sunglasses. I buy cheap ones too. Honestly, I don't buy cheap ones. No, anymore. no. I buy nothing but expensive sunglasses. Um, but sometimes they're cheaper than others. You know what I mean, like you can, I, I can buy a pair of sunglasses I like. They might be uh, by uh, what's that? Uh, fly. What is it? Uh, something fly. Um, anyways, and they'll be like a hundred oh, bucks. Oh, 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 yeah, I know what you're talking about. Black yeah, flies? Yeah, yeah. Black flies. Yeah. Black flies. Like, I got okay. I got sunglasses that are from Black Flies, and those are like a hundred bucks. Yeah. I got sunglasses that are from Spy, and those, they, they can potentially cost me like a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? I got these right here. These are Prada right here, you know? And, and And these will cost you about three to five hundred bucks, yeah. you know? But I love sunglasses, so I was thinking just recently, brother, because I had a Triple OG right here, and Triple OG had some gangster ass motherfucking. Bop, oh, bop. I know, yeah. He had them black <laughs> motherfucking frames that looked like old school Lokes, and I yeah. love it when a designer uh, uh, brings uh, it uh, back, brings it back, and they give us that Loke look. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and so I, <laughs> I hit up fucking uh, Triple OG afterwards, and I said, "Hey, bro, what, what with them sunglasses, baby? You know what I mean, tell me what they were, dog. You know what I mean, this man know? goes, hey, they were eight hundred, bro. <laughs> you know, no, I, I don't want to know the price because you know, what I mean, I'm a fucking, I'm a good shopper, baby. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, I got the internet, and you can find fucking promo the, codes, good, yeah, all that shit. <laughs> but he said they were Gucci. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So hey, I got them coming on Wednesday. You know what I mean? Don't play with it. You know, what oh, I mean? the, did they have the green and the red? They didn't have the green and oh, the red. That's really? why I didn't know what they were, but they were blocked out. They were fucking badass. Yeah, he dog. does got some fly shit. Bro. Yeah, and so so with that said, I wanted I, I would like to create a sunglass 
brand Boom. Uh, 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 a line of sunglasses, and and I just don't know how to do it. So I started fucking going through the Googles, baby. You know, and I, I didn't get too much information from it. I have limited research on it, but I will figure it out. And hopefully one day I got some fucking HS sunglasses for you guys that are just banged out, blocked out. Good I mean, quality. I think that's coming. Good price. That's, that's coming very fast, dog. That's coming fast. That's the goal. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to set these goals. That's that goals, entrepreneurship, bro. You got to set these goals, bro. Like, hey, by the end of the year, dog, we're, we're having the sunglasses, dog. You, you got to go back to the old school, bro, and write down on a piece of paper. Boom, 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 and check them off. You, you're not going to do that in your head, bro. You got to go back to old school, bro. You got to. And that's. I want to do this real quick, guys. And I, and I apologize, but I got to pee right now. And I don't have a co-host, but I want to give a big shout out to Classic Hank. He recorded this for me. He made the beat, and I'm going to play it while I go take a leak, guys. So here we go right here. Everybody motherfucking and welcome. Walk, 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 welcome. The hook stocks, baby. Is everybody motherfucking and is everybody motherfucking and welcome. Welcome to Hoodstocks, baby. Fucking uh, what's the homie's name again? Yeah, uh, classic Hank, bro. I, I don't know what kind of name that is, dog. Classic hey, it was Hank. a slap, though. Uh. Yeah, he was like fucking. Uh, yeah, that was cool, dog. That was cool, dog. Thank you, classic Hank, and anybody else that wants to fucking uh, shoot in some motherfucking uh instrumental. I need instrumentals because every time I got a dude right here that's gonna rap, dog, and I'm be playing these motherfucking robotic ass shit. They're just like, look, what the. Fuck? Oh, I got the hardest producer in the game, Stills, bro. Stills? Stills killing them, homie, from Long Beach, California, dog. You need to send them my way, dog. I'll send them your way, dog. I need some instrumentals, and I mean, if it makes sense to them for me to give them shout outs on some instrumentals. It ain't about that, dog. I'll just get you the pack, baby. You just pick what you want. Easy. Yeah, Easy. That's how you know. That's when you know people, Easy. baby. It's just it, Easy. When you know people, dog, it makes it so much fucking easier, dog. Easy. It makes it so much easier to just like navigate and make things happen and just life baby and thank you for that brother yes, uh, so we were talking about uh entrepreneurship dog and i would say and when i when i gave you your uh introduction today i didn't want to i didn't want to label you as as just a rapper bro i feel like you are an entrepreneur dog and with that said let's talk about some of the endeavors that you've uh you're into right now uh, that you're, yeah. you're into, yeah. you're doing yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, you got yeah. it. <laughs> no, nah, but I, I appreciate that, dog, because I do not like to be categorized as a rapper or artist, dog. I just, I'm a, Hold I, up. I can't. You know what? Hold on real quick. I, you know what, dog? I, I have to get this off real quick. This And this is what I got to get off. Before we go into entrepreneurship, let's get, let's get, take a little bit back to rap, bro. What do you think about some of these rap artists right now? And who would you... Who would you collab with that you see out right now? 
I mean, I'm for sure rooting for the SGB dog. So you got, I mean, you got Lefty Gunplay. I, I got, I mean, you, got, you got the other homie. What's the little homie that we Rowdy, have? Right? Rowdy, Rowdy, Rowdy I got Rowdy. Yeah. So me and Rowdy got some coming out. Um, I know my boy Cash. Uh, my boy Cash. Um, from KHA. He he. I've been knowing him since ten years. A decade. Is that a dog. producer or what? He manages Lefty. Okay. You know, okay. I I I I I I don't. Lefty's doing his thing, bro. Me and Lefty be talking like we're we're. Here's the thing. I got I got YB. I got Shady Boy. Like, bro, there's there's players in Shady the Shady Boy SGB. from Florida, right? There's there's players in the game. Yeah. Right now is the time, dog. The SGB got the light on it uh, and the gas, <laughs> hey, right? And the hey, gas. Let's go, dog. And the Real gas. Shit. I mean, the, SGV's the, the, it's, it's big. SGV's it's big. the one doing it in the game it's right big. now. Spence it's big. Spencer, doggy. I, I don't give a fuck, dog. if you from the uh, inside, whatever, bro. SGV got the light right now. The, he the, said the, it right, the, dog. Yeah, the, the propane tank and the gas has been lit. You feel me? That's crazy. So our job is. As an OG, your job is. Is to work. To work. It's, it's, it's to make this shit like this, dog. Do they give you your respect? Oh, all, the one, I already know, dog. That's That's. I, you know, but we don't know. We they one thousand percent, dog. I, I I'll tap in with anybody right now, dog. It's it's a it's a text, phone call, DM away, dog. Everybody knows what I put into the city, how I've employed people from the city, how I've built things in the city, how I've brought fifty cent to the city, how I've brought short to the city, how I brought like these are things, homie, that that they understand. And they don't gotta talk it about on their. They don't gotta talk about it on their on their interviews, dog. They don't gotta, you know. They don't gotta pay homage, dog. And me and them understand each other, dog. Should they give you a little bit of paying homage when the interviews? The, and and I'm, I've heard my name, dog, in some interviews, homie. I've heard my name, dog. And and I and and it does make me feel good, bro. But I'm I'm not a weirdo, dog. I don't catch feelings, dog. I don't none of that, bro. That's drama. But if, if I know me and you could talk and connect and get on a message, that's respect in, in, how do you, in how itself. Do you, how do you feel about the drama? Are you talking about, bro, entertainment within the Latino community, within the city, right? Southern California, California, and beyond, bro, because there's a lot of brothers and, and sisters, uh, homies, homegirls that live in different states right now, you know? And so we, we, I mean, we deep throughout the U.S., right? You know what I mean? When it comes to Southern California, we're like our roots of, grown past the the state yeah. um because people move and so on and so forth um uh, but, but but what I what I was trying to get at the is, negative shit the the, the beef the what the it's what, fueled the what? it's the fueled fuel. it's fueled by it's fueled by negativity bro and I don't play that right here bro I don't play the negativity bro I don't I don't talk on the fucking on the popular subject uh, lefty gunplay has got at me in my DM for an interview, but I just wanted to see the way that the boy moved, dog. I want to see the way the b boy moved, bro. I want to see how he how he does, dog. How he adapts to this level of fame that he's getting right now. Is is it gonna break him? Is it gonna make him? You know, I, mean, I don't I, know who the dude is. You know, but and, and hopefully I, it makes him, dog, because we want to see that. We want to see somebody from the city, somebody from the valley. We want to see them succeed, dog. That only helps out everybody else. It ain't who did it first. It ain't, bro, we got to champion that, dog. Put him on the back. Hey, this is our dude right now. Like, when I talk to his manager, guess what my combos are? Hey, bro, congratulations, dog. Keep doing your thing. Stay focused. This is huge, bro. Much respect. You have to empower you have to empower what we're doing. I want to say this to you, mother boy, and I agree with you 1,000%. Swifty Blue, bro, was on my bumper like a motherfucker to get on Hoodstock, dog. But he was on everything else, bro. And one thing I don't like, dog, is if you're on, like, this run of being on these podcasts, bro. I, and I tell the homies all the time, I'm like, bro, we don't do no reruns right here, baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and at the same time, we're not a we're not a fucking we're not yeah, we're not, not ninety two yeah. we're not ninety two point three the beat, bro. We're, it we're, ain't a rap podcast. Yeah, it's not a rap podcast, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't need rappers here, bro, because yeah. I got the street dudes that come through here and they share their testimonies of fucking just yeah. trial, tribulation, conquer, and moving on to greatness. You feel me? And yeah. and that's what I love and that's what I promote. And, and so Swifty Blue was on my bumper, bro. Swifty Blue wanted to be on hood socks like a motherfucker, dog. 
and 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 he knew some of my homeboys from my hood, bro. My boy Little G, dog. You know what I mean? He knew fools from my hood, and they were all they were getting at me, saying, "Hey, bro, like, hey." And they were telling Swifty Blue too. They're like, "Hey, Swifty, I don't know if my if my homeboy is gonna fuck with all that fuckery shit." You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know, you know. But I'll put it in his ear, and they put it in my ear, bro. And I never had Swifty Blue on here, bro, because I just wasn't really like feeling all that shit that he was doing, bro. You know. And, and 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 why am I gonna have somebody on here, dog, that I'm gonna potentially fucking like I, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna fucking big them up and, and and prop them up like these other platforms are doing, pumping them up, bro. I'm gonna say, hey, hey homie, that shit is wrong, dog. All that shit you saying and doing, bro, for fucking clout or whatever you call it nowadays and shit, that shit is like that's faulty, bro, and that's not the right way to move, dog. But if his own people ain't telling him that, dog, why does he gotta come to Hoodstock? and have for me to tell him that, dog. Now you putting me in a fucked up situation, yeah. an uncomfortable a conversation, dog, that I'm going to talk to some dude that I don't know and I'm going to be like a fucking father figure or a team figure, dog. Like anybody in this team should have said, hey, dog, fucking take a step back, relax, whoop de whoop whoop this, that, and the other. And maybe they did, bro, and maybe he didn't fucking listen because fucking baby kids are hard-headed motherfuckers, dog. But, but So I took a step back and I... I didn't want the interview with them, bro. They could, it would have done numbers, bro. It would have. I don't give a fuck about numbers. I give a fuck about integrity, and I give a fuck about a lot of other things that motherfuckers got to look up in the dictionary to realize what the fuck it means, dog. You know, Ooh, like we said earlier, it ain't about money, clout, numbers, views, dog. This is your baby. It so, is. So if so, if it ain't gonna make sense to you, you're not gonna jeopardize everything you worked for. I, you know that's what? it. It's simple. Well, some people numbers make sense to them, but num well, but numbers, numbers don't make it, sense to me, especially if it's if it's just like if we're condoning a, a, a certain type of uh, behavior, energy, yeah, and energy. You know, like I mean, bro, that that uh, like we we gotta stand on something around here, and a lot of these podcasts and a lot of these YouTube channels, bro. I mean, they don't stand on fucking nothing, bro. They just stand on the fucking drama, the clout, all this good shit. Like right now with Hoodstocks, they're saying, oh, it's drama, dog, because he doesn't have canine and droops right here, you know? No, it's not drama, dog, because if you look at my text message, dog, me and my G's are straight, bro. You know what I mean? We grown dudes and we understand what the fuck is going on. And from here on out, dog, you know what I mean? Canine gets residuals every single month for the rest of the fucking year. Why? Because he fucking earned that shit, dog. I don't ever, I don't ever leave my homies behind in the end of the way. It's just we're not giving them the fucking the mic and a camera no more, dog. But canine, canine, been with me for a minute. Droops. Got his money the whole time right here. You know what I mean? K-9, he's been on and off and whatever the fuck and, you know, whatever the fuck it is, dog. You know what I mean? But he will see residuals for the rest of the fucking year. And we're running the ad for his attorney that we made a deal with, dog. You know what I mean? I don't ever, like, my my text messages with my boys are straight, dog. You feel Too me? Too bad they didn't see. They don't know that. Or they know now it now. They know it now. But dog. they don't see it. That's the thing. They're, they're, everybody's quick to jump to conclusions. And they, they, but check this out, bro. You know what you're living with. You know what you do, bro. You're good here. Yeah, all the it's time. It's weird that they're more pressed over something you're not even pressed about. No, they don't realize that that my boys. You don't see them here, but we're good, bro. We're good. Perfect. Troops. We're good. Canine. We're good. Yeah, we, you know, there might be a little this and that and the other, but that's just, that's human nature and that's life, dog. You know what I mean? And maybe in hindsight, motherfucker, like, check it out. I need my boy Droops to get off federal pro and then we bring him back, dog. I, I, I just worry too much for him, dog. Being on federal pro and, 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 and being right here on Hoodstocks, dog. It just stresses me the fuck out on a lot of different levels, bro, because I love the dude. I love my boy Droops so much, dog. And, and sometimes when you have a dude, this co-hosting right here is on federal pro it's just like I, it's too much weight on me dog because i don't ever want to see the fellas get themselves in trouble over just like a fucking podcast a bitch ass podcast and me and droops talked about it and we had whoop de whoop discussion and we're like hey bro it's a fucking podcast dog everything we've been through dog this ain't gonna separate from what we what we've <laughs> the relationship that we there we, we have fucking maintained and then and then with canine you know what i mean like shit that's the boy right there he's been around on and off and 
And he see he'll see residuals for the rest of the year as well as us covering his fucking lawyer fee still to this day with promo on his on um, Doug Sherrod. You know what I mean? That was the deal with Doug Sherrod. And shout out to that dude for cutting a deal with that dog. Get make being able for us to pay half of whoop de whoop whoop. And maybe I might be saying too much, but hey, this is the ins and outs of uh, the background of our business, bro. You know, and people you guys don't know this, this. shit, bro. Yeah. They want to hear this. You guys don't know that, but I'm telling you right now, like, bro, like the the the, the guys may not be here, but the strings aren't cut, bro. The, the sh- everything is still moving, bro. Love everything it. is still moving, bro. It, we're staying, we're still paying bills, bro. I love it, dog. and motherfuckers are still making money, bro. You know, off it. You know, the I only the only person out that is Casey, but he's just been best employee you can ever have, bro. You know what I mean? But when I build something right here, I need to build it on a family basis, bro. Not when his mama fucking calling me up disgruntled about this and that and the other. <laughs> I mean, you know, but I love the dude. He's a little baby. We got to rock once in a while. But anyways, back to the homie right here. And I give you guys a little bit insight. Little by little, dog. I love you guys it. See I it. love it. Dog. I'll let you guys see it, dog. You know what I mean? But I promise you, dog, I'm never, ever the bad guy, dog. I'm the good guy, dog. I'm the good guy, dog. Best believe that, dog. And I stand on that. You know what I mean? Stand and on it, baby. I stand on I, I mean, I want to be a good guy, bro. I want to be a good guy to my people around me, brother. I mean, we have it uh, we, uh, here at Hoodstocks, bro. It's Hoodstocks. We have a lot of different characters, bro. And I got to be a good guy with my people. I got to practice what I preach. If I'm talking this shit on the, on the, on the podcast, bro. Homie, you best believe one foot in front of the other is doing the same thing, yeah. dog. My actions uh, speak the same, dog, you know? A thousand percent. And I love and I, my, I, and I respect that. But you know what? So I wanted to ask you this, bro. And I know we might be a little bit all over the place, brother. And I love you for just like fucking flowing with me and being cool, cool like this, that. This a combo, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I love you being cool like this, dog. Bobby D Productions is now uh, backing No Lames. Is that is that correct? Shout out to fucking Bobby D, homie. How did you guys make that happen, bro? Trip out on this, dog. I've been trying, but me and Bobby been post to work together for years, dog. Right? Yeah. In the music shit, the concert shit, the 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 rap shit. It didn't work out, bro. We just never was able to set dates, connect this and that, right? Yeah. Then I jump on this no lames, you know. Got blessed with the opportunity to be a part how did, of it. How did you get blessed with the opportunity? Bro, I've known Rocky Dog for 15 years. Who is homie. Rocky, bro? Who is Rocky, bro? Rocky I've is... I've met him in person, but I don't know who Rocky is. Rocky is a fucking go-getter, dog. Whatever the fuck he puts his foot in, he's going to make sure that shit gets popped off, bro. Is he out of the SGV as he's, well? He's out of the, he's, he's out of the IE. Um, You know what I'm saying? He's from yeah. a neighborhood in the IE. Oh, he's from a hood? Yeah. <laughs> That's um, right. You know what I'm saying? We don't get to talk about that. It's all good, bro. I'll but, have um, Monsoon and he could talk about that. One thousand percent. He'd be yeah. blessed with that. But um me and him just been doing this shit forever, dog. He opened up a store in Covina called the uh, 86, and I performed there, dog. The clothes were there. Like he's he's a a a, 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 a cultural influencer in that era, dog, like we he's done things that everyone wanted to do, bro. He's had started a brand, he opened up a store, he's doing the podcasting now for years. Like, this is somebody that just doesn't want to work for nobody else but him, dog. And I fucking love that about him, dog. Ooh, that's different. I fucking love people like that, bro. That 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 I could look at him and be like, he ain't he ain't working for nobody but himself, dog. And mm. that's you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we've done so many things together, bro. Concerts, this, shows, bro, grand openings, blah, blah, blah. And he invited me back onto the podcast, bro. And he said, bro, I think you'll bring something to the table. And we're homies, dog. Like, we want to see each other win, bro. And, and that's who Rocky is. And so who? Wh- where does G-Money come into the game in regards to your guys' relationship? G-Money's from SGV as well. He's from Monte. Yeah, he's from the Mongols. Um, We've had him on the podcast before. And so uh, you're, not, you're not exposing no information. And, yeah, and he's. Uh, I, I believe No Lames was his idea. Okay. Rocky had left his, you know, Street Scholars, which was blowing. With 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 G Money, he invited G Money on to that show. Okay. 
And, and who 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 was doing street callers, street scholars at the time? It was another dude that does videography. What's his name? Wacko. Wacko. Yeah. Shout out to Wacko, dope ass uh, uh, videographer, production guy. It's it's fools that have so been the, doing. So, so they fell out of that relationship. No, Wacko was just at the studio. Okay. Yeah. So is it so they 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 just just no just not working for they, this podcast? Not okay. just, he just he went into the radio route, which is a blessing. Yeah. You know? Yes. So no, there's no falling out. They just okay. it's people that want to continue to just work at what they love. Yeah. So I think Rocky and G Money had said, "Hey bro, fuck the single podcast. Let's come together." Yeah. No lames. Because G Money had started the No Lames. Rocky was still stuck with the street scholars. He, he had started street scholars. He started street scholars. And now it's two homies going, hey, dog, imagine what we can do together instead of separate. Yeah. Right? That's how No Lames came about, dog. And then I got the opportunity and blessing to actually be a part of this. And it's amazing, dog. It's amazing. Because now I'm in a world that I knew nothing about, that I always wanted to get into, and I'm soaking up game from both of them, bro. And once again, bro, ego got a drop, yeah. and you learn from homies, dog. Yeah. And that's what so it's about. So what have you learned from uh, Rocky and G-Money uh, with podcasting? That it's a completely different business. In the sense? In, 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 in a sense of production, timing, guests, uh, 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 being an artist, dog, you, you're not relying on nobody, bro. You 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 just go to the studio when you want. You drop the music when you want. You you're on your own time. With podcasts, bro, this is a production, dog. I walk into this place. Guess what I feel? Hospitality, dog. Every single homie in this room showed love, dog. This is this is your team. Yeah. This was a big thing, dog. Like these lights, cameras. This mic, the sound, it, it came from you guys, dog. So you guys had your shit together. Yeah. That's what you love. <laughs> you get me? Like, it's a, it's a fucking, it's, it's amazing to see it come together. Yeah. And that's what I learned coming into that, that game, dog, is that. It's a team. It's a, it's, and it's Just gotta not, it's, fucking work, dog. The chemistry gotta work, homie. It's got to work. Dog. What, what would you say about the chemistry between with No Lames and we're, we're promoting? Let's hey, we if we talking about we're we promoting, we promoting No Lames podcast right now. What would you say about the chemistry between uh, Rocky and and G Money? I mean, did you have you are you guys still working the chemistry out? Understanding, I'm full. I still feel like I'm a no booty dog. Like I mean, they've been doing it for years. So every time I come in there, dog, I'm I'm gonna be me. But I'm still gonna learn, dog. I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out, dog, because they're running the program. I'm just doing the burpees, dog. The homies calling the numbers out, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it is, dog. And everyone has different characters and everyone has a different personality. It means everyone else is gonna love somebody the way they love them, bro. I, I, is it hard? Is it hard doing a podcast when when you have just like, bro, like, let's think about it, guys. Let's 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 take a step back. Let's breathe this in real quick. You got a high tone, you got a Rocky, and you got a G Money on a podcast, bro. Like, bro, that is a, a lot of shared space in regards to interviewing one person, bro. Like that that potentially uh, be uh, coming to like a clusterfuck or just like you know uh, uh, running over each other's. Yeah, conversation and not letting the guest do his thing when there's three other interview interviewees right there. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know if that's the right recipe. Is what I want to say. For one thing, outside looking in. Yeah, but I have you. watched podcast of 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 no lames and I like it. Right, but I just don't understand. It's a lot of personalities interviewing one person. I mean, have you experienced a little bit of that? Well. What, what the, is your the, thoughts the, behind the it? And I'm not trying to tell you yeah. to knock it or nothing because no, that's the, your shit. No, no, dog, and I'm not knocking the, it either, bro. The, the dope thing is, is that that particular podcast isn't built off of a guest. Yeah, it's it, built off of the personalities, the individuals. We can have an hour segment with ourselves, 
or with a person. Yes. I got you. Now with okay. the, now that, that's different. what we're built on. Different, off. different. So you don't need to have a guest then. We don't. You can have a subject. We don't want to have a guest if it's not the right guest. So this is what I want to say. This is my critique with no lames. And 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 and, and uh, I've done it because I fuck with. Now I fuck with all three of you guys, right? Appreciate you, you you as the, as the third one and the last one, you know. But the first one, <laughs> right? No. Uh, so this is my critique with with no lames. Um, I, I see you guys are pushing a big time narrative of positivity, which is great, which is great. But is is that is that the trajectory of no lames? You saying, hey guys, we're gonna really go hard because G Money's a funny motherfucker, bro. And he talks a gang of fucking shit, dog. You know what I mean? (laughs) So I'm like, bro, where the fucking, what happened to the comedy, bro? No, it's there, dog. You just gotta watch. Okay. And I've watched and I've watched you segments might watch of pieces it. Yeah, and it, exactly. Bro, that's what I do. You we you can't change. G Money's a you, fool, bro. You, we had so much fun with that dude. You right can't here. change that man if you paid him, dog. <laughs> oh, no, bro. You can't change. He's him. a fool, dog. He's, a He's fool. stupid, dog. He's a fool. You know, and, but but I see you guys getting real serious, though, bro. Like, mm. you know, am I tripping or do I? Am I? Because I see the clips. The clips are coming up because I follow all the pages, bro. Yeah. You know, what I mean, I, I support you of guys. Course, I like dog, it, brother. Like, yeah. All that shit, dog. And and so I hear it. I'm just like, damn, dog. This is a lot of this is a lot of fucking. Get your fucking life together. If you fucking <laughs> smoke crack, you're gonna die, bitch. You know what I mean? Uh, right. No, not like fuck. that. I'm talking yeah. shit, dog. But I'm just saying, like, you guys are really on some like uplifting, positive shit. And so, is that your uh, is that your narrative that you guys talked about? Because it seems like you're focusing on the clips like that. So, if you're focusing the clips on putting clips out like that, then that is what you're trying to. Uh, uh, that's like, the seed yeah. you're trying to plant, bro. I mean, I just think it's just that's what the world needs. Okay. Say At less. The moment. Say That's less. It. Say less. I That's like it. that. I like that. Easy answer. That's it. Easy answer. The world needs that too. Needs especially it. the especially uh uh within the community. Needs it. Yeah. We need stories that lift us. We don't need stories that bring us down. There's too much of that. There's too much negativity, dog. Uh, every we're around negative all fucking day, homie. We're that that's what it that's what it needs, dog. Just like music needs it. I feel like just like what what, what, what we did today. Yeah. I promise you right now, dog, it uplifted a gang of motherfuckers on that live, dog. I promise you. That's whether they want to hate, dog, whether they want to talk shit. I promise you something that we said today. They're gonna go home or or, or, or wake up tomorrow and be like, I, I they're gonna remember something from it, homie. I promise you. I promise you. You know what? I just made a decision right now about after uh, uh, listening to the homie right now. I'm going to give Thress an interview right here, dog. And I'm going to call him out on all his bullshit and we're going to have a conversation about it, dog. I'm going to give Thress an interview. I've I seen he's been on the lives a lot and I'm going to give him an interview right here, dog. So that's a, that's, it's that's a caller. It, it's a dude that raps and he's, he's been in all kinds of crazy ass controversy, but I'm going to give him an interview right here. But check it out. What I'm going to do right here before I open up the phone line, I'm going to go take a leak. So I will be right back with the homie right here. High tone, baby. We'll be right back, dog. Oh, uh, phone lines. You guys ready to call in? You want to talk to high tone? Let's, go, baby. Let's, Let's do go. it. That's the next segment. Let the ceremony begin. Countless battles, I walk with no shadow. Yeah. Desert in sandal, the ghost with the candle. Woo. King of all crowns, rip the rattle of serpents. Blood, I thirst, since I am the worst. Ah. Follow your footsteps, you have no footprints. I am the surface, you worthless purpose. The moon, the stars, I'm connected to darkness. Heads of marksmen, I've hunted the farthest. Village of troops, monotop the roof. Black Sunday service with Holocaust roots. Homo Kabbalah, black magic and balas. These AKs and hollows will leave you forgotten. Woo. This bottomless season, you look 
looking for me, the Mussolini go dive the world cannot stop me. I'm legend, remember me? Give this since birth, you were delivered in a hearse. Your mother and your father trade your soul for a curse. I'm a soldier, coming at you like a locomotive. Woo! Never knew I navigate the culture. Woo! Servants at the tabernacle potion. The devil made my father, the spirit set beside me. My mother was a slave to three witches on the island. Ever cheat death? Ever wake up and can't catch one breath? <laughs> Master of obstacles, the Nostradamus I structure the continent, the director of operas I swing my arms, I move the seas I change the weather, I'm hundred degrees The god of chaos, I shed no pity Come over for the seance Hey kitty kitty The ruler of your conscience, yeah In your head I'm a monster uh. Take control of all your options, yeah There's no way you gonna stop this The ruler of your conscience, yeah yeah. Where you gon' stop? Ah, yeah. Ah. Top Pablo Master Ceremonial. Ah. Godfather, Vito, put it on me. In other words, we're bosses and me. Ah. Superintendents, chief of command. command me. Take a damn good sniff of that white shit. White girl wasted on that black and white bitch. Ah. fucking with you, dog. I ain't racist. Ah. Put a bandana on my head and make me rich. Chuck Taylor's big bag of bomb what bitch. You roll around the hood, no good, nameless. Ah. My ancestors built this, we are ancient. Hell, I bleed blue till the plane hits. All pilots are lit fit for crash landing. Stove top stays hot, no break glass. And dope on red rum, crushing your ass. I organize hits in orderly fashion. Like Thor, my hammer hits, the floor's crashing. The damage I do leave your crew dismantled. This me, I don't give a fuck, I'm an asshole. I've learned to embrace it, the king is standing. Just curve the cases till shit changes. I'ma keep doing dirt till I get paper. If there's a million over there, I'ma learn the language. It's not my shit. Of your conscience In your head I'm a monster Take control of all your options There's no way you gonna stop this The ruler of your conscience There's no way you gonna stop this The ruler of your conscience In your head I'm a monster Big shout out to my boy Rated R, dog. And I'm in Harbor City in the Casa, baby. I'm in Harbor City, baby. Don't play with it. Uh, you got, you want to ask Lucky a few questions? Well, let me put the fucking number up, you fucking cockroach, dog. Well, who said that shit right there? Boss Gang 21. I don't know what the fucking Boss Gang 21 stands for, dog. But it better stand for 21 dicks in your fucking ass, dog. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, guys. My bad, dog. My man's going crazy. <laughs> hey, why did I? Nobody laughed except me when I said it better stand for 21 dicks in your ass. <laughs> Bro, I'm a silly ass 47 year old man, dog. I turned 47 the 25th of February, which is this com- uh, next. Uh, I don't know, it's coming up, dog. No, it's next. What is it? This week? It's next Sunday, dog. She. I turned 47, baby. Hey, wish me happy birthday. You know what I mean? You know, when you see my bitch slide on through, don't try to pick up on her. <laughs> that means she a bad bitch then. My girl's a bad bitch. She got a fat ass natural so booty, bro. So is fucking mine, dog. My girl ain't got none of them motherfucking whoop you. I'll get when I when I raise up, I'm gonna get her a motherfucking tummy tuck, dog. Cause she got she had three babies, oh, see. and that shit looked like the motherfucking roadmap to fucking <laughs> hell, bro. <laughs> but you love it, dog. You love that shit. <laughs> this shit is stretch marks. Hey, you know why though, bro? Because it, marks, it, it, it gets you to where you really need to be, dog. That's I don't why. mind stretch marks, dog. Sometimes I look at it and I'm just like, ah, shit. That's a that's a fucking bowl of motherfucking. Uh, 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 fettuccine, dog. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I don't know, bro. What's a good restaurant to go to in the SUV? Let's uh, talk about that, baby. What's a good Man. restaurant? I, I put this number up. Huh? Northwoods Inn. Oh, baby, let's Wait, go. What? Well, you know what, dog? I just I don't want to break uh, the news to you, dog. What? Uh, well, I thought I broke the news to you already, dog. But anyways, I live in your area, bro. Yeah, you, I, you I, told me. Yeah, I live in the area, bro. So Northwood is the shit, dog. If, if there's anywhere where you can spit the peanuts on the floor. <laughs> she. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're good. Like, they don't give a fuck if you but, spit the peanuts homie. on the floor, homie. You know what I mean? No, they spit, want that. Just spit the peanuts on the floor, fucker. You know what I mean? And sometimes I spit a little more than peanuts on the floor, <laughs> dog. You know what I mean? Because I want to let them know that I came through, dog. And thank you very much. Damn. I'm just playing, though. 
Spencer, I'm trying to go right here, dog, real quick. Spencer, what are we, we gonna, doing? We're going to take phone calls, dog. We're going to jump in this phone line, dog. We're going to let all these animals in, dog. These guys are fucking assholes, bro. These guys are fucking, dog, the, uh, let me see. Hold on. Fuck, dog. These guys are going to call in and just talk shit, dog. You know what I mean? Let's hear it, bro. I want to hear this shit. These guys are fucking Dicks, bro. I mean, I have never fucking met as many assholes in my life that I've met on this podcast, and they're supporters of this podcast. They're like, fucking lucky we love you, but fuck your mom, dog. And I'm just like, come on, dog. I mean, be cool, fool. No, I'm just playing. Uh, here we go right here. 213-842-4785. If you would like to solid interview, fellas, thank you, my G. Tony P, baby in the casa. Hey, coño. Matter of fact, fuck that shit, coño. Conyo, call the fuck in, dog. Conyo ain't called in in a long time. Nah, I ain't. Oh, I'll answer this call. Conyo, call in, though, dog. Hey, you're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Oh, next phone call. Okay. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. What's crack lacking? Your fucking butt cheeks, homie. What do you want me to say, <laughs> asshole? It's that homie from Pacoima. What's cracking, like man? I know it is, dog. I, I don't even. Uh, hey, bro. That's I, that Richie hey. Valens vibe right there. Pacoima in the building. Richie Valens, dog. Let's go. Let's go. One eighteen in the back of the license plate. <laughs> hey, hey, what's up, Python? What's up, my boy? Hey, hey, hey! No disrespect, high tone, but in the beginning, as soon as I turned it on, I thought it was—I thought you was uh, the triple OG. Man, oh, bro, second. yeah, everyone calls us primos, oh, dog, and family. Yeah, is that, is that true? Is that true? I mean, dog, we're, we're we damn near should be blood, dog. Who, That's my dog. Well, let me ask you a question: Who's got a bigger dick, you or triple OG? I mean, dog, I would hope he, he's six three, <laughs> dog. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the dudes that are like yeah, six three, homie. six seven, and they got a motherfucking midget dick, dog. Hey, fool, but that's crazy, dog, because they they call us, they, you know what I'm saying? Everyone thinks we're family, bro, but I consider him family, bro. It's love, bro. I, I mean, for a split second, I was like, oh, he got triple no GV again? Yeah, and right. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. No, I thought no. you shaved out the mustache. Check, or it, check it out, Dick. You're you're being too nice, dog. What's so up? I, no, hold on. I read the comments and they said, "Who is this? Is this the Temu Triple OG?" <laughs> That's what they were saying. I'm here for it all, dog. Hey, all the smoke. Hey, hey look. Yes, hey, sir. lucky. Uh, I got a good invention for you, man. Yeah, what is it? The muzzle for your face? <laughs> hey, instead of instead of having to go to use the restroom every minute, you won't you just put a pe a peanut uh uh a fucking toilet or something right there? You can just pee right there while you're interviewing. <laughs> hey fool, that's epic, dog. <laughs> you know what, dog? That might that might have to happen, dog, if I can't get the right motherfucking players in the game right here. I might have to do that, dog. <laughs> Yeah. We gotta we gotta check that bladder, Lux. <laughs> we gotta check that bladder, man. Hey, love you, my boy. Thank you for calling in. Hey, hey, right. much Have love, dog. Night, much fellas. love, homie. Appreciate hey. you, bro. For yes. real. Yes, yes, sir. Have a good night. Have a blessings to you guys. Thank you, boss. You too, brother. Hey, yes. rated R, call the fuck in, dog. Fucking Tony. Tony ain't called in in a fucking long ass time, dog. It's crazy, dog. How long Tony ain't called in? Um. You guys do live phone calls on uh, No Lames? Yeah. What, let me ask you this question. So when I go to the YouTube of No Lames, oh, shit, hold on, Spencer. Um, the, 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 the quality looks kind of funky, dog. Is your, is your uh, internet lagging? Nah, bro, we're just, we're just getting shit together, homie. Okay. Well, let me know if you need me to come. We're getting through, dog, shit together, and, and dog. We're, 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 we're just the fucking raw Am ass. Am I tripping or, or maybe my internet's lagging, bro? Uh, you know, I... The, I, the it, video, the how's thing. the video looking? Is is it, it only on my side or maybe I'm tripping, On the dog? YouTube side, it looks amazing. Okay. Then my shit's lagging. Spencer. On the YouTube, it looks amazing, dog. Let, let's get Conyo right here. My bad, dog. So it's my shit that's lagging then, dog. Sometimes we think it's uh Hey, you need to plug that hard wire back in, fool. <laughs> My ass. <laughs> you, hey, Conyo. Conyo, how's it going, man? Conyo, what the fuck, dog? Hold on. Let me put the camera on me, dog. And we got to have a personal conversation right here, dog. Conyo, what the fuck? Okay, man. Why, you, why haven't you fucking called in, Conyo? Conyo, I've been busy, man, taking care of my mom, you know. She's trying to go to Mexico, you know. She's trying to do her thing, man. Top of the world, Papa, you know. But I all ears, man. I hear, man. I hear with you. 
I see what you're doing. I see the guest you've been having. I got a high tone right there, man. He's a good guy, huh? He's a good. Yeah, he's a good. I think he's a good guy. Thank bro. you, Pop. And I don't. I don't. I don't let anyone else tell me he's a good guy. I, I, that that will make the connection, right? And then I'll figure out if he's a good guy or not. And I'll tell you like this, sitting with him right here, huh? yeah, he's a good guy, bro. He's a good guy, though. Yeah, that's why I say it, man. Just I can't say he's a good guy just because Ed Cow wants that he's a good guy. That just that creates the fucking connection, and then you figure out from there, you know what I mean, yeah. of what it is. And I will say High Tone is, is a fucking really good guy, bro. You know what I mean? It's probably someone you want to have within your circle and shit to be able to always connect with and have a conversation and shit because sometimes we don't, we can't figure it out ourselves and shit, and we got to have friends that we can always reach out to and, and present them something, you know, present them a, a situation or, hey, dog, you think I, you know, I, was, I didn't deal with this shit right? All my boys that know me, that I talk to on the phone, I always ask them their input, dog. I am never, ever like a type of dude, dog, that would be just like, like so fucking my my own fucking dick up my ass, dog, that I can't ask someone else's input. I always ask, dog, like, what do you think, dog? Like, how did that go? Whoop, this, that, you know what I mean? Because, you know, we're a team, bro. I love that, though. Yeah, dog. bro. Because you're not afraid to hear an opinion. I, I want all opinions, and that's since day one. Coño, I love you, baby. Thank you for calling, dog. Oh, hey, Coño, th- hey, hey, Coño, thank you for the respect. I love it, homie. Appreciate you. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. What's up, Lucky? What's up, baby? What's cracking, man? Hey, man, high tone. Yo. What's up, big dog, man? Man, lucky you fucking kicked it off with this podcast right here, man. This is probably going to be hard for somebody to top off this podcast right here. Man. Yeah, like that? Uh, I like to hear like that. Like that, bro. This, 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 because out of all your guests, and I'm not throwing no shit at none of your guests you had, but this dude has been like the most positive. Most and I'm a big fan of high tone, and uh, and I'm not, you know, what I'm saying I'm not just oh shit high tone I mean, but high tone has got and and I I follow high tone for a long time and I've seen him go through like all his you know ups and downs and shit and high tone is a fucking humble ass fucking individual, dope motherfucker, dope ass artist, rapper, you know what I mean a fucking I got one I got. Uh, uh, one of his CDs, he signed it with that uh, pen that he had. Um, and, man, dope, man. Man, bro, hey, that means a lot, bro. I'm, 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 I'm not lying, dog. Like, only reason why I keep doing this shit, dog, not only for me, is because of things like this, fool. Like, it, it really means a fucking lot, dog. Like, for you to call in, and this makes me gonna go harder, dog, tomorrow, fool. And I appreciate you, bro. It's nothing but love, dog, and and that shit is fucking amazing, homie. And love from the from Bomb Park, Big Bad SGB. Oh, oh, give me no, give me no. Eat half. But hey, half. Um, I'll let you guys do. You know what I mean, be and fucking. You know what I mean, and uh, keep up the good work, big dog. Hey, thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. We appreciate you, man. Much love, dog. Hood stocks, high tone, TFC, bro. We're here for you, bro. Let's go. Thank you. I like the TFC, bro. And speaking of TFC, we just had some. Uh, you just ate half of uh, Rick and Morty right now. <laughs> Dude, the, uh, that was the commercial, dog. I heard you say go, going on a galactic. Fucking- <laughs> hey guys, check it out. This is we Ooh, just so we just shit. indulged and and I shout out to this dude because he didn't have to eat half of what I sent him, you know. And Rick and Morty, okay. Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty, baby. We we just entered the Rick and Morty realm, okay. Um. How are you with like uh, religious religion uh, politics? Uh, should we? I want to talk about should religion or politics first. You, you okay, we can go religion. Religion. What's religion with you, brother? Well, check this out, bro. When you need something in life, yeah, I'll tell you where you got to go. You got to go to a church. Yeah. Let me tell you why. I don't care if you're Christian, Catholic, but I don't do all that, bro. Because you want to be in the same place that everyone else needs something from, dog. When you go to church, guess what? You ain't walking out of there, dog, in a bad mood, homie. You ain't walking out of there thinking about beef, think about drama, think about bills, think about wife, think about this. You are fulfilled, homie. Just like fools are fulfilled with this podcast, dog. This is church. Like, when you need something, you need to go to a place 
where there's a hundred other people that need the same thing as you, dog. And that is church, dog. So I'm not, we, we don't got to get into Christian, Catholic, this, that. I don't know the Bible like Labels, that, dog. bro. But I know that when I go there, I'm fucking happy, homie. I'm fucking happy, dog. Yeah. I'm happy. I feel the same way. I, I'm so, happy. So if you, when you look at me, brother, my, my mother is Mexican and my pops is Russian Jew, dog. Okay. I'm, I'm a Jew, bro. I usually have a star hanging from my neck. Man, you got it tatted on you yet or no? Come on, baby. Right there, dog. Woo, let's go. Right I there. love that yeah, shit. I got the star of David on me, dog. And um, hmm. well, when you've been through so much shit and you survived so much shit and you're not dead when you should have potentially been dead, I mean, that. You gotta look at something bigger than yourself, you stupid you motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I don't, I don't care what it is, dog. Like whatever, uh, whatever, whatever your connect is for positivity and yep. growth and spirituality is good with me. Dog. I fucking love that answer, dog. Yeah, it's good with me, dog. Because everybody, everybody has their outlet. Just like people shop at different places. Uh, this dude loves Stater Brothers for his God and his other. This dude loves this spot, so on and so forth. You know what I mean? There, we, we have options in this life that we live due to our ancestors, forefathers, and so on and so forth. Like they have given us just different lanes to be able to take, you know? But as long, whatever lane we take, we should, uh, we should respect, we should uphold it to the, the greatest value. And sometimes we have people that, they don't do that, and they make a certain group of people look bad. Like, say, if you're Muslim, like I'll say it like this, dog. Say, if you're Muslim, like, bro, there are some good Muslim brothers in this world, dog. My gosh, homie, one the, of my best friends is Muslim. Dog. Yeah, like that is just like, bro, like it's the Christian homie almost, dog. You know what I mean? Like they crazy. They homie. they compare like like fucking my front hand to my back hand. I don't know, dog. I mean, that might, this might be bad. But um, there's good people, and um, and and that that's all that matters, right? If you're good, you know, because I, I think if you're good, regardless of what religion you believe in, um, it, it we're still gonna find a common ground, regardless on what side you stand on religion. You're gonna find the common ground of goodness, greatness. You know what I mean? I, I really like. I, I'm not a Bible banger dog, but I just really like think that everybody should find themselves something far bigger than themselves dog far bigger than themselves of their their ego and their their family fucking legacy you know that I mean? changes everything you know it. like something bigger than themselves to believe in and give praise and thanks to dog you know like we yeah. should we should do that dog i mean I, I do that. I've done I've done that all my gangbang life. I always prayed and I went to the St. Anne's Church when I was raised kind of like Christian, but I'm a Jew, but Christian because of my mom. You know, I would go to St. Anne's Church with the Catholic Church, dog, and I have a strap in my motherfucking waist. And and but but still I would abide by the Catholic Church that you had to put that fucking little thing down and get on your fucking knees, knees yeah. you know what I mean, and, and, and pray. I mean, I always it doesn't matter what religious establishment it is. I feel like it's just a closer place to God and whatever your God is. You know what I mean? You can probably, you could probably like your collect call is probably gonna go through. <laughs> yeah, except one thousand percent. It's gonna go through, dog. And you will make a connection. Like I, I, I sp spirituality to me, it just huge. It's dog. huge. It really blows my mind, dog. When people just really have no belief, like I'm atheist, like homie, like I listen to death metal too, dog. You know what I mean? I listen to <laughs> punk rock, homie. I listen to all that shit, dog. Here, here's the thing. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm give some super game, dog. Let's go. There's been a thing about praying before you eat, right? Yeah. Right. That's the thing, right? Now look, whether you're Christian, Catholic, Muslim, Buddhist, whatever it is, let me tell you what praying before eating does for you. Yeah. It teaches you discipline, dog. Let me tell you why, though. Because when you got in and out dog and fries, a double-double, extra cheese, no onion, 
This is the way I order it, dog. Yeah. Double, double, extra cheese, no onion, with a fry light on the side and a lemon up. Listen. Okay, we talking about in and out The first thing you want to do, dog, when you put that in front of your face, dog, is take a bite, right? Yes, sir. When you take a minute of this temptation in front of you, and when you can sit there and go, thank you, God, for and pray over this food. You're teaching yourself discipline. It's not religious at that point. You're saying, I have this amazing thing in front of me, but I'm going to take one minute to praise it before I attack it. Yeah. That's discipline. Yeah. I think religion brings discipline. Yes, sir. That's what, to me, that's what it does for me. You get me? I'm tired as fuck, homie, but I just came back from making 2500 on the tat. <laughs> I'm laying with my girl and my dogs. Yeah. Before I close my eyes, dog. Yeah. I'm going to say thank you and it's teaching me discipline. Yeah. It's about discipline, homie. It's about showing me that what's in front of me, that fire doesn't matter, dog, until I do this. Till I give it thanks. <laughs> that's what that's what religion is to me, dog. Fuck. <sighs> That's what religion is to me. Let's go, baby. Let's go, bro. And I've been trying to get that off my... Ch I just don't even know if fools could even understand that, dog. Like, I don't... It's it's like, dog, seeing a bad bitch in front of you, and before you go fuck her, you just go, man. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you don't dive into it, dog. You just go. It's discipline, <laughs> homie. It's discipline, dog. <laughs> it's discipline, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it goes all angles, dog. I swear to God, I mean, I swear to God, bro. If you, you can just, learn that <laughs> discipline, dog, then you're in, dog. Oh me, come on, you getting baby. blessed, like, homie. Damn, dog. Let's, oh me, let's you check it out, blessed. dog. Homie, how are we gonna be thankful for our food, but we ain't gonna thank you for the pussy bitch? <laughs> that I'm diving into right now, bro. Minute I go eat that box on my lady, I said, "Thank you so much. <laughs> this shit tastes and smells so good. I love you." <laughs> oh man, I gotta get this camera off me, dog, because I just got the case of the motherfucking giggles, dog. <laughs> it's just so true, bro. Like sometimes we don't. We're just like too cool to think about this shit, dog. Oh, and, you, and you you take the pussy for granted, dog, because the bitch fucking cleans take your, every take every. She cleans for your house. She washes your fucking clothes, and she fucking makes you fuck. Fucking, fucking papas. Uh, what is it, dog? Papas and chorizo. Uh, food. Chorizo, dog. She's serving the dick to you now, dog. You know what I mean? You want food, that shout dick? Out homie, to, eat hey, that plate, hey, homie. Shout out to my fucking, hey, to <laughs> my wife, homie. To okay. my wife. 17 years I've been with a lady, homie. Damn, bro. Let's talk about discipline, baby. Yeah, well, how you do that in the rap game, bro? Like, there's a lot of pussy going around, baby. What's I mean, happening? I mean, dog. Yeah, you, you know, you, I mean, they call me jackhammer hands, dog. You know what I mean, you jack off a lot, dog. Be oh, one thousand. That's that's necessary, baby. So, oh, so check it out, dog. And I wanted, and I wish I would have could have been jack taking it back. Jackhammer hands. They dog. call me jackhammer hands, but that was in person. Um, now I'm out here. I'm still Jack Evans. Uh Hey, no. So uh, uh, Triple OG said, homie, like, nah, like, because I was like, bro, you know, I jack off, homie. And he goes, that's lust. Lucky, that's lust. You're a fucking filthy animal. And that's fucking <laughs> lust. And if you got a wife, you shouldn't be lusting on another bitch with a fat ass and big old titties. And I was just like, oh, shit, dog. You know, I'm that's fucking tough, a, dog. I'm a bag dude, dog. You know what I mean? But then he said, then he said, at Triple OG said afterwards, I'll pull up to the club with 30 bitches kissing each other and i was like well what the fuck is that and i didn't say it but we think about it in hindsight sometimes it's like how come i didn't say it well maybe i wasn't quick enough maybe i wanted to live the make let, let the homie live and do his thing and maybe yeah. not give him too much like yeah you know what like i mean pressure yeah pressure and and being who he is and what he believes and what he's saying well well but, the thing is with with that situation i think as Triple was coming up, going to Cancun with 30 bitches, dog, was a big thing, homie. Like, 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 you're the man, right? Yeah. But as you find the fitness, as you find, you know, 
the things that your family's going through, bro, you start to realize, dog, that that really isn't what's important. You feel me? And yeah. and I think right now he's so locked in, homie. Of who he is. That ain't none of, dog, he done did it, homie. Like, none of that even matters, dog. Yeah. What matters to my boy, because we talk every day. Yes, sir. Is family, is true love and support for the dudes that are around you, and is your bread, dog. Like, with those three things, you can't lose. You can't lose, dog. You can't. Once again, the love for you have for your family, seeing homies want to succeed, and the bread that you're making could make all your dreams come true, dog. Like, it really can. Well, you know what, dog? What I want to tell you, dog, is I just like, I love jacking off, dog. You know what I mean? And I love jacking off to the point well, that... I did, I, yeah, I, I, I love it too, dog. You love, do you jack I off think, the different no, bitches? Homie, homie, I think that's do that you really... Jack, do you that, jack off the different bitches? Yeah, I watch fucking, the dog, Twitter and fucking Pornhub. Well, how the fuck does Triple OG have anything to do with you then, bro? You're a fucking perv, bro. motherfucker ain't, he, he, dog, he's he's not judging me off my, my Pornhub uh, uh, search. Addiction? Yeah. <laughs> He's what, not. What, what is so when you dial in Pornhub and you know what this is just like I'm gonna ask Nito next dog um, no no check it out I'm not bro check it out I what any, any hold, I'm gonna he's put pointing you guys the finger on some fucking game go ahead it's called getting in a tornado you know what a tornado <laughs> is yes fool I've never it's, been through one but I see it on the Wizard search, of Oz it's, it's searching redhead. Redhead? And then the redhead turns into a redhead Latina. And then the Latina goes from a Latina to Brazil. Brazil. And the, now next thing you know, you're in a tornado, dog. You're in a tornado of porn, dog. You don't know what you looked for, dog. You're just searching <laughs> for the thing that's going to get you off, dog. And I got caught before on that, bro. Caught how? You, were caught, got, you got, got caught, caught with your dick in your hand? I got caught jacking off when my girl was sleeping next to me, fool. <laughs> don't, you don't even want to get get into this, homie. <laughs> oh, maybe I do, bro, because I've been there. Uh, uh, hey, bro. Uh, I'm, I'm a, I'm a jack-off master, dog. I'm a, I'm a, because, dog, when you're married and when you have a lady, you have to do this. Right? You have to do I For think, me, I you have like to that. do this. It's better than cheating. Fool. If I'm going to go out to take the... Take your shot before you put fool, it back If I'm going to go out to the club and or I'll to the studio you. or whatever, I either need... I either need my girl to get me off, and if she doesn't, I'm going to jack off because that's going to lessen my temptation. Yeah. I already, I already let it off, baby. I'm good. Jack off, dog. That's the main thing. Jack off. You know what? If I could write a book about jacking off, it would be a thousand pages of, of jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Nick. Nick's oh, jacking off right fuck, now. Bro. Nick, why are you jacking off right now, dog? I'm done, fool. <laughs> Wolfie Omonte. Let's get that right here. Wolfie, what the fuck, Wolfie, you want? You're on Hoodstocks, Wolfie. What the fuck no. you want? Hey, dog, you guys need to quit fucking jacking off and fucking have heights on rap, homie. Yeah. What the fuck, homie? I can we do a, can we do some rap music? Hey, bro? check this out. Check yeah, this out. Hey, we can, we can, you can give me your bass, bro. Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> Yo, Shut fool, the fuck bro. up, Wolf, you fucking dirty fucking bastard. Hey, hey dog, you, you ain't got no teeth. For the past hour. It's been <laughs> nah, up. that was like, up, no, fool. Why no, you got fool, a finger fool, in your ass? Fool, that was that was that was like at maybe three and a half, four minutes. Yeah, dog. Half hour, half hour for your pervert ass. He keeps going to the restroom every time you tell him that you're going to check out. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Wolfie. Bye. <laughs> hey, Wolfie, are you happy that there's a camera on me now? Yeah, dog. You're looking good right there, dog, especially in that blue hoodstock shirt. Ooh. Look at that shit right there, Hey, buddy. hey, and I, I got to tell you, dog, I'm fucking sober, fool. I haven't drank since the last uh, podcast, so. Wow, homie. I know, man. That fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, you know, Wolf, you, you said, you t- said, dude, this fucking alcoholic told me, sent me a text and said, look, you better stop drinking. You're acting way out. And when an alcoholic t- uh, texted you that, dog, oh, it's like, over for you, yeah, dog. It's like, bro, yeah. man, we, I mean, yeah. that's our, bye, Wolf. Yeah. We play some beats. No, you could. We could just do a free look. Check this out. They said if I was black, I would have blew up. They said if I was white, I would have blew up. I think you're acting racist, like Adolf. Remember the end of the story. Hitler blew his brain off. This shit is weird to me, homie. This shit is weird to me. If I was repping Compton, I swear you'd be repping me. If I was selling drugs, I swear you'd be repping me. But everybody knows. Bro, they don't. They don't. They don't want to hear it, bro. We we good, baby. We good. But I can't give them too much. But everybody knows I'm a filthy hoe. And hey, when hey. I pull my dick out and there's some lotion, you know I'm gonna go. She. I'm gonna jack it off till the roof fall off. I'm gonna jack it off till Nick gets off and he's got his dick in his hand. What kind of fucking calls can I have when he's got a dick in his hand? He's a pervert. Everybody knows Nick Morales. <laughs> You're a fool, dog. He just looked at me and said, bro, that's when the shit went wrong. <laughs> that was retarded. Sorry about that, guys. Anyways, hey, we are right here with the homie dog, the big dog. You don't play with it, motherfucking high tone dog. And this has been a legendary fucking episode, dog. I mean, damn, Appreciate dog. You, I don't think we can do any more than what we done right here, dog. Thank don't you. play with it. He's faded. I'm faded. Uh, you know, Nick's feeling X rated right now. Hey, shout out to everybody, bro, listening in the room. This what we do it for, homie. Period, dog. I'm gonna just talk from the heart, dog. I got family listening. I got my wife listening. I got it. I got people listening, dog. Because what I do here, bro, represents all of us, dog. And what they're doing in this room represents all of us too, dog. And I felt hospitality. I felt love. I felt energy, dog. And and this is what it's about, dog. It's homies like this doing things like this dog that support each other dog and lift each other up so i ain't even read the comments i ain't even looked at the at the live bro <laughs> but all i know they say look in these real all i know dog is that we're doing some positive bro and that's 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 every podcast every rapper everything everybody doing their thing man much love much respect dog it's high tone it's lucky it's hood stocks dog it don't get better than this motherfucker let's go dog. whoa, whoa. You you know what dog? Yeah, dog. You been you been dropping a lot of gems. You been fucking uh let's get this last phone call right here, bro. I see him so the phone line's been blowing up the whole time. You're on Hoodstock Stock to us. Not yet, Let me get my sixteen off real quick, dog. You got yeah, it you got a sixteen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get it. That's it. Post it up with the threats, respect to get your best. If not, then hit the deck. You step, I'm giving that. Speak up on me and bet you getting checked. Like the tattoos off of your flesh, I spit this tape. Tell them killers say less, moving like it's black eye. Moving with the shadows, this man can't stop. Gun, look at dumb, 50 rounds in the drum. Got enough to plug a plug, pump, fuck where you from. That creepin' since I'm young, if it comes, then it comes. I get slumped, trying to get my people love from the slump. Perks got me turned. Talking to my demons might burn for the turf. He get burnt on his curb. It's the third to the dirt. Shit, something like that. Something like that. She, my boy got off, dog. My boy got off. What they call you? It's Thresh. Oh, Thresh. What's up, bro? Hey, that shit was a gas 16, bro. I might need to get you on the next project, bro. Ooh. Man, any time, bro. Any time. Just holler at me. Homie, time, homie. Bro. That was a fire 16, though. No joke, homie. No joke. I appreciate that, dog. No I joke, dog. Shit. I'm, I'm going to drop my shit on uh, Food Community Watch. Tune in to Food Community on uh, Tuesday. I kind of going to shoot my, uh, my mic drop. Oh, my I just did the shit, mic bro. drop. I think my mic drop drops uh, tomorrow, bro. Let's go. I'm waiting on that one. I'm let's go hey bro i dog i went different with it hey bro hey let's let's tap in bro that shit was hot hold on real quick yeah. hold on. i heard that I, you, I, you know what bro i went over to take a piss and you made me take a shit dog you know what i mean you know, hold on. <laughs> <laughs>
Nah, hold on real quick. Nah, hold, on. hold on. No, 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 no. Who, who, first off, who am I talking to? It's stress, fool. Oh, it's stress? Hmm. Yeah. What's he looking for? <laughs> looking for my sunglasses, dog. There it is. I mean. Tres, that, like was, that was you right there, Tres? Yeah. Sp- spit it again real quick, because uh, you, since you, I know it's you, let me let me hear it again so I can. Now, I need you. to hear it again, too, though. Yeah, let's hear it again. Oh, all right, all right. Go ahead. That's it. I posted up with the Thresh. Respect to get your best. If not, then hit the deck. You step, I'm getting death. Speak up on me, and I bet you get the check. Knock the tattoos off of your flesh. I spit this check. Stop, 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 left. stop, stop right Jeez. there. Nah, that's basic, bro. That's basic. That's knock basic the, math, knock bro. Knock the tattoos off of your flesh. Next, check, flesh, wreck. Yeah, no, 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 no. What the heck? Was, bro, nah. You, 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 with the, no, listen. listen you got, nah, you got to pick a game up, homie. It, that shit ain't it. It wasn't, it wasn't just one line. It wasn't just one rhyme, bro. It said, post it up with the threat. Respect or get your best. If not, they hit the deck. You stick. That's weak. That's I'm weak. That's weak. Those lyrics are weak. Those lyrics are, those lyrics aren't it, bro. Those, and that's why it makes Chicano rap look bad, bro. When you do the check, the deck, the fucking what the heck, you know, no, all that no, shit. Those are, those nah, are, those are what nah. you call multi-syllable rhymes. Those are those are, those, are, those are basics, bro. Those are basics, and I and I'm not trying to blast you on this one, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now, bro. Okay, okay, that ain't gonna hit it. Give me, give me give me give me give me another sixteen, bro. Okay. I'm with the homies from the low bottoms. If they try to low on us, we gon' act up and turn this bitch into a soap opera. Pull a rocket off the truck, we gon' low dog him. They can dodge a bullet, but this fucking flow got him with no problem. Drop his ass, pancake him, he a low rider. They broke in their front and they know they ain't nothing. I swear to okay, God. Okay, that's better. That's, that's, that's better right there. That's, that's better right there. That's it. That's, that's better right there. That's it. Where way you riding dick out and just promoting or something. That's it's better. Jackie's favorite rapper beat. Chill, bro. Chill. You're, 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 you're. That Michael Burke is fucking angry touching after me. Woo. There you go. That's I better. Hey, that's better. Hey, Thresh. That's better, Thresh. Thresh. Yeah, what's better. Tone? Hey, DM me right now, bro. DM me right now. Bro, you, you got the gram, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, DM me right now, bro. I'm going to put something together for you. Off top, bro. I'm gonna put something but, together but, but for you. you. I got still, you. Are you still tweaked the fuck out, bro? Because you've been acting stupid as fuck for a long time, bro. Are you good now? Come on, Lucky, dog. Be honest, bro. Like I talk that. to my homies like this, dog. I talk to my homies yeah, like that. If you ain't got no homies to talk to you like this, dog, then they ain't your homies, bro. That's all I'm saying, bro. Are you good now, fool? I'm good, Lucky. Okay, that's what I want to hear, dog. And the last, that last fucking shit you put was cool, dog. But the first one, the record and the check and the heck and what the fuck is next um, wasn't the shit, dog. But the next one was good, dog. You, you weren't catching the multi-syllables in that shit, baby. I don't give a fuck, but that's basic multi-syllables, bro. That's basics, dog. Hey, hey, you know what I mean? Check it out, bro. Do, you, do, you, do, you, do your hey, homework, baby. You hey. know what I mean? You know that's basics, homie. Hey, DM me right now, bro. Come on, DM me right oh, now. No, I ain't trying to shit on you, fool. DM I'm gonna me talk right to you now. like I, I talk to my homies, bro. Spencer, dog. If nobody's talking to you straight, homie, and everybody's a yes man around you, passing hey, the pokey. You, know, hey, you, you of all people know that it's not just yes men around me. You of all people know I'm one of the most attacked rappers in this shit. Real you're, shit. You're though, you're the most bro. your mother. You're the most controversy with the drama rappers going on, bro. And and, and I would true, tell you, bro. and I would, I, I, and I would I, I, tell I, I, you this, I, I, and you were in front of my face, bro, because I love my homies, bro, and we have one thing that we have to do with each other is talk to each other straight, bro. I talk to my own boys straight, bro. And why am I not going to talk? And but that's just that's, me, bro. Check it out. That's my opinion, and my opinion amounts uh, weighs so much in the game, bro. Why? Because I'm not in the game, brother. But I'm a, I'm a no, fan. Either. I'm a fan of music, brother, and I'm a supporter, bro, of cats that have skill sets, dog. You know what I mean? And and hey, that's yeah. that's all I'm saying, brother. You know what I mean? Spencer, my boy. You know what I mean? I love you, baby. You know what I mean? I know you. I love you know. Yeah. You know, Sp- every time this shit's on, dog, I'll, I'll you see know you. Me, like- I'll see you, baby. I'll be in the chest. Like, everybody be like, oh, Thress is in the chest. He's a loser. I don't, like, nah, nah bro, I don't care, supporting. dog. You know what, Thress? You, 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 Thress, you, you've, you've, you've created a very controversial name for yourself. So whatever anybody tells you, brother, you got to take it on the chin, dog, because nobody did that to you but yourself, bro. You know what I mean? So hey, that's just... 
tweaked out shit. I'm not tweaked out. I've never been tweaked out. Who cares, fool? Like, what if you said I was tweaked out during that time? Because I just said some tweaked out shit, bro. And people respect you so much more, dog. I, you know how long I've been tweaked out, dog? In my life, in my <laughs> criminal career, bro? Bro, a gang of it, bro. A majority of it. I was tweaked the fuck out, hey, dog. Hey, let me, let me tell you something, though, Lucky. Yeah, like, dick. Like, no, it's look okay, at, look at bro. This, look at this. Look at this. Okay. I'm going to get threats on some real shit, bro. On some Are you? shit. I, I, and, and I'm not even going to release it, dog, until I show you. Okay. This is what I'm going to do for for him and for us, dog. You got an alley-oop right here, baby. Listen, coming. I'm going to give him a beat and I'm going to give him a topic, bro, and an and, and energy yes. where he can't do no fuck shit. Yeah. Where he has to. Comply to what the, the, the just the, he just gotta be genuine and he gotta be real and gotta gas dog and I promise you bro, I can feel it in his rap. He has it in him dog. He just gotta get yeah geared in that right direction, baby. Hey Thress, I got you, bro. You DM me. I promise you, you bro. Know. I'm gonna make your hardest song that you ever did, dog. And I'm gonna play it for Lucky, and he's gonna say, hey dog. I fuck with that shit, dog. And he's gonna play it on his podcast, dog. That's what I'm gonna do for you, bro. I'll play it on my hip hop shit. I got you. Nah, dude. Fuck it. Hey, dog. Check it out, Thress. Fuck on, fuck on yeah. some hip hop shit, dog. Because them motherfuckers of hip hop don't give a fuck about us, bro. Straight up. And I'll just say that for how I feel, dog. And it may not be how high tone feels, but it's how I feel, dog. But I'll do that on the homie love, brother. The homie love, dog. You know what I mean? The supporting, yeah, the good, supporting good, the good. homies. You know, dog. Like, bro. Like, I want to support you, Thress. But like all that fuckery and all and everything else hey, that you've done, lucky, that's, it, your, that's, your, that's your, that's It's your crazy, bro. It's crazy, the, the dog. Most controversial, hey, the most controversial shit I've ever done, bro, was I asked Wack One Hundred would he ever sign a Southsider, bro? And people took that shit and made me out to be the bad guy, bro. Like I didn't, I didn't do shit but ask the dude if he would ever work with one of us, bro. And then all the all the people in the comments, all the all the people, the the content creators got to flipping that shit and talking about fucking, uh, you know. Hey, but anyway, this high tone time, dog. Letting it high tone. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. Dog. It but is, it's, hey, but, but you know it's, it's my it job, out. homie, to do to do this type of shit. Dog. But, this but, is my but, job. But check it out. You said this is high tones yep. time. Yeah, it is his podcast, bro. But what this dude just. Did you, bro? Like no other rapper will go do you like this, baby. Like this dude, not at this, all. Hey, this, not dude, don't no, no. Listen, Dick, sh- chill out, fool. You're talking in a fucking kitchen right now, dog, and it's annoying as <laughs> shit, dog. You know what I mean? Let check it, check. Fun. No, I'm not high. Yes, I am high. <laughs> no, but hold on, Thres, 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 hold on a second, brother. I, I, I appreciate it. That you've been tapping in and dropping comments constantly, supporting the platform, and you are another person that's giving me numbers, dog. So with that said, dog, I I really appreciate that this dude right here, that this dude high tone, is gonna just like acknowledge you, brother, and and throw you an alley oop and and put you on a track with him, dog. Like that, hey, that out, bro. Team. Like bro. Like check it out, dog. Your your phone call here at Hoodstocks made this happen, bro. You know what I mean? That's and, true. And, That's you, true. You know, one hundred percent, it made it happen, brother. So I just want you, dog, to like get your head together. Sometimes we get high and we trip the fuck out, dog. And you've done that a lot, dog. And That's what we know you as, brother. But this is a homie right here that is willing to give you a fucking alley oop and put you on track it was with a him. teamwork huh? no no check it, it out dog it, you it, you answering this call you mentioned me earlier i didn't know i was gonna was answer your day. call fucker i mean if i knew it was you dog i wouldn't <laughs> not answer it you know? <laughs> <laughs> be honest bro you're a fucking dick bro and you've done a lot of stupid shit and you said a lot of stupid shit I, hey hey I apologize to you on live one. And I, and you know, you've apologized before, brother, and that's why I, no, I continue this saying, conversation. And it takes a man to apologize, bro. And I apologize yeah. to my boys anytime that I'm fucked up. And so, since you Love apologize, that. it was just like, all right, well, dude, that. you're a real dude, bro. Like, apologize, I was, I was bro. Getting, I was getting fucking swarmed on the net, dog. It was a long day, and they fucking, you know what I mean? Stop I, blaming I on the long day at work because you weren't working. Yeah. You were dope the fuck. Up. 
<laughs> I love you, baby. But hey, check it out. You you made your connection live on Hoodstocks with the homie. That's right. High tone, baby. Yeah. Bye. Get at him in your DM, you fucking cockroach. Hey, bro, Man. that's dope. That's dope of you to feel like that because this is a controversial dude, dog. They said a lot of stupid shit. Like, my boy is... My, let's get this next phone call, Answer dog. Answer it, baby. Yeah, let's go, dog. They flowing with us, dog. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Hello? What's up? What's up, Lucky? Dude. Why are you acting mad earlier? Because you said that stupid-ass fucking comment. Let me put the camera on me right here so we can have a oh, one-on-one man. conversation right here. You know I was just joking. You oh, were you joking? Were you tonight. joking? Of Don't you know what? Uh, check it out, Esmerado. Esmerada. Yes, what's up, I really hate saying your name because everybody knows when I see your name, he's like, ah, oh, he's a Mexican wow. Jew. He can't speak Espanol. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> <laughs> fucking nut on your mom, bitch. Hey, but check it out. Um, you really, like, check it out. Fucking, what's your name again? Hello? Okay. What's your name again? Yeah. What's your name? My name? Yeah, what's your name? Esmeralda. What's your name? Remember, What's I your... told you to go by Ezzy. Ezzy. Yeah, the other Ezzy. day. Yeah, yeah. Ezzy. Ezzy. Uh, hey, you know, and it still don't take your fucking. Uh, it don't take your t- take your stretch marks away, Ezzy. You know what I mean? That's how many you kids you got? How many kids you, you got? You know, you how many kids know. you got? How many I'm kids you got? I'm taking your shit and it's all no, good. No, fuck that. You talking shit call. in the comments. You still call. You lucky I take your yeah, fucking we call. All, we all talk shit in the comments, and then you want to act today like. Oh, you don't want to. You don't want to hear it today. No, this is a, a different time in our fucking. This is a pivot. This is a different pivot. Shut the fuck up. And that's how I talk to my girls sometimes. You know? it uh, depends on you. If you want to shut the fuck up? Or well, not. I'm not I'm just playing. Girl, so no, I know. You know. I know. I'm just playing with you. Um, hey, check it out. Do you know we do. Hey, hey. What I want to know is, I've let I've let you sit here and talk shit, and I'm I was I was just joking, and then you want to sit here and like take it all personal and shit. I was just joking, and then you want to sit here and talk mad shit. And, like, I'm cool. I'll take it. You know I will, Lucky. But I don't chill, know you, like, chill, relax. Like, you're, yeah. you're jumping like, off the deep end right now. Hey, Esmeralda. You're jumping, Esmeralda. Off, Esmeralda. You're dumping, jumping off the deep end, and I want to hey, say this. Esmeralda. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Can you, can yeah. you, uh, we we understand why you called. You're jumping on Lucky. But no, no. No, 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 listen, 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 like, listen, no, listen, 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 listen. I mean, listen, if you leave a comment like that, you're wait, 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 And listen, then you want to call in and say it's cool. Listen, can you, can you let me talk? Can you say something positive about tonight? Did That's all I want to know. Oh, no, I, you know what? You were great. I didn't know you were on No Lane because I watch it sometimes. And uh, um, But anyways, you're a very positive person, and I do like positivity. That's why I'm like, what the hell's going on with love? Yeah, what's you going on with it? Hey, I got my cousin right here, PJ, right here. What's cracking, fool? Yo. What up, fool? First of all. First Fuck ass, my <laughs> I'm going to tell Lucky. I'm going to tell Lucky. Tone that shit down a little bit, because you acting like a fucking wild elephant. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And then, and then high tone, hey, dog, much respect. SGV's in the motherfucking house. Fucking my boy. Let's fucking go, dog. That's you started off up. that convo, dog, with a real fucking statement, and then you gave the respect. Man, that's love, you dog. You're a real bro. motherfucker, bro. That's my cousin. Real hey, motherfucker, hey, bro. Hey, that's that fool's brother right here. Man. SGV's in the house, my boy. Hey, it's much smoke, respect dog. on that fool. That fool been doing big things for a long time. Up, I've bro. been watching his shit for a minute, dog. And, and hey. I, I, I fucking love that fool right there, dog. And I love you too, Primo, but I'm going to tell you right now, tone your shit down, you big-ass elephant in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tone it down. I love this motherfucker right down. here. Hey, bro, know, SGV dog, in the know, fucking building, that, dog. Who starts for life? Who starts for life, baby? Man. I'll tone it down. I didn't realize that I was being that big elephant in the room. And sometimes when we're doing a pivot like this, I can take things a little bit more personal than I would take it before, you know? So excuse me, guys, for being a little bit of a, you know, a bitch about shit, right? Sometimes gangsters, grown men can be a bitch about shit, you know? I, yeah. ain't, I ain't tripping on that shit, dog. The word is fighting words to me, but if I'm saying it to myself, it's just me being transparent 
and saying, hey, dog, you know what? Right now we're we're in a point of where we're ch- changing some things, and when you're coming at me a certain way, dog, I might be a little more hardcore on it, dog, because I'm passionate about what the fuck I do right here. But I love, stuff, dog, so. that Cuzzo called in, bro, and just did, like, bro, that's what you need, bro. That's what we all need, homie. There's a homie saying, hey, fool, relax. Yeah. Everything good. Yeah. We're good. And I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't opposed to that, bro. One thousand percent. Check it out, dog. All the all the homies, all the homies, dog. All the way from fucking easy, right? And and I I'll, I'll say from Juby to K9 to fucking Casey, bro, homie. I have always said, dog, check me, bro. And I love and, it. and so once they're not checking me on certain things that I want to be checked on, that I check them on, bro, then you know what? You know, the dynamic exchange, you know, yeah. but but bro, like we are we are each other, dog. Yeah. We are each other. We got we we gotta like homie, like if you're hanging up I, I don't wanna use that like that, but I'm just saying like we we gotta hold each other accountable yeah. to our values and views, you know. And we gotta be. Uh, and you can't get emotional about it, bro. And but it happens sometimes. It does. In the podcast it does. When you're One thousand percent, bro. It, I I don't got emotional with my dog. It just it is what it is, bro. When you get told something, bro, that you feel like you're not doing wrong, you're gonna get mad or emotional about it, bro. But but if you know that's a solid fool, he's telling me for a reason, dog. That's it. And 100%. I gotta accept it. And with that said, I want everybody to give it up for motherfucking high tone, baby. We are uh, four hours. We ain't done four hours Shut in the a fuck long up, minute, dog. bro. We did a four-hour podcast fuck without fucking any interruptions. No internet interruptions, baby. Like, we shout out to fucking Armando and fucking Nito for running that new hard line through, Man. dog, through the whole building. I uh, love you guys, dog. But hey, so what I want to say right now, brother, is how how can people support you? How can they follow you in your endeavors right now, brother? Man, bro, I mean, we all know Instagram is the number one platform, dog. So it, it, all you got to do is just follow me, bro. You're going to see all the businesses I do, all the albums I drop, all the things I do, bro, and I, and all the people I support. And I think that's the main thing, bro. Just hit me up on the gram, bro. Hi, H-I underscore T-O-N-E, bro. And that's it, bro. It's very simple, bro. You go right there, bro. You find everything about me, dog. What I love, what I hate, what I support, what I'm into. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, give it up for a high tone. We'll be back Tuesday night, baby. Bang. We're out of here. That was a fucking episode, dog. <laughs> <laughs>